nice, isn't it? I felt like I was in a spa for a moment then. <laughs> Plinky, plonky, plink. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Opulence Weekend, lovely jewellery makers. Oh, I'm all decked out in jewellery. She looks spangly. <sighs> There's some absolute stunners on today's show. And I don't just mean Charlie. <laughs> Yay, gorgeous Charlie. How are you, my lovely? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm very Good. much looking forward to today. Oh, the sun treats. The Isn't sun there? treats, yeah. And you've got oodles coming up as well, so oh. that's exciting. Oh, my goodness me. Now, I don't know where to begin because, honestly, yeah. there is so much in today's show. Um, maybe start at the beginning. That does make sense. <laughs> Do you remember some time ago, lovely jewellery makers, when Ross and I got really excited? We had these connectors that let's just say we're inspired by none other than Tiffany's and Co. Mm. Now, um, we went onto the website and we were looking at their, their amazing designs and Ross and I absolutely loved it. Um, Ross then went and spoke to our amazing team upstairs and said, is there any chance that we could do a jewelry maker version? It's only happening today, jewelry makers. Yeah, oh, I love these. I absolutely love these. Now, your early bird is from said collection. We've never had anything like this before. So this is your early bird. You've got the most beautiful cultured pearl encased, doubly encased, really. Yeah. In that amazing setting. Super, super simple, but so stylish. Very stylish. Very clever. Very clever. Yeah. Is it? So do you have to have like tension? And yeah, it's like, like that? yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, it's like almost like a sandwich. So you have to get the little bit of spring to pop it in there to make sure it doesn't disappear. Yeah, it's great. I love that design. It's amazing. Yeah. We've got what? Sorry. If you if you look at this amazing piece here. Now I'll show you where the inspiration came from. There it is. Now, if you want to buy that same sterling silver cultured pearl pendant from Tiffany's & Co, you are going to have to part with £1,050 <gasps> of your hard-earned cash. <sighs> yeah. If you want to get that same look at a fraction, then make sure you are checking out your baskets. It's in item number one of your early bird hour right now, so you can get yours right now. I think they are going to be an on-screen sellout. Definitely. For sure. Um, we've got 200 available. Because you think about it this way, it's an amazing necklace, but you could also turn those into earrings if you oh, wanted to. Yeah, definitely. So beautiful. It's a size, but look at the quality of the pearl that you're getting here, jewellery makers as well. I'm going to say it. I know, I know uh, Tiffany's & Co, that's a photograph. But I would expect them to use some fairly clever photographers. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, I think yours look better. By the way, have you got any hoop earrings in your sash or in your jewellery box? Because you can upcycle these if you want for a better... Yeah, exactly that. They, they're kind of multi-wear, aren't Ooh, they? Oh, clever. You can literally loop them on. A little bit like our sister channel's multi-collection. Like so you it. can just loop them on to um, a hoop earring as well. By the way, if you want to buy those earrings, £1,150. And they're silver. Silver, sterling silver, not gold, not 18 carat. Sterling silver, the same sterling silver that we use as well. Same for the name, aren't you? That's item number one, so do start checking out on that, save the knowledge that you're gonna get the most amazing early bird deal. Now, as we're talking about the hardware collection, again, Ross, shall we be honest, Ross? A, li a little bit of why we also went to our team upstairs to actually sort of commission, <laughs> <laughs> to co to commission um, this collection was because Ross and I wanted to buy them. There you go. And we're like, yeah, but I can't afford Tiffany prices. I can't afford them. I've admired. Do you know, it goes back two years. I first saw it when I was in Turkey. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Which obviously wasn't Tiffany's account. Mm -hmm. But it was like, it's the first time I saw it was, in t was two years ago and that we're going to get a chance today. So if you look at your menu today, at 10 o'clock you have it's like a joint promo for both your eight o'clock and also your 10 o'clock because it's from the same collection um you have the brand new industrial collection in solid night there's 11 grams of sterling silver Ooh, in this bracelet nice but there is one but there's a um there's only 60. that's one thing we're a bit disappointed about is 
is the fact that we've only got 60. And the earrings, which I'm also wearing, we've only got 50. They hang lovely, don't they? They really do. Yeah. Because they're solid. That's yes. the thing. They're beautiful, solid links. Extend the neckline. Yeah. I don't graduate. I don't think Laura needs these back. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure Lauren's going to be needing these back, is she, Ross? Do you yeah. I will say that a lot this weekend because, yeah, I don't know if if you've got any plans this weekend, can you scrap them? <laughs> um, <laughs> because if you look over my shoulder, you will see the most insane pearls. Seriously, look at those! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, those earrings, that necklace. I know, incredible. You've got the launch of Paraba Opal in the far oh. left at the top. Gotta be a favourite. Oh, yeah. amazing, isn't it? No, no, you were right. The Paraba Opal. To the left. To yeah, the left. that's it. That's it. Perfect. You've got pearls. If you love pearls, then you are absolutely, you should definitely stay with us today. Um, we've also got, like, you know how flora and fauna is often, uh, usually, uh, well, not often, not usually, always, an inspiration to your high-end jewelers. <laughs> we've got the most amazing um, bumblebees coming oh, up. Oh, nice. In fact, should we show, have you got the catalogue, Roscoe? Shall we go through the catalogue of everything that's coming up this weekend? Um, and then I'll talk to you about what's happening at 12 o'clock as well, because 12 o'clock, super exciting. So this weekend is a weekend of opulence, jewellery makers. Um, that's the Friday, the Saturday, and also the Sunday. And then um, and we can show you, they're all uber high-end. Can I just say as well that pendant, the pearl pendant... The industrial collection pendant is absolutely flying already on pre-order. Um, the earrings and the bracelet are coming up at 10 o'clock. So um, you can shop ahead on this beautiful pendant. That's an amazing cultured pearl. Um, I have 200 available. And you can forget about the Tiffany prices, <laughs> I'll tell you that for nothing. I went shopping yesterday because I've got, um, I'm going to be a godmother. <laughs> I'm very so excited cute, that isn't someone's it? trusting me with baby <laughs> children. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. You know, Jake. I'm going to be his son's godmother, oh, so I'm very excited. Oh, that's um, lovely. So I've got. A, uh, yeah, I went shopping and I was trying to find a nice dress because I've also got a wedding to go to as well. Um, so busy. Um, can I just say, very unsuccessful shopping trip. Unless I wanted jeans and a t-shirt, which I don't <laughs> think is appropriate. Um, nothing. But so that time, it wasn't. It wasn't completely unsuccessful because I did get to look in jewellers at pieces like this, and it really does sort of hit yeah. home just how amazing oh, yeah. jewellery maker. Eye opener, are. isn't it? It really yeah. is. Yeah. You know the ones where they normally have the guard on the front. Yeah. That's, that is, I think it's obligatory. If you're a guard for a jewellers, you cannot smile. <laughs> it does put you off a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Literally, it's stony face like that. Is it? <laughs> You're scary. <laughs> and, and I go shopping looking really scruffy as well. Yeah, me too. I have leggings, trainers. Me too. Yeah, hoodie. Hair <laughs> slapped up, no yeah. makeup. So I do understand why I was like, mm. um, <laughs> Let's go through the brochure, shall we, jewelry makers? Everything that's coming up on over the course of the weekend. I'll also tell you which pieces are uh, today. So immerse yourself in a weekend of opulent jewelry where the world's most exquisite gems and da dazzling designs come to life. For limited edition uh, giant purple pearls to captivating showcases of designer inspired jewellery, every moment is curated to delight the senses. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Discover the allure of timeless beauty and exceptional artistry in a weekend where luxury knows no bound. How good's that? Who wrote that? Um, here it is. This is your early bird high end designer inspired caged pearl. Um, let's just say Tiffany's inspired. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, how about these beautiful mixed shape gemstone elegant bracelets? Look at that. Oh, now those gemstones are lovely. They're at nine o'clock with you, Charlie, they aren't they? Oh, my love. They are. Bronchronyx, mm -hmm. Larimar, mm -hmm. and Peridot. Peri yeah, now that is a bit of a showstopper, that one. Yeah, it's the got Peridot's a lovely. Insane. Yeah. Yeah. Really and Larimar. Nice. What yeah. location oh, Larimar? Yeah. Beautiful. Um, that necklace is amazing. Um, so then you've got all oh, the earrings I'm wearing. Designer inspired 925 sterling silver long link bolt jewellery. 
Um, I, we call it, this is the industrial collection, the earrings that I'm wearing right now. I want them. <laughs> I need oh. them. <laughs> um, then we've got the multicolored rosebud pearl. Um, they're natural, by the way. They're twins as well. They're, they're twin pearls. When they kind of form together, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, really? Again, rosebud pearls are actually one of the rarest types of pearls in the industry, and they're naturally colored. This is happening at 12 o'clock jewelry makers now. Um, we have the wonderful Dave stepping into the studio. I can't talk today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> it's Friday. Into the studio um, to launch the piece that you're going to be able to get hold of with the inspiration and knowledge that Charlie is going to give you as well. The Olmec Blue Jadeite Rotating Coin Pendant. Yes, it literally oscillates, doesn't it, oh, inside? Yes, it does. It moves. It spins so freely. It's beautiful. Excellent carving. I've never worked with anything so intricate. It's beautiful. That blue is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a blue green. It's lovely. Yeah. It's like a natural. sea. Yeah, it's uh, totally ooh. natural. Totally natural. Um, sorry, that's the favorite. I would oh, agree. Ross is just saying um, that's his favorite jadeite carving that he's yeah. ever seen. The quality, absolutely. The wet luster. Um, okay, I can show you the rest of the weekend throughout the course of the show, jewelry makers. But there is so much. Like I said, if you haven't got any plans, literally scrap them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> just that, just that. Um, okay, should we get cracking then? What do you want me to start with, Roscoe? The one I fancied. I was like, ooh, <laughs> what's that, Ross? And then he said it's going to be the first auction of the day, Al. I was like, hmm, say no more. <laughs> that means Al's not going to get it then. Look at the quality of these. Absolutely beautiful. Natural scholosite. So you have like feathery inclusions. It's what, sorry? Scholosite. Oh. Scholosite. <laughs> Think pearlescent. Right. Think a little bit seraphonite. Okay. You know where you've got the silvery like angel wings. Yeah. All of that in pink, and then, then think. <clears throat> <laughs> what? <laughs> Pe Never. Mm -hmm. Are you joking? I, I don't joke. What's that like? Twenty p a stone. Is that right? It's Is that all right? right. Well done. Well, well done. Oh, That's how quick people have to be gone. early in the morning. <laughs> um, Next one up is what? <coughs> rubellite. Ooh, rubellite quartz. So two gemstones that are formed together. A, a gemological anomaly. Anomaly? Phenomena. Do you know what else is an anomaly? Never an anomaly. 58 carats of not just one, but two natural gemstones for a pound. It's gone. Well done. Wee. Well done. Nom 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 nomaly. Right. Next up. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Get yourself ready, jewelry makers, because you've got. Well, now you could be shopping ahead on your hardware pearl pendant, that amazing necklace. I should be wearing that, shouldn't I? I'm surprised you didn't put I, that on. I, actually, I, I probably didn't have time, but I'll do it in the break. <laughs> Oh, mind you, it'll have sold out then. <laughs> it's a bit late then, isn't it? Just get it on your neck quick. Oh, though. amazing. Um, Lauren just casually passed me a parcel of Sakura Emerald. Casual. <gasps> Sorry, Sakota. What did I say? Sakura. Sakota Emerald, I beg your pardon. Which, let me just double check. Yeah, just a little bit of oiling. No different to us putting a little bit of moisturiser on in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Just brightens your gemstones. Okay. How about a parcel? Two, uh, 2.45 carats. Crazy. I, I think it goes without saying that emerald should not be a pound. Is, um, are <laughs> they really? Charlie's ghast is flabbered. <laughs> totally flabbered. Don't, don't happen often. <laughs> Is that when I come here? <laughs> uh, hello, Yorkshire. Say, ladies, you both look stunning. Perfect day. Can't wait to see Charlie's demos. Oh, oh they're going to be amazing. Charlie. They're going to be amazing. Um, from the from the waist up, I always look exactly the same. You don't. You look beautiful nice every time we on. see you. It's actually I promise annoying. I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do some. Speaking of uh, Charlie's demos, should we do some Bronchronics? Do it. A little parcel. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Perfect. Get you inspired for our lovely Charlie. I mean, Charlie, these are like your bread and butter, aren't they, cabochons like this? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And they go a long way, don't they? And I think um, not many gemstones have that. 
intense cloudy kind of Pure. yeah drifting off into a daydream sort of oh, look to it i do that a lot yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so do i my husband looks at me and he goes i've lost you I? yeah and it's usually because i'm thinking about gemstones yeah exactly yeah. gemstones like this i mean oh. look how ethereal they are it's they're something totally else, natural isn't it? yeah it's a fantastic gemstone it's new to me and i love it yeah totally yeah. natural most onyx that's in the market most is actually treated oh, is whereas that? this natural natural and it's translucent which is what one of the reasons why bronchoronics was um such an exciting discovery because because it required no treatment whatsoever you get five cabochons here jewelry makers how about a pound per pack uh, cabochon i will learn to talk eventually <laughs> <laughs> a pound a cabochon jewelry makers bronchoronics do you remember the launch of it happened what two years ago maybe it was one of the biggest launches of um, of the year. You definitely would not have got a parcel for four ninety nine then. Guess what? You're definitely not getting a parcel for four ninety nine today either because there's a thirty second clock on your screen. Rachel's making sure she's stocked up on her bronchoronic. She's got four. Hello, Lavinia in London. Paula also in London wanting three. I'd be checking out your baskets. It's people on the phone lines. How many got, Roscoe? Seventy. Okay, that's not going to last long though, is it? Nah, nah. Very excited about this weekend. Oh, there's so many goodies. There's a great lineup, isn't there? Sudi's made some beautiful stuff. Yeah. Jan's made some beautiful stuff. Oh, yes, Very lucky to be. Yeah, I know, right? I know. She's she's flying that woman, isn't she? She's doing so well with her journey. I know. Pew, I know. I haven't seen Jan in ages. One ninety nine. One pounds and ninety nine pence only. Samantha, Janet, Hilda, Lincolnshire, Vera. You thought there was four? No, there's five. <laughs> so you thought, is that price too low? You're going to do, yeah, 50p a stone. Yeah, which is far too low, isn't it? Never yeah. mind, all good. Um, lots of multi buyers. We had 70. I mean, seriously, what can you get for 199 these days? Nothing. You no, know, like I said, I went shopping. I don't, I don't go shopping very often. Um, which I was thinking, that's oh, quite nice now. Girls are at school, so I can go and have a nice little day to myself. 11 quid on parking <laughs> yeah 11 quid i wasn't there that long <laughs> do you know what i mean and it was unsuccessful it was very unsuccessful like i said i got stuff for the girls who didn't need anything yeah i bet they don't <laughs> so because i was like throwing my dollies at well i wasn't throwing my dollies at fun but i didn't find an outfit so i'm like right back to the drawing board um I was like, i'm buying myself some perfume then so I bought myself some perfume, so at least didn't go home completely empty. <laughs> um, a full meter. Aquamarine. It's more than a meter, actually. Natural aquamarine. Oh, hang on. I thought I, I wondered if that was on elastic then, but it's not. A hundred and uh, it's a hundred hundred and. One, one and a quarter metres, isn't it? 127 centimetres you're getting here of natural aquamarine. Do you remember the days, jewelry makers, when our aquamarine strands used to be like 25, 28 yeah. centimetres? Um, look at that, perfect azure blue. It's actually taller than Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> <That's pretty. laughs> is he in the gallery? Is that why you dropped that bombshell? No, okay. Yeah, yeah. How tall is Wayne? Liam's not that short, is he? Liam's not that short. Five, six. He's way shorter than Ross. Ross, how tall are you? You're five for eight. <laughs> you're, five, you're five for eight. There you go. There you go. How, how tall do we think Wayne is? I'm five for one. I think he's only a couple of inches bigger than me. <laughs> Are you 5'1"? Yeah, 5'1 and a teeny tiny bit. And a teeny tiny bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm shrinking jewellery makers. We all are. I remember yeah. when the doctor measured me as 5'7". Right. I'm 5'6 now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you can just extend your neck and you've got it back. <laughs> oh, you know, um, hang on. So, seriously, we used to do aquamarine and it used to be 20, 20 centimetre strands. Occasionally, you'd see 38 centimetre strands. Not 127 centimetres. It's natural aquamarine. Ordinarily, aquamarine undergoes a little bit of heat treatment to encourage those beautiful azure blues. You didn't need that in this case. 
Remember the write-up that Pragnall's had on this beautiful gemstone, you know, talking about, you know, look, yeah, look at the quality. I mean, some of the, I'd cherry pick some of these. Um, they'd be the earrings, I reckon, or maybe oh, the center stage piece. Clever. Do you want to see a previous closing price? Believe it or not, it's not that. It's not that. Really? For 127 <sighs> centimetres of aquamarine. March's birthstone. We're not going to close anywhere near that. We've got 11 available. So Julie, Susan and Hertfordshire, you're in exactly the right place. Susan wants two though. Susan, I think you're in for an absolute treat today. I can't believe that we're bringing the volume of aquamarine that we are. 350 carats and it goes even lower. Previously closed here, 69.99. Ross has said in my ear, he goes, if you're a jewellery maker, I would genuinely come in and buy them all. The final 11. Because A, a it also is a gemstone everybody knows and loves. The final 11, well done, Samantha. But that's, that's crazy. Like I said, a 20 centimetre strand, I would be say. happy at that price. Don't you think 20 centimetres, 29.99 would be amazing? Yeah, definitely. You've got 127. So... If you buy all 11, you'll be paying about, yeah, about 300 pounds. But what's the carrot weight then? Uh, uh, 350 times 11. <laughs> Three and a half thousand carats of natural aquamarine. I mean, yeah. It's gonna be a hefty box, isn't it? You could be really clever and break that down yourself and sell it on. You would triple your yeah, money, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. little individual parcels. Yeah. We always do refer to it as number six in the big five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, makes sense. But to be honest, it was, you know, the gemstone of engagement before De Beers swooped on in there. Was there? Yeah, it was the gemstone that people used to sort of propose with. I get that. It's got a romance behind it. Yeah. I love aquamarine. Um, it's a, it's a, just a beautiful, gentle gemstone, isn't it? You just, you, I, I it's find like it nothing again. nothing else. Yeah, it's quite calming. This is flying and it's going to be an on-screen sellout. Well done, Samantha, Lorraine, Helen, Olivia, Roz, Paula. Fits what, sorry? Perfectly. Yeah, with the opulence weekend, yeah, absolutely. Hiya, Liz. Just imagine a kiss cross necklace made with these beautiful Ooh. aquamarines. Oh, now you're talking, Liz. Yeah. That would be amazing. I'd go for like, you know, you can get the pearlescent um, Mayukis, the Ooh, pearly one. Good shout. I think that would be nice. Yeah. That would be lovely. Hello, Margot. I wear an aquamarine stretchy every day uh, with a sand dollar charm. Maybe because we live at the seaside. Lucky you. Mm. Lucky you. Um, I'd love to live by the sea. Me too. Um, what a weekend, Charlie, Jan, and Susie. Exactly. What a lineup. <laughs> Gorgeous ladies. I know, I'm spoiled. I've only got one of these left, though, so make sure you're checking them out. Phyllis, I think you've just taken the last one. Well done, lovely. Well done. Amazing. Amazing. I do have some lovely lapis lazuli, as you call it, Ross. Lazuli. Lapis lazuli. Did you get that from Alex, the mineral man? Because he called it that, lapis lazuli, and he used to call labradorite la labradorite. It's a tricky one to say. Yeah, labradorite in my head. Look at the quality. Beautiful cobalt blues. I had my nose pressed against Thomas Sabo. That's another jewellers I was looking at. That, that really hit home. Yeah, I bet that did. Yeah, <laughs> really hit home. You know, the tiger's eye and lapis lazuli pieces and prices that they actually i mean they're all expensive aren't they i don't look i don't window shop i'm terrible if i can't afford it i don't look <laughs> well, more, to, more to go yeah i can make that i can make that yeah that i can make help. it a fraction of the cost it wouldn't be the hundreds of pounds they've got this little jelly baby collection at the moment Ooh, cute. it is quite cute but i, I like for a child well like a jet like like Li literally like a little jelly bait hard jelly baby on a necklace oh that's so cute which willow would love yeah and tiggy would absolutely love but i ain't paying it by an 180 pounds worth for no. my children um the quality of this and hang on a minute i've just noticed ross that's nat natural that's sari sang literally van gogh's starry night in a gemstone absolutely well said. when we imagine lapis lazuli you know like textbook quality it's this yeah it is exactly this that vibrant vibrant cobalt blue with tiny flecks of pyrite to give you that starry night visual how many have you got roscoe 70 there it is 
and cue the song. Starry, starry night, paint your palette blue and grey. Okay, just me. Look out <laughs> on a summer's day. Don't know the words, sorry. <laughs> what? Just the best songs ever written. Look, it's that inner gemstone. The, he's doing an exhibition right now, isn't he? Our Natalie's just been to it. She said it was fantastic. She sent me some pictures. It was incredible. Really? Yeah. Can you take photographs in galleries? Uh, oh, have I dropped her in it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Natalie. Knock, 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 knock. Uh, she didn't do anything, I'm sure. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if you can. I don't know. Well, she I'm did, and it looked fab. because you can't take photographs in some places. Well, it was a video. Oh, I think that's different. Oh, is it? I don't oh, okay. know. <laughs> I'm just trying to make, make, make everything Sorry. seem better. No, that's probably me. I, did, I probably dropped her in it. $24.99 for that beautiful, vibrant cobalt blue. Hertfordshire, if you want those 15, I would check out. Yeah, you can't go wrong. How about this place. then? Because this is not your closing price. $24.99? No. How about $9.99, jewellery makers? Speaking of Kiss Cross, Ooh. how amazing would this be in a micro Kiss Cross? Mm. How about we go lower? Oh, with the red jade out donuts, yes. That, yeah, seriously. You've got quite good eye, haven't you, Ross? I, I have, yeah. <laughs> His fiance is fully decked out in all the beautiful gems. Really? Well, yeah. it's not surprising, is it? She's really? got a beautiful engagement ring. I see. Yeah, a very beautiful engagement it's ring. Who you know, not what you know, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do, does she wear it on a daily basis? Does she? Oh, she doesn't she... wash up in it, though, does she? She does everything in it. <laughs> you haven't been able to get it properly valued because you won't take it off. I do get that though. That's a good thing. I want to have, um, I do understand that. I want to have my engagement ring setting changed, but I don't want to take it off. So that's the thing. Aww. Yeah. I want the setting lifted. Do you know what? You just need a new one. <laughs> you did, don't you? Do you know, I don't think I'd ever change it. Oh, well, you, can, you can cycle through. Uh, yeah. Even, uh, Tom said that. He was like, what, would you ever want to like a bigger one? I was like, no, don't want a bigger one. It's my engagement ring. Oh, yeah. well, it's six pound ninety nine. Sorry, totally sidetracked. <laughs> Who Me? wants natural <laughs> sari sang lapis lazuli, natural, not dyed, under five pounds, jewelry makers? Because it's happening today. The only reason we're doing this is because you've only got half an hour. Seriously, at Jewelry Maker, fourteen ninety nine is an incredible price for this quality. If not, if not more, because it's not dyed. That's the thing, Ross. Fourteen ninety nine. If it was dyed, mm. that's great. But it isn't dyed. You've got that wonderful quality, that textbook quality of cobalt blue, and it's not even six ninety nine. How many did we have? Did you say forty? Seventy. Good job, because there's loads of multi buyers on this. It's happening. Let's do it. Yeah. This with some pearls would be lovely as well. I love Ooh. lapis lazuli with pearls. Oh. Just that contrast. Definitely. Or even just some gold fi uh, gold findings on a yes. skinny bracelet, something like that. Do you remember, Roscoe, there's a beaded um, there's a, a beaded PowerPoint that actually has natural lapis lazuli, almost exactly the same as this, and it's kind of twisted on a gold clasp. I can't remember how many thousands it was. Um, but it's literally just this, probably on like a 0.4 wire or something like that, twisted in like a collar necklace. Oh. Um, yeah. Thousands. Thousands. Quite Egyptian, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah, that's one. There you go. I mean, at 4 99 uh, it's achievable, isn't it? Especially at that price, definitely. Exactly. You could even make it go that little bit further if you had a few precious metal spacer beads oh, in there. Oh, yeah. The phone lines have lit up. But again, textbook colour, you can really see from that photograph, which is a thousands of pound piece of jewellery, because it's yeah. lapis lazuli. Oh, yeah, So that, easy. they're not wrong. Easy. You know, it goes to show the quality of the gemstones that you actually get from us here at Jewellery Maker. Um, well done, everybody. Hilda, Rupal, Debbie, hello to you. Helen, West Midlands, Helen, Mandy, uh, Helen, Yorkshire, hello to you. London, Anita, Isabel, Samantha. Uh, Mandy, you've got yours as well. Lots of twos, threes and fours getting uh, checked out. Well done. I had 70. That won't last long. That won't last long. Well done, stay where you are on the phone lines and remember you've got half hour to check out your baskets. I'd be added your, adding your early bird to that actually. Um, that would be lovely too. Yeah. Because you mentioned pearls, didn't we? Um, how about another very summery gemstone that is your green aventurine. So it brings you lots of beautiful 
internal aventurescent sparkles. These are your four mil rounds, so I'm thinking your tassels, I'm thinking your uh, capriccio bracelets, I'm thinking your weaving, your looming, your channel setting. Let's do it in one price crash. And I'll just say it out loud. 30 seconds. This is going under five pounds. There. <gasps> On your mark, get set, go. Make sure you check it out your baskets. You're all nuts, aren't you? I know. Uh, yeah, mad as a box of Yeah, box. we like it though. We appreciate it. Yeah, in a good way. <laughs> oh, definitely so. In a good way. As a box of frogs, aren't we, Ross? Crazy. Crazy. But like you say, you get. If we weren't, you wouldn't be getting gemstones like this for a fiver, exactly. would you? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, it, it did really hit home, like I say, whilst it was unsuccessful in terms of my uh, christening stroke wedding attire, it was very successful in the fact that I got to look at lots of lovely jewellers, you know, they had all the posh ones, um, and re again, just really makes me go, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because we can bring them Catherine's to our wonderful audience. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you know, once upon a time, going back some years, when I, I think I first started working here at Jewelry Maker, I was going into, it was more local. Um, I was going into a jewellers and just kind of mooch around. Can I help you? No, just browsing, thank you. They're like, yeah, we know you work on, we, uh, I think it was Gem, <laughs> we know you work for Gemporia, so don't start taking any photos. Like, okay. <laughs> Called you out straight away. <laughs> See, this, this is a thing, but it does. You wouldn't find four ninety nine for a beautiful adventuring strand. No. Or piece of jewellery, I no. should say. Um, make sure you check it out, everybody. Look at that. It's such a fresh colour. Very. Adventuring. It's a unique green, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like something else, isn't it? Do you know, it'd be really cute just as a very long station necklace, nice. wouldn't it? Just with the odd little green here and there. Great holiday piece. Yeah, And gorgeous. if you make it really long, you can wrap and wrap and wrap lovely. that. You know, have it lovely layered. Yeah, well, I like that. That would be that. nice. Um, I like that idea. Yeah, perfect mm, for holidays. Yeah. Like Larimar. Yes. And like... Um, Escapism jewellery, yeah, isn't Amazonite, it? Yeah, Amazonite. Those kind of colour palettes. Well done. Everyone, stay where you are. Red jadeite donuts that I've given you a little bit of a sneaky peek. Now, this is old stock red jadeite, meaning it's totally natural. New stock red jadeite has been treated. There's no way, a little bit of heat treatment, which is fine, but this is type A grade, which is ultimately, I was trying to explain this to my husband the other day. Um, yeah, the difference in terms of the value of the jade is, you know, is significant. Now, if you want natural, which I think if you're a jadeite collector, as most mm. of us do, then this is one of the final pieces that we've actually got available. And I picked up my staff order for my Olmec bracelet. You could do that, couldn't you? You could do that with these. You literally couldn't put that on fast enough, could you, when you opened it? Nope. It went straight on. Straight on my wrist. Yeah, you could do that times two. Natural type A jadeite, one of the rarest colors because it only achieves this beautiful kind of like uh, tomato red saturation if, and it is a big if, if the boulder oxidizes. Remember, consider the rarity of the gemstone, mm -hmm. then consider the fact that um, most of it will actually be the green color. If it, if it actually oxidizes, you get like wafer thin amounts that achieve this color. So you've got a solid, both of them, totally natural, solid red color saturation and it's not heat treated, it's not polymer impregnated, it's not dyed. Plus you get two. How many have we got, Roscoe? Uh, oh. We've got five <coughs> because three have already gone. Excuse me. I'm not surprised. You can have like his and hers. Oh, oh that's a nice idea. It's mm. a lovely idea. How about for one of the rarest colors of jadeite, for one of the rarest gemstones on our planet in the top 10, how about 100 pounds per type A, get your certificate. Get your certificate, it's so worthwhile. Mm -hmm. A certificate, I've, yep. I'm actually looking into getting something uh, um, gem lab certified yep. and it's hundreds of pounds. I know, yeah. Hundreds of pounds. Well worth it though, that sort of thing, isn't it? It is, yeah. But you guys You do get it for 25p exactly. with us. So definitely get hold of it. Yeah. We're going lower, jewellery makers. I only have five. And, and we're not just going lower by a little bit. We're going lower by a big bit. It's a guaranteed sellout. Mm. 
the pair of natural type A red genuine Burmese jadeite that's crazy actually crazy 49 pounds and 99 pence you could set a nice colorless diamond in the center of those mm. stud earrings Ooh. can you imagine them as a piece of jewelry clever girl yeah That'd i like nice, that idea they? yeah that's got your name you're all in. over it <laughs> yeah. i think that's definitely a charlie uh, charlie five um wow make sure you check it out everybody hazel patricia rupal and karen who's got two well done i only had a couple of these that's crazy ross 25 pounds Per type A yep. jadeite, not type B, not type C. This is some of the, what, what we refer to as our old red jadeite, meaning um, from the parcels that uh, we, we could actually get, which didn't have any treatment, it's impossible to do now. Right. All our red jadeite moving forward will either have heat treatment, polymer impregnation, because um, we're lucky to get the gemstone. Yeah, yeah, Full yeah. Full stop. Um, it's sold out. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. And by the way, it's still valuable, but type A, of course, is the most valuable. Well done, everybody. Green Angelite. I don't think I do, Ross. I don't think I do. Oh, are they four mil? Yeah. Peacock Angelite. It's got to be. It says green. I think that's Peacock. You tell me. Either, either, or. Stunning. Beautiful. You know, we normally we have like the blue angelite, the vivid green mm. angelite, and we've got peacock angelite. I think this is peacock because it's got like that soft, quite laramari. Yeah, spring. Yeah, yeah, color palette fresh. about it. Lovely sort of silvery chatoyancy that naturally occurs within this gemstone. Um, and again, if it is peacock, I know our graphics say otherwise, but I picked it up thinking that was peacock angelite mm. as a strand. Um, but we can't, ugh, we can replace peacock angelite. However, it will have a yellow presence. Um, so, which is slight, it's still beautiful, but slightly less desirable. Right, okay. Um, I think this has slipped through the net, you know, Ross. I think this is from the peacock angelite parcel. And for some reason it's been labeled green. Cause that, I know, it's like a spearminty green, but it's also got like a bluish present mm. and definitely that pearlescence that you would find in Peacock Angelite. We're going to go straight down to it, jewelry makers. You can't quite see the chatoyancy, but it's beautiful. It's like a pearlescent chatoyancy. Crazy low price tag. I'd be using yeah. these with some pearls, I think. Unbelievable price tag. How many have we got? 11. You need to be speedy on it, jewelry makers. Make sure you're checking out nice and early. 35 carats. Um, currently, I think I'm right in saying this, currently as it stands, we have no Peacock Angelite in our vault. Is that right? Oh, there's a bangle. There's, strand wise, I don't think so. Um, we think we've got a couple of the bangle and that is literally it. I think this has slipped through the net jewelry makers. I think this is, when you get it home, you'll actually see there's definitely the pearlescence that you find in your Peacock Angelite. Um, wow. But I've only got 11, or rather had. Well done to everybody that's checking out nice and early. How about this with your beautiful pearl from Ooh. the Industrial Collection? Yeah, definitely. Be amazing, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, they'll complement each other so nicely, won't they? No one's fighting for the attention. No. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, because yeah. the pearlescence of the pearl yeah. complement the pearlescence in your yeah. peacock angelite. Again, summertime vibes. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Right, let's do some. Sorry. Has it got a peg? No peg. Right, with the loop. Right, I'm going to put this over my tweezers. Threader earrings. My niece was wearing threader earrings the other day. She's 18, so I reckon she's probably um, more in the know than I am on fashion. Um, oh, these are pretty again. Look at that. It's like a lovely fabric of precious metal. Threader earrings, you've actually got like a little aglet. Can you see? Just there. Kind of like the end of your shoelaces and that's what you basically post through the ear piercing and literally comes out the other side and then literally gravity gravity does its thing um they are very 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 comfortable to wear and also mm. very safe for if you wanted to wear um like my my daughter willow's got her ear, ears pierced i'd be quite comfortable for her to wear these oh definitely yeah um first price crash solid 925 sterling silver 34 pounds and 99 pence Huh? 
He just took 30 quid off. <laughs> 30 quid off that price that's amazing isn't it and you can wear them in different ways as well so you could wear it kind of a little bit longer like that so they can sort of have it graduation i love threader earrings yeah i love threader earrings my daughter does as well and because she's got so many piercings we'll do extra long ones for her and she can loop them through oh nice. so with those lengths you can do it twice yeah, oh, so nice. it looks, it's continuous and you can sleep in them, which we're not supposed to do. They don't catch on anything. No, they're very swim with them on. Yeah, yeah very I love comfortable them. to wear. Absolutely. And because the, the actual link itself will keep it in position in the yeah. ear piercing as yeah. well. So you don't need a back on these. Nope. They literally, gravity does its thing. Um, £4.99 pence only. Make sure you're checking out. Loads of you have these in your baskets, jewellery makers. You can't be dilly-dallying on Opulence weekend because everything will sell oh, out yeah. today. Um, everything's been high end from start to finish that I've brought you so far. You could, if you wanted to, actually use these. If you've got a couple of the um, industrial pearl, you could actually put them on the bottom if you wanted. Ooh, That'd cute. be quite nice. Wouldn't yeah. It? Um, it's not breaking the bank either today, no. I can tell you. No. Uh, Lorraine, Wendy, Isle of Man. Hello to you, Janet, Lavinia, Mary and Karen. Multi buyers. Hello to you, Olivia, Ma uh, Maker. Jane, Debbie, Beverly, Stella, um, Faye, Sharon, hello to you, London, hello to you, Julie, Samantha and Bristol, a new customer and Isabel. Um, if you want the multiples, I had, how many do you say, Ross? Okay, we had 30 to start with. Let's do the peg ones now. No way, because these are two findings in one, aren't they? Oh, come on, hang on, hang on a minute. I wanna get it there we are so these i like these you could put your pearls on there couldn't you oh they're lovely they're beautiful aren't they you've got is it a box link it's like is it square is it round you can't like quite snake, see no that's it? a box link yeah oh nice box link chain that's why you're getting that lovely luster then um it's basically two findings in one you've got the threader earrings and you've got the peg bales and yet here we are Doing it again. We're doing it again. We have got two findings in one. Three, actually. Two peg bales and the threader earrings. So three findings. That's Loving pretty it. good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very good. Normally, you'd have to source the peg bales and then the threader earrings and put it all together. Yep. But for some reason, Ross is saying, no, you can get it, have it all today for $4.99. Um, get the pair. Get the pair and get the ones previously as well for £10. Solid 925 sterling silver. I, sp I spotted, like, um, again, on my shopping trip, I, I, there were brands I've never even heard of on the market, High Street. That, again, that shows you how often I go clothes shopping. But, um, but I found this one, and I was like, oh, that's quite nice. I like that necklace. And again, costume jewellery, £70, oh, no. and it was base metal. Yeah, yeah, and you got sterling right here for a fiver. Exactly. For a fiver. And it's actually really tricky, <coughs> excuse me, to solder those jump rings on without ruining your uh, chain. So actually, it's a it's a skill. Is that get just just the jump rings on the chain? Wow! So and you don't even have to do that. No, no. And they are soldered, so they're not going to come loose nope. at all. How many do we have of these, Ross? They've sold oh. out. That's how many we've got. <laughs> there you go. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Shall we do a mega deal on some essential spacer beads, jewelry makers? Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's do it. Always. Okay. Amazing. Um, now, am I meant to have two lots? You have... Oh, it's a double trouble. Oh, amazing. Double trouble. Um, okay. Amazing. All that precious metal. 50 two millimetre essential spacer beads. I've said this so many times before, but there is not a single piece of jewellery that I ever make. My jewellery is very basic, Charlie. Okay. But there's not a single piece of jewellery that I make that doesn't include a spacer bead. Oh, they're great. They're I great. You can't everything. have too many. You can never have too many. And you guys get a really nice selection as well. And the round ones are great. If you're a wire wrapper mm. and you add them onto the end of your wires and, and pinch the wire, yeah. then you don't have to have a big coil or, yeah. a, or an extra long length that you don't know what to do with. They're so useful. They're great. Make sure you're stocked up, everybody. Um, we're at £49.99. pence, But we're not stopping there. We are promising a mega deal. Now, first price crash, Ross is, Ross is saying, 
I want to see a hundred people on the phone lines. Hundred people. You almost became Rosh then, by the way. Rosh. <laughs> Rosh would like to see a hundred people on the phone lines and on the web. Um, first prize that you're not paying today. I mean, with all the opulent gemstones that we we're going to be bringing you, you're going to be reaching for your precious metal time and time again, aren't you? Think Laramar that's coming up in the next hour. Think the most beautiful quality Peridot. Think about your industrial collection that's coming up. Think about the amazing rosebud pearls. Not think about the beautiful Olmec. Mm. Not your price. We want to see about a hundred of you there. Even if you're thinking, I think I've got, I think. I've got spacers. Are you ever going to regret a spacer purchase? That's the thing. Because no. you will use it. Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. Do you know, if you've got the threader earrings, you can have like little pom-poms, silver pom-pom oh, earrings. Oh, nice. Yeah, that would be cute. We're going lower, Charlie. Are you really? Yeah, for that grand Yay. way. Again, um, Rachel, when she was covering Ross the, uh, a couple of, was it last weekend, Ross, or the weekend before? Was he gallivanting? She was, she was just, she was just saying like, I can't believe you're sterling silver prices. I'm better yeah. off buying sterling silver from jewelry makers. She was saying, Ross. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. It's true. Yeah. And no, that's our sister right. channel. Seven pounds ninety nine pence. Not for one pack, for two packs. Wait a minute. Four quid. Four quid. Can't get a naff sandwich from garage for four quid, that's can you? True. But you can I, I, buy some precious metals. Hang on, Ross. Is it 50 pieces? So there's 25 and 25? <laughs> no. There's 50 and 50. So you get 100 oh. for 7.99. Have we fluffed it? That's a mega deal, is that, isn't it? Hang on a minute. That's 100 you get, not 50. <gasps> What? Two months ago, Wayne was on air, and he doesn't what? <laughs> Shall I repeat that? I think you should. He's a bit rusty <laughs> in the, like producer chair. So he did something ridiculous. Um, okay, for basket openers. And, and seven ninety nine wasn't it? Okay, well, but like, that's that's Rachel's point proven, isn't it? Really, like seriously, she couldn't buy it for uh, sterling mm. silver at these prices. Most likely, we couldn't either. So this is an error because I've just clocked that it, you don't get fifty, you get a hundred. Our graphics say fifty, you get a hundred, and we're going even <laughs> lower, jewelry makers. How many got Roscoe? Two hundred available. We are going to honour Wayne's ridiculous sterling silver price tag for something that we know you're going to use. And there is—I always paint this scenario because it's happened to me so so many times. You want to make a piece of jewellery, you need a few spacer beads, and you just can't find the spacers. So you're scratching around in mm -hmm. the bottom of your drawer, in your bead boards, trying to find just one, just one <laughs> spacer bead. We can give you a hundred today, and it's only been six—it's only six ninety-nine. Um, again, I sound like a broken record here, but we used to do 10 for more than that. Yeah. We used to do packs of 10 spacer beads for more than that. You're getting 100 today, jewellery makers. Make sure you check it out. Stock up. Even if you think I've got loads, L. You will use them though, won't you? What I can't guarantee moving forward is that we'll be able to do a 6 99 price tag for mm -hmm. 100 spacer beads. I doubt it. Prices keep shooting through the roof. Oh, don't the they? bullion market like trends. Yeah, literally. yeah. Literally. Feels like I'm having to um, go through my spreadsheets every other week now yeah. because they, it is through the roof. So that is a smashing deal. It changes, not just on by the oh, day. All the time. All, all the time. time. You have yeah. to be really on it. So snap them up. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody, and multiply till your heart's content because we haven't put a cap on these. Um, Isabel, Kathleen, Audrey, Honor, I love that name, Honor. Yeah. Um, Mandy, well done, both multi buying. Debbie, Belinda's got three. Karen's multi bought. Maurice, hello to you. Uh, Susie's multi bought. Yvonne, Rupal's multi bought. Neil and Linda, Louise, Jacqueline, Hampshire. Uh, I can't keep up. Honestly, every time I read a name, the screen jumps. Um, Janine, Mary in Cardiff, Jacqueline in Leicestershire, Christine, Sharon, Beverly, sorry. Make sure you check it out, everybody. We had 200. Oh, a weekend of opulence and sterling silver is definitely fitting there. It's what, sorry? We're only just getting started. 
This is the warm up. This is the warm up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the kind of warm up that I like. Yeah. Not the. <laughs> it doesn't involve any stretching. Exactly. Not the kind of sweaty warm ups. <laughs> Don't know. No, much prefer warm-ups involving sterling silver essentials and spacer beads yep. and beautiful right opulent my jewelry. Street, that. Um, well done. Three pound fifty, Ross, for fifty spacer beads. Yeah, these people know a good deal when they see it, don't they? They 100%. are flying out. And you're so right. Mm -hmm. Wayne is out of touch, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's out of time. He's got a bit picked on today, isn't he? Oh, we love Wayne. <laughs> he, we love Wayne. He knows that. And sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's just... It's, it's character building. He it's dishes it out as well. I'm sure he does. He definitely <laughs> dishes it out too. Don't feel too sorry for him. <laughs> oh, no. Um, <laughs> make sure you check it out, everybody. Six ninety nine. dollars um, All around the UK, around the world, actually, getting involved. Hello to you all. Make sure you check out, though. You can always combine your order. It's no additional um, cost. So, basically, you just add to order. It says combine order. Um, and one post in packaging all day. How amazing is that? I not, like that bit. Yeah, not per item like Do most like shopping channels. Most shopping channels, it's per item. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and I'm a bit impatient. I paid the fast one. Yeah. Yeah, I want it now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I do as well. But, um, and lots of online retailers. Like if you go to that River website, which I did um, yeah, last night, ordered a couple of things on there. Some dungarees. Oh, cute. And um, you know the things you put in your bun? Like girls, little girls' hair. Oh, it's like a donut. Oh, like a foam thing. Yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah oh, I have seen one of them for a while. Two of those. Two pe separate postage. Uh, really? Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. Um, amazing. Right. Really? Next up. Imperial white jadeite. Oh, eight millimetre rounds. This do you know what this reminds me of, Ross? That where it all began the sally hewer collection do you remember that it's a full length strand it's totally natural type a white joe look at the purity from there wow it's you know when something is so white it's almost blue mm. that's natural type a imperial white jadeite not bleached not dyed not polymer impregnated and it's a full strand, but there is only seven. If we want opulence, mm. there is no better weekend, firstly, and it is going to include some of our finest jade. Ooh, this is where it all began for me. You know, like you think about in terms of the history of jade here at Jewelry Maker, and it's been just the most amazing journey. One that's been recognized, by the way, by lots of very influential individuals in the jade world around around the world so the likes of uh, stanley chu the likes of uh the financial times you oh. know are actually writing um an article on jewelry maker and gemporia because of the gemstones uh, this gemstone you know the fact that we are able to bring this caliber to our audience at an achievable price tag it's something that's never been done before that is never been done before and we're learning along the way as well, aren't we? That's we've never been, we've never said, um, oh, we're experts on jadeite. We're not experts. We're not experts on jadeite. I'd say Dave, I know he wouldn't say these words. I think Dave is. Um, but we're learning. And one thing we do know is that it's type A. You want type A. That's the grade that you are looking for. Type A, that's what this is. Some of the rarest colors well, once upon a time reserved for Imperial China was the white. Nobody right. else could wear white jadeite hundreds of years ago. The rarity of this gemstone, remember the mine is closed. It closed in 2020 and that's 800 years of history done. You don't have to take my word for it. Have a look on first dibs, number one, S-T-D-I-B-S. Have a look on there and search natural white jadeite you see the prices that it does fetch have a look at sotheby's christie's and bonhams have a look at mason and Kay. have a look at pillar and stone because jade is a term that's used quite loosely what you want is type a natural and if it's if it's cotan it's nephrite obviously if it's burmese it's jadeite which is actually rarer 
actually rarer. You aren't getting type B, you aren't getting type C. Make sure if you do price compare, and I get it, do it. By all means, I've just encouraged you to do it. Make sure you're comparing the real thing. Yeah, read the description, Yeah, definitely. We used to bring you strands like this in, yeah, 12 to 18 centimeter strands because of the rarity of the gemstone. We've had the likes of Gump's Jewelers in San Francisco. <gasps> A, an employee of Gump's Jewelers message us say, I buy, my, I buy your jadeite because it's exactly the same as what Gump's Jewelers prices are, uh -huh. uh, quality that Gump's Jewelers have at much but, smaller prices. Yeah, yeah. That speaks volumes, doesn't it? 190 carats of pure imperial white, type A. It is so worth anything jade, whether it's nephrite, whether it's your Kotans, your Burmese, your Olmecs. It is so worth getting your certificate of authenticity. It's 25p. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Believe me, it costs hundreds to get something Gem Lab certified. Yeah. I've bought, um, um, bought, well, found a piece, I should say, not from Jewelry Maker that I am having certified. And I know it's going to cost me probably yeah. about three, four hundred pounds. Yeah. So 25p is nothing, is oh, it? Oh, no. No. Good luck. Again, this with your early bird would be amazing, wouldn't it? When we talk about legacy, oh, goodness me. Again, this is why, you know, the likes of the Financial Times, and you know, a lot of, it's, it's, it's a new one on us because actually a lot of uh, jewellers are quite disgruntled by our prices. Yeah. Because we're kind of exposing, I guess, you yeah. know. Say, look, we work on tiny margins. This is what you can pay at jewellers, which is like 400% markup. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of jewellers, high-end jewellers, can be a bit disgruntled by Gemporia. Remember, Steve wasn't very popular when he went to the jewellery awards. <laughs> Betty was However, however, it's lovely now that actually you've got the likes of the Financial Times who are excited by the fact that, you know, we are sort of, making one of the world's rarest gemstones accessible at affordable prices. That's no reflection of the true value or worth. It's all down to how we actually source our jade. Um, that means you can get it at those prices. Please, please, please know that $79.99 is not its valuation. No. You know, I'm not qualified to value jewellery, but, um, you know, fairly knowledgeable. Uh, fairly, fa not knowledgeable, fairly self-explanatory is what I meant to say. Fairly... Uh, um, obvious yeah. when you look elsewhere. That's why I was mentioning those other jewelers. Samantha, Alan, Rupal, Julie, Paula, check out your baskets because I only had seven opportunities. Well done to the fact, I think we've got literally one of those left now. Oh, I love this next one. Now this is your uh, finale auction before your early bird, that amazing pearl industrial collection inspired piece it's brand new it's flying on pre-orders all inspired by the amazing how uh maison uh, that is tiffany's and co um but before we bring you that i'm going to bring you your morse code i love this i think it's such a genius idea as well i wonder and i don't know the answer but i wonder if it's actually something new to the jade world morse code ideas i wonder if that's quite I don't know if that's ever been done before. I know Morse code jewellery is quite popular. Yeah. But actually in jade. Has that ever been done? I don't know. You know more than me. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I love this idea. So you can go on to Google, the wibbly wobbly web. You can go on to that and just say, right, Google Morse code alphabet. And you basically look at the arrangements of the dots and the dashes to write something, whether it's a sentence, whether it's a word, whatever it might be. Um, I made one for my husband. How many months ago? Two, three months ago. He still wears it every day. And, 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 and he wears it because it's not too obvious that it says, I love you. Do you know what? Jade is so robust, yeah. isn't it? So you can wear it every day, yeah. especially for gents, you know, that are very physical and hands-on as well. So yeah, they're a great one for them to wear. They, they're quite heavenly from here, aren't yeah, they? They gorgeous. have this lovely glow. You know, Jade Ike translates to heaven. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, that so was a happy accident, wasn't that. it? One price crash. There's 10 available. A full 38 centimeter strand. Oh my goodness. 29 pounds and 99 pence only. That is ridiculous, Ross. When did that become a thing for natural jade eye? Yeah. If that was type C, yeah, maybe. But it's not, it's type A grade. 
type a grade this will sell out amazing well done well done well done well done but it is time i'm very excited about this next opportunity again some months back um ross and i actually went oh well ross went to the team upstairs we we discussed it over the show didn't we, we were like oh look at this collection at tiffany's and co this is amazing it's quite simple quite bold and strong and it's you know loads of celebrities are all wearing yeah. these designs at the moment wouldn't it be great if jewelry maker could do their version <laughs> okay here it is now just imagine you're not watching little old jewelry maker you walk past tiffany's and co and you have that imposing security guard but again, you must not smile. That's what they must be said. They must. They, he, it's got to be at the top of the list, hasn't it? What are your skills and qualifications? Yeah. <laughs> must not smile. <laughs> That's on your your job spec. Yeah. No humour. No humour. <laughs> you must look incredibly intimidating. That's that. Yeah. But anyway, imagine. So you walk past Tiffany's and Co. And instead of seeing the security guard and of course the beautiful. Um, exterior of Tiffany's and you've got the, the twinkly light you've got little spotlights that are strategically placed on their amazing beautiful jewelry um, and then you see the price 1050 pounds you gulp. But you, yeah exactly <laughs> but this amazing necklace is in the window and it's one of their most successful designs at the moment mm. don't, don't you get that Charlie though because it's so simple Oh yeah, and it suits So everyone. simple in its appearance, but not simple in its construction clever is what I'm learning design. from you. Very clever in design, yeah, definitely. Is that because, so to recreate something like this is incredibly skillful? Definitely, if you want to make it by hand, yeah, definitely. Because you have to have the right tension? Yeah, that's right, yeah, definitely. And it, I would assume it's all one piece without getting right in there. I would assume it's all one continuous piece of material. Yes. Yeah. It is. In fact, I'll show you all the way around if you like, um, because I've actually got some. I've got one here um, that's not on the chain. I mean, look at the quality of that pearl. Firstly, stunning, isn't it? That pearl is absolutely beautiful. And then if I show you here, yeah, beautifully mm -hmm. caged. I'll flip it over. Yes, the other side. So it doesn't matter if it turns over. Then if I show you the top, oh, it's a little bit Hermes as well, isn't it? Very clever. A little bit Hermes there too. And again, that perfect tension. So is that, does that answer your question? Yeah, definitely. It's all one piece. And do you know what I love? It doesn't have jump rings. No. Nope. You slip it straight onto any chain. Yeah. And you've got a nice open bail and that yeah. open gallery. So as I said, about three months ago, Ross, we had like a, we had a connector, didn't we? There was a link and um, I multi-bought on it because I was thinking, right, I want to make a bracelet. Mm. Clever. Yeah, I want to make a bracelet. So I did a multi bought on them, um, which then led us into sort of looking into the hardware collection on Tiffany's and Co. Um, to see, yeah, to see, okay, what kind of designs? They, these are amazing. They're beautiful. I love the simplicity, but they're quite bold and strong. I think it really sold, shows quite a lot of personality in these pieces. And then you've got those kind of quite heavy duty kind of in, industrial vibes. But then you've also got like an added element of femininity to it with yeah. the pearl. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. So if you go to Tiffany's & Co. as we speak right now, you can buy this necklace. <clears throat> it's not 18 karat gold. You'll see it says sterling silver, 16 to 18 inches. So it's quite short. It's quite yeah. a short yeah, chain. Yeah. Um, and you're talking £1,050. You'll get a nice blue box, that's the thing. <laughs> but you don't see the blue box when you're wearing the piece of jewellery, no, do you? No, you don't. And that blue box probably cost them pennies. Probably, yeah. Yeah. It cost you pennies though, did it? No. <laughs> so we took inspiration from this amazing collection at Tiffany's. And we're like, I wonder, I wonder if I could create achieve a gorgeous necklace at a fraction of the cost here at Jewelry Maker. How lovely that is. If you got a pair, 
you could feed them onto some hoop earrings. I love that. And then you could recreate the look at Tiffany's and Co with their earrings and save yourself the £1,150. They're timeless, aren't they? They're never going to go out of fashion ever, are they? No. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's beautiful. I absolutely... Oh, hang on, see if I can get the bracelet in as well. Look at how beautiful that collection is. And it's not a thousand pounds. Nowhere near. No way near. This auction is about to open. Massive congratulations to those of you that have already shopped ahead on this. At 149, Hazel's getting a sweet. Well done, Hazel. If you've got a pair of hoop earrings, and we did look in our vault to see if we had anything similar, but unfortunately we don't. But you can get them from pretty much anywhere. Oh, yeah. Um, and keep your eyes peeled on Jewelry Maker because we do bring them as well. If you want to recreate that whole suite, let's just say you're still going to be less than what, what that necklace was. Mm. Still going to be less. You, these are not synthetic pearls. Yours is a cultured pearl, genuine cultured pearls, the same as Tiffany's & Co. Stunning, isn't it, in its lovely simplistic design. I love that. Yeah, and they've kept the beauty of the pearl, haven't they? There's no drilling whatsoever. Nope. It is on its own. Flawless. Pure beauty. Flawless. Yes. Already, Hazel's multi-bought, Conway, I've got Anne, Karen, Lynn, Maker, Cheryl, Julie, Heather. How pretty is that? But modern at the same time. Oh, very, yeah, very. Good luck, everyone. I'm so, t I'm so tempted to join you on this. I knew this weekend, I did say to my husband, I was like, just so you know, this weekend is definitely going to be one of those weekends where we're, where we're shopping. Mm. There's some goodies planned for this weekend. And it starts right here. Already collectors getting involved, jewellery makers. I love it. It's not a small pearl. You've got that beautiful tension. And your first price crash. Oh, look at that. If I had a slightly more elegant hand, that could be on a glossy magazine, couldn't it? Yeah, beautiful hand. Couldn't Does it? the chain come with it as well? It's the pendant. It's oh, we do chains for about a six quid. Oh, okay, brilliant. Just yeah? checking. The pendant. Twenty nine ninety nine, but we're not done. We are not done. I need to see you there, though, jewelry makers. We've got two hundred. In fact, there are loads of you there. I know. Um, oh my goodness, I can't quite believe the price that we're taking this to, Roscoe. Have you done the maths on that? Amber, I says, of course I have. He is, he is the <laughs> producer extraordinaire. Pauline's going for a sweet. Jenny's going for a sweet. Hazel's going for a sweet. I think that's going to be quite consistent. Mm. We're not stopping at £29.99. pence. Simplistic, stylish, Tiffany's and Co inspired. Not £1,050. £19.99. Seriously, I saw costume jewellery for more than that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. I did. I know. Hi much, much, much more than that. That's a great price, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Dead chuffed with that. I, I pressed, oh, not literally pressed my nose, but like I said, I was looking <laughs> in Thomas Sabo, which I don't think I could, would, would, it's not costume jewellery, but genuinely these little jelly, ba uh, jelly babies, not jelly babies, jelly gummy bears. Yeah. Yeah? That's inspired one of their collections. It's a little gummy bear. A sweet. Yeah, a sweet, basically. And they're three figures. Oh. You know, you know what I mean? You're looking at a genuine natural culture pearl of that quality, framed in a huge amount of sterling silver, um, inspired by one of the biggest jewelry houses in the world, not 1,050 pounds, you're getting it for 20 quid today. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Nobody needs to know that though. No, nobody you don't, would you don't, know, you would don't they? don't tell anyone that. <laughs> because you know, one thing else, Tiffany's & Co, there's nowhere for their branding. I was just thinking, yeah. You can't, you know, normally like say, if you've got the padlock heart at Tiffany's, Definitely, you can yeah. see it's Tiffany's. Yeah. Um, if you, same with the, uh, with the hardware collection, there's nowhere to see. Yeah. To, 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 you like, wouldn't know. No. There's no branding or logo or anything like that. It's literally cultured pearl. So no, you're right. Nobody would know the difference. We're at 19.99 jewelry makers, but incredibly that's still not your early bird price. Now we commissioned 200, which is very exclusive. 
Massive congratulations to those of you that have already confirmed. Mm. But we're going even lower. How giftable are these as well? Oh, yeah. We're going even lower, jewelry makers. $19.99 is not your early bird price tag. It should be. The weekend of opulence doesn't mean it has to have an opulent price tag, does it? I not like with that. Us. Not with us. Again, coming up, little promo. You've got that beautiful bracelet in the 10 o'clock hour. Um, that's going to sell out in a heartbeat. I absolutely love it. You've got 11 grams of silver. But from that same collection from Tiffany's, you have, you've got this beautiful pearl necklace. Um, you're not paying $19.99. The pearl alone should yeah, be yeah. that price, if not more. Today, I had 200, so many multi-buyers. Think how giftable they are. I mean, look at all the gifting too. That's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. I bought a cup of tea, some watermelon, and a cold drink yesterday, and it cost more than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just silly, isn't it? Prices are going through the roof, but not here. Not here. I like that. Not sterling silver. Not genuine cultured pearls. Two very expensive mm -hmm. items at the moment. Pearls yep. we know have gone through the roof. Yep. Never been more expensive. And yet here we are bringing you a huge one. It's 13 mil. Something we've not really mentioned. Hard That's a 13 millimeter yeah. pearl. Yeah, with you on that, Al. It's a great one. Unbelievable. I'm going to be getting some of these. Yeah, me too. I'm going to get a couple of those. I love the hoop idea. I think that's so cute. You could actually thread that onto a bangle, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, that's a nice That'd idea. That'd be cute. Nice. And just put it onto some of your chains like this. Put them in a nice box. Yeah, well, I like that because we all have different tastes, don't we? So yeah. someone might want a square box and someone yeah. might want a snake chain. And yeah, I love them. Love them. And just feed it onto your chain and then literally fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. About £20 if you add your chain, just over. How yeah. unbelievable, or £1,050 if you oh, go to Tiffany's and Co. <laughs> and, and I don't know about, you might feel quite comfortable in those kind of settings. I really don't. I mm. go really awkward and fidgety. Yeah. Um, and like you said, you always feel like someone's just watching you, especially the way I was dressed yesterday. I don't understand it. <laughs> um, well done. Make sure you check out Wiltshire's Got Three, Mary's Got Three, Veronica's multi bought, Tessa's multi bought, Anita's multi bought, Debbie in Northamptonshire's got five. Well done. Isle of Man's bought four. Uh, Alan's bought, bought three. Cheryl's multi bought. Pauline's multi bought. I'm talking threes, fours, fives even. Now, coming up, this is about, we're about to close this auction. Remember, everything does disappear on closure of this hour. So make sure you're checking them out. Checking them out. Coming up after the break with the lovely Charlie. We've got, talk about opulence weekend. We've got three beautiful gemstones, mm. three amazing projects and three, uh, and some amazing jewelry to inspire you with. Comes with Charlie's instructions as well. Bronca onyx, natural bronca onyx, beautiful peridot, which from here, mm. I don't know, I've not seen the literature yet, but looks like Xilin, because it's the perfect uh, I did perfect wonder, green. I yeah. did wonder. I think so. And then you've got a one locational gemstone in your amazing Larimar, which is like as rare as hen's teeth. Um, all coming your way in the next hour, jewelry makers. So again, do not go anywhere. Don't forget your deal of the day is all about this amazing hardware collection, which I absolutely love. I saw it two years ago when I was on holiday. Um, loved it then. Yep. Couldn't afford it. Yep. Because it wasn't Tiffany's, but they'd imitated it in gold. Oh, so really? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't afford it. Um, today, jewelry makers, we're going to bring you this amazing collection at an affordable price tag: eleven grams of precious sterling silver. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on um, your industrial collection inspired pendant as well, saving yourself. What is it? One thousand and thirty-five pounds. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> That's a great saving. That's a really good <laughs> saving. Uh, congratulations. So, um, don't go anywhere. Is it happening now, Roscoe? Yes, okay, so uh, get yourself ready for your beautiful Larimar, get yourself ready for your Peridot, get yourself ready for your Bronca Onyx, and join Charlie and I after this. Hi, jewelry makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, and we are going to kickstart the Glamour Weekend. We have got some goodies in store for you. So at nine o'clock, we have some very stunning gemstones. We've got white bank onyx. We've got um, some beautiful peridot. It's very rich to intense greens. Um, I think there's Larimar in there as well. There's so many goodies. 
um, and then at 12 o'clock we have the most stunning piece of Ulma Jadeite. It's a carved piece. It's stunning, absolutely stunning, lovely sage green colour. It was a privilege to work with, very intricate carving. Um, so I can't wait to share that with you as well and with Elle and Ross and the fab team. So I can't wait to be there and I really hope you can join me for the Glamour Weekend. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. that we can have in that very short period of time. <laughs> it can cram a lot in in cram about Cram a lot seconds. in, yeah, absolutely. Oh, jewellery makers, I had to put that necklace on. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's so pretty. So well done to everybody that got hold of this. The first part of your, and it sits so It glows, doesn't yeah. it, as well? Sits so gorgeously on the neckline too. We might replay it yet later on. We're not meant to, but we... <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do it, Ross. Do it anyway. We're going to re... Depends on the quantity, yeah, we'll see how many are, are, are available, if there's any available. Now, you've also got this amazing bracelet coming up, which, I'm not going to lie, I have been to get my phone <laughs> because of this bracelet. Um, so this beautiful hardware collection bracelet is coming up at 10 o'clock. 
How perfect gorgeous that is. size, isn't it? I think not yeah. too big, not too small. Eleven grams. That, it's crazy, isn't it? Eleven grams of silver. Um, but right now, Charlie, as always, just gorgeous jewellery. Do you know it was the gemstones, really? You know, I, mean, I just did a little credit. bit extra. I'd take some credit, a little take bit of credit. credit. I mean, no, it's the gemstones. They're so oh, lovely. Look at that bangle there. That's amazing. Oh my goodness, Charlie, honestly. Well, it just need, I just felt like it needed to be almost on a stage, on its own, being shown in the sun. Look great on my daughter. Oh, is she wearing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's quite. a great model for me with a little tan skin in the sun and it just glows like something else. And then the Larimar, what a treat. I was gonna say, you've got a fave, that. don't you? Not really, no, not really. But I've got, I'm, I've got to say it's the Peridot actually for me because it is so, Unlike any other Peridot I've seen, I know that sounds really strange, doesn't it? But it really does no, shine I internally. Agree. I do agree, and that's mm. what made me say that I think this is actually uh, Fooli Peridot, Gilin Peridot, so right. the best quality that's ever been. Say that been. again. Fooli. Okay, Fooli or Gilin. Gilin. So it's the primary location. Why the two, why the two words? Fooli is the name of the company. Gilin oh. is the location. Right, okay. Um, so it's the primary source, which is why it's giving you that colour. And I love there's a selection of cuts as well. Yeah. So, so it just highlights it in so many different ways. Can I just clarify something, Ross? You get five strands. They're on pre-order right now. But also, we have very last to stock crimp bead opportunities. I launched these um, as a deal of the day. If you go to the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. So these crimps, um, they're different sizes. So if you want to guarantee your size and also the different shapes, because um, you've got round ones and the tube ones. Mm -hmm. I was like, round crimps, what genius. Yep. Because you're not going to have little bits poking out, are you? That's it. Um, amazing. So shop ahead on those. They are very last of stock and we will be repeating those. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So, Charlie, you get, if I just put that there for a second, the instructions for these amazing chandelier earrings, don't you? Mm -hmm. Which you could do with any one of these projects, whichever oh, gemstone. Yeah, definitely. Amazing. So, whether it's the Broncoronyx, whether it's the Peridot, or whether it's the Larimar. Can I, uh, and they're all available on pre-order right now. I'm gonna start with the Larimar because I think that's gonna be the one that sells out the fastest. Okay, they're already going, yeah. Nine of the Larimar have gone, yeah. I'm not Doesn't surprised. surprise me. Now, for those of you that don't know, that's amazing quality Larimar, mm -hmm. isn't it? Notice how intense that blue is? Yeah. So Larimar comes from the Dominican Republic and only in the Dominican Republic. I didn't know that. It's a one location gemstone. Oh. It's a it's a rare type of pectolite. Pectolite you can find in other places. However, for some gemological reason, which nobody really knows wh why, it transformed blue in this location. Okay. So um, because the Dominican is quite a volcanic location, they believe it's got something to do with that. Right. Because it's quite, it's quite rich in lots of other elements like vanadium and copper. Makes sense. Yeah. But, so one location in the world. If you want to talk about how rare Larimar actually is, the mining operation, as in the, the location itself, is less than one square mile, it's which tiny. is tiny. Yeah, tiny. When you compare that to your tanzanite, mm. which we you know how many times we talk about how a thousand times rarer than a diamond yeah. if in your tanzanite. Larimar is significantly more than that. I can't quite see it, is sorry. It, is that the mine? That's the mine. Um, how is Larimar mined? Larimar mine is considered artisan mining, meaning that it is very small scale and informal, carried out by um, an individual or small groups using minimal machinery and equipment. It's literally done by hand. They don't, you know, they use explosives in some mines, not in Larimar, obviously. Um, it is a major driver um, of community development by providing jobs and ensuring profits for local villagers in the surrounding region. Alternative employment in the area is limited to low paying sectors such as agriculture or fishing. In contrast to industrial scale mining, the miners' earnings are spent locally, supporting sustainable economic growth within their community. You cannot, um, what, certainly when it was first being um, unearthed, 
you could we could import Laramar rough you can't do that now even down to the cutting is done there so the, oh. you know obviously they're benefiting from every single very exclusive very good for the village love that great for their love you know that. for their local communities 40 years ago the deposits of Laramar were on the surface but over time that material has been mined out requiring the shafts to go deeper and deeper I don't know about you but I find that quite scary terrifying look at the little red dot at the bottom yeah um, the best quality Laramar is often found in a layer between two types of rock so the miners have to dig vertical shafts to go down until they hit this boundary layer and then start Ooh. tunneling around uh, for the veins of Laramar also another question that's often brought to uh, um, mentioned with Laramar is how long have we got left because we say approximately mm. 20 years for Tanzanite um, we've been speculating with other gemstones like your Burmese ruby for example it's very difficult to say with Laramar because what the, it forms in what they believe were tunnels that were carved out of volcanic activity right um, so as you can imagine we have no no way no way of knowing how the landscape was actually how it looked when it happened yeah, at yeah. the very very beginning so and we don't know where sort of those uh those tunnels effectively would have stopped so it's basically follow it until follow your nose until it runs out That's effectively but again one mile squared which might seem huge it's really mm, not, not really. you've got diamond mile mi uh, mines which are miles across you know yeah. so it is uh, and, and you've got to remember that's the only place in the world that you can get this beautiful blue pectolite we are talking real real rarity let's uh, so will it run out look at that oh, that little picture i found very endearing so uh, due to the very small uh, deposits of larimar and the limited financial value of the larimar deposits as in the location itself uh, extensive geological surveys of the land have never been done the available quantity of Laramar is unknown but what is known is that the surface area has been mined out so now the shafts are chasing and I think that's the word yeah chasing the Laramar deposits deep into the mountain this is only my opinion but again I think it's quite a logical opinion um, I think Laramar will run out way before Tanzanite sounds like it yeah. way 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 before Tanzanite yeah. um, and there's no other gemstone like it that's the thing Laramar is so distinctive it's one of those beautiful gemstones that literally looks like its location yeah and it's totally and utterly natural which leads me to photographs like this you know if you think about the Dominican Republic and the Caribbean you'll conjure up images like this won't you those beautiful beautiful vibrant blue seas crisp white sands take a look at this picture now this picture, the top one is Laramar, where you have those kind of pools of white. The bottom one is the sea in the Caribbean. Wow, I, I know. love that. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. You know when that when you're underwater, maybe snorkeling, yeah. um, and you look up and you can see the sunlight hitting the top of the water itself and the reflection on the white sands. That's Laramar in a gemstone piece of the Caribbean and a it gem. Is. That is amazing. It's one of the it's one know. of the most amazing stones. Sorry, what was that? There are 11 gone on pre-order. I've got 70 available. You don't just get one strand, jewelry makers. Do you remember when Herman came over from the, from the Dominican and brought some of his, he went over to, on holiday and decided to relocate his whole family because he fell in love with this gemstone. And Herman um, used to supply us Laramar. We can't, we can't do it anymore. His, his Laramar is so expensive. Right. All Laramar is expensive. Yeah. So to be bringing you five strands in this five project strands. is unbelievable. I don't know what this is going to, but I'm going to guess, knowing Ross pretty well, what on earth, Ross? Seriously, though. What's your favourite strand? It's got to be the the Maki strops for me personally. Maki strops, okay. Yeah, fine. I do. I do love those ones. I'm going to tell you this confidently. I've been here 12 years. I 100% have bought Larimar, one strand like this, for more than you're going to see for your project. Okay, I, don't, I have no idea where it's at. A few years ago, this strand on its own would have easily been 149 pounds easily and and rightfully so 
It was never, you know, full length strands. You never got 38 centimeter strands of Laramar. We're talking about one of the world's rarest one locational gemstones. And it's, it's like a gemological anomaly as well, which I find so cool. At the moment, as it stands, this is 30 pounds per, this is my favorite. Yeah, the tumbles are nice, aren't they? Look at the quality of that blue. Lesser grade Larimer. Yes, yeah. that's my favorite. Look at that, that's a lovely shot against the water. That it, looks great, yeah. Hang on, lesser quality Larimer would be quite white. Right. If you see, and this is down to the eye of the beholder, if you see red or sort of brownish patterns in there, that's copper. Right. So Herman, for example, loved those red bits. Oh, okay. I prefer not to have the red bits, personally. I can't say I've seen it, I'd have to see it. Yeah. Never mind 30 pound per strand. How about, what? 20 pounds per strand of natural, genuine Larimar of that quality. It's not white, it's not wishy-washy, it's not dirty Larimar. You, it literally should look like that, like, like the right hand side. You know, where the light hits the sand at the bottom yeah. and reflects and you get those gorgeous patternings. Amazing, amazing gemstone. Five strands. Ignore 20 pounds. Again, three years ago, Ross is absolutely right. Three years ago, they would have been more than 100 pounds. 100%. They would have been more than 100 pounds. They would have been more than 100 pounds. A minute clock on your screen. Today, jewelry makers, big announcement. If you're a lover of Larimar, but it's always been one of those gemstones that's maybe just a little bit too expensive. Yeah. We're going to take it to £10 per strand. That's crazy, Ross. Actually crazy. And again, I need to say this, Ross, Rachel's better off buying this. She says I can't source Larimar at the moment. It's so expensive. Our sister channel is better off buying our Larimar. And this is something she's literally looked into. Buying our Larimar to commission into... Uh, um, pieces for our sister channel. Obviously, we're not going to allow to do that because that means we can't bring Larimar <laughs> to our collectors. Um, 12 seconds, it's going lower. Seriously? £10 per strand for this amazing one locational gemstone. You go, anyone been on a cruise? Cruise liners, especially Caribbean ones, particularly love to include Larimar. And, they, and it is expensive very 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 expensive you will pay more for larimar in the caribbean than you probably will outside of the caribbean because right. they make the most of that kind of that captive the, the audience pa passing yeah, yeah of course definitely and uh, they're not tiny pieces no they're not small amounts there's an awful lot there to work with whichever your favorite strand is whether it's the drops whether it's the marquise whether it's the rondelles whether it's the larger rondelles whether it's the tumbles in my eyes, Ross, I'm buying one, I'm getting four for free. Well said, yeah, no, you bang on. Easily. Yeah. And they've got good drill holes. They're yeah. not tiny little drill holes, they're really good to work with. Hiya, Joanne. Is the Larimar natural, please? It's a good question. Yes, Joanne. It is totally natural Larimar. Now, I'm going to be really honest. Ross has just said in my ear, at £10 a strand, he said, I thought they'd have already sold out. The problem, can I, can I um, just quickly mention, sometimes here at Jewelry Maker, our regular viewers will probably go, oh yeah, when I say this. Now, if a, a gemstone can be a victim of its own rarity, because if we don't talk about it enough, and we haven't had a lot of Larimar recently, Sometimes we all, it almost we almost forget just how how beautiful this gemstone is, and also we forget how rare this gemstone is. But if you were literally in the Caribbean right now, you would see Larimar. You wouldn't see it in double figures though, and you definitely wouldn't on a cruise liner, and you wouldn't find it at that price tag in the USA either, which doesn't surprise me that I've got USA shopping. A quarter of the stock has gone. I thought they'd have all sold out at ten pound a strand. Natural. So we're going to do something completely unprecedented. Ross, can you imagine if we had 
these de-stranded in a little white box individually. Just think about the mm. volume of Larimar, like little individual yeah. stones. That's how I'd expect to buy them if they're going to, to this price. Individually, yeah. one stone. But we're going to go even lower. I can't believe we're doing this. Three years ago, it would never have happened. Larimar was a, was a three-figure gemstone here at Jewelry Maker, and that's amazing. There's lots of stones there. Yeah. There's not just a couple, there's loads. The first time you've ever worked with Larimar? Yeah, I think it's the first time I've been given it. And yeah, you love exactly. it. I love it. I love the feel of it. It yeah. feels lovely. Yeah. Um, and again, I, anyone that makes jewellery, uh, the drill holes are really important and they are a really good size, so you, they'll go a long way. And this is amazing quality. You've got some amazing oh, quality Larimar yeah. here. Lesser grade is quite white and wishy-washy and not particularly... Oh, no, it's very punchy. It's yeah. got the Caribbean colours in there, for sure. Oh, my goodness me. They are incredible pieces of jewellery. I love that bracelet. That bracelet is absolutely gorgeous. We are going lower in 10 seconds, jewellery makers. Completely unprecedented for this gemstone. One location on our vast, beautiful planet that actually produces this gem. How? Nobody knows. Nobody knows, but they believe it's down to the volcano, when the volcano was actually uh, um, created. A little bit like Tanzanite with your Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, they believe it's those movements of tectonic plates that created. Oh, that's insane. That's absolutely <laughs> insane. That's amazing. <laughs> Do you know, honestly, I'm not surprised the web and the phone lines have gone nuts. Yes. Seriously, can you imagine one of these, any shape, in a white box, Whichever one you choose. Yeah. This, yeah, I, I, I keep pointing out the tumbles because they're huge. That strand alone should be a hundred pounds. Yeah. yeah, they're a wonderful size. And that's jewelry maker. But if you imagine one of these stones in a little white box that, I mean, even then 29.99 for a single stone's unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. When did Larimar, whoever bought this parcel, Give him a pay rise. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, give him a pay rise because that's serious buying. Half the stock has gone, jewelry makers. I can't believe that. I'm genuinely flabbergasted, Roscoe. At that price, you would earn that back just from picking out one, one small piece. stone. Yeah. And the whole lot is paid for. Everything else after that is pure profit. Or just keep it and look yeah. at it. Well, this is the thing, cool especially when Larimar does one out. Sit on it for a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah clever girl. Uh, when, I, when I went over to. Uh, um, Tucson in Arizona, there was Larimar there, as you can imagine. Um, and the prices, it really hit home. Usually, Larimar is always in silver. It's one of those gemstones that I think lots of people, like like turquoise, turquoise and Larimar, uh, turquoise and Larimar both quite often traditionally go with silver. Yeah. But again, don't think that that means they were sort of affordable because they really weren't, mm -hmm. really expensive pieces. And again, I, I, and I, I don't, I remember actually chatting to one of the, the Larimar gem traders and he was like, yeah, no, this is really good price. And I was like thinking in the back of my head, well, no jewelry. Made. And that's when we were three figures. 29.99 is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. On the verge of selling out jewelry makers, well done. We're going to do Charlie's favorite next and then we'll do the demo. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Um, hang on a minute, Ross. Yeah. Have I forgotten a very important... Yeah, I, I didn't want to butt in. <laughs> no, please do butt in. You get all them as well. Yeah, they. I think they come with every set of gemstones. So you, you get findings too? Yeah. Oh, I just not mention that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just not mention the fact that you get chain, crimps, crimp covers, jump rings, spacers, extensions, uh, extension yeah. chains, and some head pins. With little hearts on. Oh. They've got little hearts and on. And Charlie's instructions. Let's bring your favourite. Larimar sold out jewelry makers. I'm not surprised. That was nuts. Yeah, yeah. Completely nuts. Is it? Knew it. Oh, wait. Hey, she called it. Knew it, knew it, knew it. Right. Let me just tell you very quickly because I'm aware of time. So we've brought you Chiang Mai. We've brought you Hunan Peridot before. Um, believe it or not, even though they're vast mines, they're secondary deposits. So what that basically means is not the primary deposit, the top of the kimberlite pipe, effectively, how the peridot sort of travelled those 55 miles to the Earth's surface. It's cool, peridot. <laughs> it's one of the two gemstones that forms in the Earth's mantle. Right. Wow. Cool. 
Dime. So is that kind of like parent and child? Is that is that what the... Yes. Right, okay. So the primary deposit had never been found until recently. Um, Fooley, it's the company name, right? discovered Gilles Imperado and they've recently launched it to the world. And they what they were all saying, there was a big campaign. That's how actually the Financial Times also got in touch with ah. us as well. Um, this is the best parent of the world has ever seen because it has a level of green like Zavarite green. Yeah. yeah, I knew it was different. Yeah. I knew it, I couldn't tell why. I, I wasn't sure why. It's a deeper it was, saturation. Yeah, it's because it's from a primary deposit. Love it. And I'm not usually a fan of peridot, but that sings. You've just said the word, same words that Dave said. What did he I say? Said, so he was invited. <laughs> he was invited over to the unveiling of the Fooley Peridot. Right. Um, in where was it? I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway, he was invited there, and on the phone, Dave was like, "Look, we've had Peridot. We can. We've got Peridot yeah. here across Jempore. And that was his answer. He was like, "Oh, I'll be honest, we've already got Peridot." And got he was like, that. a little bit right. passive about it. It's like, yeah. And then they were like, "No, no, you haven't got this Peridot." He was like, "Come on." Pay for your ticket, come over. So he went over. Which is a bit of a gamble, isn't yeah, it? Let's yeah. say. And, and I will tell you, we bought this one parcel of Gilles Imperidot, which went stretched across Jewelry Maker and Gemporia. We are outpriced. Can't buy any more. Gilles Imperidot is the most expensive. So expensive. You can When you see it, you'll understand why. Yeah. Now, Anushka, by the way, which is a very high-end jewelry brand, mm. Twenty thousand yeah. pounds for mm. her Gilles Imperador earrings. Wow, I do like her work. Yeah, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, we're at ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence. The Laramar is sold out. Jewelry makers, that is not where we are closing. Next price crash. We were going to do across the board, ten pound a strand. We cannot replace it. It, it look it's not not being mined it's not deplete we just literally can't afford it yeah, anymore yeah because you've got to remember yeah okay gem poor is a multi-million pound company so they could literally go okay yeah we'll buy it but i don't know about you i haven't got the money to buy it myself as a customer your next price is still not where we are closing arguably the finest peridot in the world do you see what i mean Likened to the intensity of a Zavarite or a Demantoid. What are you doing, Russ? Yeah, I was just thinking, that's great. What are you doing? Are you really? Okay. How many have we got? 80 available. The, yeah, well, this is going to sell out as well, isn't it? Seriously. Fooly Perido. Remember, they actually invented a cut especially for Gilles Imperino. Really? Invented a cut because it's got that special saturation um, called a radiance cut, wasn't it? Wasn't it, Roscoe? The radiance cut because it brings even more brilliance. Because okay. you know, when we look at Peridot, it's easy to assume that that's not natural. It's totally natural. Yeah. I knew it was different. You can spot it, can't I, you? With, yeah, I didn't know why it was different. It was just, I just knew there was something really special about this peridot. The specific green. Yeah. yeah. And it, well, honestly, in the sun when we were taking photographs, it literally glowed. Yeah. Peridot normally, or what we've seen previously, is still lovely, don't get me wrong, yeah. is more yellow. It's more of a yellow yeah. colour yeah. to it. Whereas this is more green. Yeah. Much more green. Intense. It's beautiful. How on earth are we at £5 per strand? For Gilles Peridot, it's totally natural, definitely worthwhile getting your certificate wow. of authenticity. So yeah, I can't remember whether it was, oh, I, I lose track of time. Um, but recently anyway, Dave was invited over to the uh, to the unveiling, the launch, because they discovered this primary deposit. Um, and it was like, yeah, you know, come over, we've got the most amazing Peridot. And he was like, mm, yeah, I'm okay. A bit meh. Uh, yeah, it was a bit yeah. meh. We've got Peridot, he was saying we're all right. We've got some amazing uh, um, connections around the world as well with Chiang Mai. He was like, no, 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 this is the primary deposit. This is the prime. You have not seen Peridot until you see Julian Peridot. She and they were right. I just love the fact there's such a selection as well. It's You're not just getting the one strand. No. That's quite, quite a statement. There's some that are almost like a flat facet. Yeah. It, th those, I loved those. These are gorgeous, like an ir irregular cut. Yeah. 
I like. I think that's my favourite strand. But then look at those drops; they're amazing yeah. too. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you've got some briolette drops. Can you see? They look like rounds, but they're not. They're faceted briolette drops. You've got rondelles, and then you've got these gorgeous, almost like faceted rice shapes. Look at the intensity of the green. And um, we had slightly bigger quantity, and you can't deny it. Look on the screens right mm -hmm. now. That colour is insane. That colour for peridot is literally the best that I've ever seen. I, yeah, I, without a doubt, yeah. Definitely, it's made Peridot jump right up the ladder for yeah. me. Much more grassy green to yeah. a yellowy green. Um, well done, twenty four ninety nine. Plus you get your findings. Plus also you get Charlie's amazing instruction for these gorgeous chandelier earrings, jewelry makers. We've still got the Broncoronics to bring you, but we're going to dive into the demonstration, jewelry makers. Any questions that you have for Charlie? Uh, do text us because we are live in the studio. If you are watching at nine forty five, um, if you're watching on the repeat, sorry, we're not here. <laughs> um, but you've got your instructions anyway. So, Charlie, what are you going to show us? So, I'm going to show you the base of the chandelier earrings. So, I thought it would be quite a good one to start with if you maybe are smithing and you haven't found your feet with it yet, or if you like the look of wire wrapping but you're intimidated by maybe the lots of working wires. So, this one is going to be a great place to start, and you can go as simple or, or, or as over the top as you like. Mm. So, I've got a couple of strands of wire here. This is one mil. And what I've done, it's about 20 centimetres long, but you can make it as long as you like. And just bear in mind, the more loops you add, the more wire you'll need. So this is a great place to get familiar with learning which way the wire to roll or whether to go behind or in front. So I've just put a tiny little kink in both these pieces and it's just to kind of highlight roughly where the middle is. So I'm gonna use my looping pliers and I'm gonna start with the biggest size. So that'll be the central loop. So I'll start with both wires on and come to the top and then just take one off. Now I really don't like two lefts or two rights so I will cross the wires over, sorry bear with me, cross the wires over one way. So my left wire is going to the right and the right is going to the left. And I'll do the same on the other side. I'm going to do a big version just so you guys can see it. And I'll do the same again but then I want my right wire to go to the left and my left to go to the right. So now I've got a right and a left earring. So we'll pop up to one side. Now in the instructions, I didn't include this. We'll start with that one. Um, there's actually a really quick, the faster you get at making jewelry, the more money you'll make out of it. So in the instructions, I haven't said add on the um, drops, but if you make yourself a couple of wrapped loops, I've got a couple of pieces of Larimar, and you're going to slide it onto your wire already and it just means that you don't have to spend loads of time wrapping loops and that's how I did it in the first one just because I didn't want to add too much to your plate on your first go. So when you come to the second loop follow the wire so it's going to the right and I want to roll the same way again so I'm going to pick a smaller size uh, mandrel on my looping pliers and I'm just going to make a bend and just check because if you go too far away you'll have a really big gap but if you go too close sorry guys if you go too close they'll overlap which you might actually want so just start here and then you can um, exaggerate the design as you go it's a really big one but you can make teeny tiny ones with your little round nose pliers and then again drop down a size so I'll use a third one and I'm going to start a little bit away and just check that I'm not too far out or too far in. And we'll go again and wrap your wire over. And I'm always going the same way. So I'm always wrapping over the top of the back wire, if that makes sense. So that's a really big one. So I've got my three on that side. And then you're going to do the same again on the other side. So you go back to the size, the second size, and you'll roll it again. So I'll just roll it and wrap over the top and then you've got number four and you can squish it and then go to a smaller size again just check where you are I think we're right curl it over over the top now if you wanted to I've stopped at five and just made two little kinks either side of these loops and all that it is literally just that simple straight to the top but if you wanted to you can keep going what size are we on for so if i put a fourth wrap in 
then you could actually turn it into a necklace. Obviously, you can make it um, more fussy or as, as simple as you like. And if you like Natalie and you're actually more advanced and you can do some more intense wire work, and you've got lots of um, working wires. Some people get a bit intimidated by that, but if you, Natalie's a great person to tap up for information on that. But you can add an inner frame, so you can add more weaves. And when you get to the point that you like it, it's simply just a case of manipulating the wires round the way you want it. And then when you get to the top, just check that your two lengths are the same. Mine's maybe a millimeter off this side so I'd snip a bit off usually but just use a tiny little curl at the end now I'm sorry guys keep shifting and then you can add your jump ring to that side but also you can also turn it in so if you use your pliers then you can have the loop straight on instead and that's where you can connect a jump ring and bring the ends together now obviously this is really dramatic but you can make a much smaller one and it's simply that easy and build it up as much as you like add an internal wire you could add loops on the inside and do like a double face so there's there's lots of different ways to expand on that very simple design and when you get to your smithing stages you would remove some of the material where the uh, wires overlap so that when they squish down, it's a completely flat piece and you solder each join and it's just one continuous piece. Love it. Yeah, Do easy you know when peasy. I looked at those, Charlie, I actually thought they were like a, a finished yeah, it's earring. just yeah, no, it's just. As in, you bought them that shape. Oh, bless you! <laughs> Literally, I did. I was like, ah, oh, really? You, well, you can do. There's there's so many different variations with that very basic structure, I suppose you would call it. Um, but the instructions are there. Lots of info in there. But if you want to really elaborate on that design, I would tap up Natalie because she's really good with lots of working wires and weaves and things. Wow, absolutely amazing! And this these instructions do come with each of your projects. Um, it's speak of the devil. Lovely Natalie, how beautiful. And the Laramar looks gorgeous too. The Marquis are my favourite. Oh, same as yeah. you. Yeah. There you go. You both love the Marquis. Oh, she's a good cookie, isn't Natalie? She knows what she's on about with wire wrapping. She would be a great person to ask. There you go. And you are always, both of you, are also very, um, very helpful as well outside of the studio. Oh, aren't you? do you always... know? And she's a right good giggle, isn't Natalie? Oh, she's she got is. a great sense of humour. Her and the I Yvonne like too. The, the great ones. I know. We've got some lovely yeah. people come from this, oh, this competition. It's been lovely. It's been lovely. Wow. Really good giggle, those girlies. Now, there is one more project to bring you. The Gilles Peridot is looking extremely limited. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I really hope there might be one there's left a, for me. Uh, <laughs> well, there's 11 as it stands. 10. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Yeah, you do need to get hold of this. It's absolutely gorgeous and crazy that we're You'll doing it at 24.99. Yeah, You'll 100%. definitely go hunting like, for you it. You know, when you think about the Anushka earrings and the pendant, and what Anushka did was they're in the radiance cut, so in the brand new cut, and then there's, if I remember rightly, there's uh, rubellite and then malachite. Oh. All set, and oh, no, quite, a, uh, quite. What a, is it? A necklace, a pendant. So you can get um, earrings, pendants, oh. and they're kind of like long line. Oh. But yeah, twenty grand, twenty <coughs> grand if you want to get that gulp. Um, okay, to one of the most ethereal gemstones that exists now. Bleaker and Prince, which is another big designer brand, um, love to use uh, onyx, natural white onyx as well. Um, it does tend to be the expensive jewellers that would include what natural. This is the thing. Most onyx that's actually out there on the market will be treated. And that's fine, I guess, but obviously not as rare, not as desirable, not as valuable. Blee Crim Prints, Van Cleef and Arpels work with natural mm, onyx. Okay. Um, you're about to work with natural onyx as well, jewellery makers. So um, from all the way from Brazil, this amazing discovery that we were straight on. I was like, yeah, okay, do I get as much of this as we possibly can? A, because it was natural, but also it has a translucency. Remember, most onyx is opaque. I, I mean, yeah. Ross has just said this could be the most expensive of, of the three. I mean, they're all very high end. Yeah, very. Very, 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 very high end gemstones. Kits. Amazing <clears throat> project. Projects. You've been spoiled. <laughs> I know, I keep saying Apologies. it as well. <laughs> so you get, I mean, look at these large drops. Oh yeah, they're good sizes. 
So these are the flat drops. These are the curved drops, more like a briolette. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you've got the irregular cuts and then you've got the faceted ovals. Five strands of natural broncharonyx. How on earth are we £10 per strand? Do you remember the launch of broncharonyx? Do you remember? Dave launched it. It was the first time we'd ever uh, introduced it. First time we'd ever bought it. And I'll say it, it was more considered. Still a great price, don't get me wrong. However, obviously, this is not always how it happens. Um, but we might have bought more. We might have bought a volume. We'll test the water, see if you love it. If you love it, then obviously we'll go back to and say, okay, we want loads. Yeah. We want it in this, 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 and this. Um, but it's not always possible, jewelry makers. We're at 49 pounds and 99 pence. One of those strands should be more than that. Same story with your Jiling. Same story with your, with your Larimar. We're gonna do something completely ridiculous. Plus you get the findings. Um, natural. The last of your projects before we step into your deal of the day. Oh, we've got a couple of extra treats, haven't we, before then. You get all your findings. You get five strands. And we're not stopping there. Do something ridiculous, says Ross. What? <laughs> That definitely counts as ridiculous, doesn't it? hundred percent. Like one of those strands should be way more. One of those strands at 49.99, Roscoe. Is it, uh, uh, is this like? Sounds like it, a telling off tone, that Roscoe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it? I don't even know how you've done this. Like, Broncharonics. It was at the JCK that we, we came across bleaker imprints. And we came across they're quite they're quite um, modern designs. They have they call one like cornflake earrings, and they're very it's all onyx, and they're embedded with the finest diamonds and gold. Oh. Beautiful, don't get me wrong, thousands of pounds natural white onyx, oh, but beautiful. they're very opaque. Yeah, bleaker and prints. Right. Um, but very very opaque, whereas yours is translucent. Yeah. yeah. Which is so rare, so so rare. The finest the finest grade came first. That's the thing, and then now. What we're going to see sort of uh, later on after this parcel was purchased, obviously, is the more opaque. And it's still lovely, don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah. Um, but ideally, translucency they is They are key. like droplets, water droplets, yeah. aren't they? They just... Mm. They give you like a moonstone glow, yeah, don't they? Do. they? Kind yeah, of they bluish do. Without colour. the showy offy shiller, which yeah. not everybody likes. No, that's true. That's true. Love it. And you think how few natural white gemstones there are. Uh, very few. Because this has come from the ground. How to, to have that purity yeah. of white colour. You know, you'd expect it to be a little bit murky in some way, shape or yeah, form. Yeah, definitely. But no, natural. 1999, loads of multi-buyers getting involved. In fact, these would go beautifully with the other strands as well. Oh, you know, yeah. Mixing them yeah. all together. We're not really allowed to do that, but I really wanted to do that. Yeah. So I can only take so many tellings off. <laughs> I best not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's why I could, I mean, other than the fact I haven't got the skills that you guys do, but I definitely get I told off. you're not far off. Oh, look, I know I am a country mile off. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Uh, 19 99 for one strand, that's amazing. For the findings, that's amazing. Mm. 31 have gone. Sorry? I've got 19 left and way more than that of you with it in your baskets, jewelry makers. So again, make sure you're checking out. Linda, Erica, Lanarkshire, Ivy, Samantha, June, Sally, Chantal, Angela, Carol, Lavinia, Buckinghamshire, Donna, um, Yorkshire, Sheila, Veronica, keep on checking out those baskets. I've got your lovely uh, crimp beads coming up as well. They're all available on pre-order if you want to guarantee your sizes. Um, I'm going to leave that with you. I thought you were going to pass them to me then. I mean, I can. <laughs> Just pass them to you. No, it's all right. No, go on. Wait, oh, there you go. There you go, there you go. These are limited though, jewellery makers. How many left? Ten? Oh. That's why they're all on pre-order. Okay. What size are these? 1.5. I think I've got the right ones. Okay, so 1.5 millimeter crimp tube. Oh, tube. No, fits the, fits the crimp tube, that's right. So these are slightly larger, there we go. The slightly larger ones. I've only got one oh, left, well done. Gone. Well done, well done. Next up. <clears throat> Lauren's on it. That's all right. I've got an ideal time for me to adjust my talk back because it's making it white. I can't hear Ross. Um, okay. 
Oh, look at all those, all that lovely sto uh, sterling silver. So these, are 0.9 millimeters um these are your crimp beads but do you notice and i got really excited about these when i launched them i was like oh they're round so that means you won't have any little pointy edges mm -hmm. poking out your crimp bead cover genius yeah i was like why have we never thought of this before yeah i know so because every time that i use a crimp bead it's so or crimp with a crimp cover i always have the corners poking out yeah never so pretty it doesn't feel very nice no Whereas a round one's easy to cover, isn't it? Yeah. It's like this, that's genius. Did you, did you, did you say 100 of them? You get 100, yeah. Amazing. We're at 99 pounds and 99 pence. That's a pound each. How many we got of these, Roscoe? 18 available. Okay. Next price crash. 18 that's all we had hundreds from it from my memory serves me correctly all that sterling silver these are the round crimp beads which i was like oh where have these been all my life yeah yep amazing 29 pounds and 99 pence not stopping there though says roscoe essentials these flew we had hundreds on the original launch so i'm literally down to the far we're kind of mopping up at the uh, yeah. you know, the last remaining quantities today I never have enough, ever. No. And and you can't really do without a crimp bead, no, can you? No, not at all. Not if you want to have a high-end finish. Definitely, you need, you need those. Not stopping there. I'm always missing one. You know, you'll have three left. Yeah. Or one left. What's yeah. that about? And crimps. And yeah. spacers, sorry. Never have enough crimps. Never have enough spacers, ever. Ever. No. Stock up while you get the chance. You can have a little sort out, can't you? And then you know oh. that you're not going to run out of them. I do like doing that too. Yeah, cleansing. Yeah, very. £22.99, pence. jewellery makers. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Your round crimps, so no more pokey out the edges. <laughs> and, and don't get me wrong, you might prefer the tubes. There might be occasions yeah. when you want the tubes. Yes, yeah. more, more streamlined maybe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that I can't, I think it's Mark. He doesn't like, He Mark doesn't use a crimp cover. Oh, right. Okay, so he just rolls the crimp yeah. and Tubes leaves that over. as is. Right. I think it's Mark. Like, he prefers he thinks it's tidier like that. Yeah. So Each it's all to their own. Yeah, horse for courses. Yeah. Uh, twenty two ninety nine and Mary and Jerry, Renata, Annette, Buckinghamshire. There's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Uh, Kerry in Staffordshire, Eileen in Hampshire, Claire in Essex. I only had a couple of these available. Um, like I said, we had hundreds on the on the beginning um, when we first launched them not that long ago. But again, it really hit home the gram weight that you get with these as well. Let's mm -hmm. not forget these are silver. And just adding a crimp, a crimp cover, whatever it might be, means that you can say it's 925. Yep, yep. You can make your own satellite chain just by crimping them round the chain. Just make, make sure that, or maybe have them uneven, you know, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I like that idea. Beautiful, well done. Next up, these are the crimp covers. Yeah, the crimp covers that go with your crimps. We're gonna do this in one price crash. Yeah, so you can see they fit nicely. It's like a little Pac-Man or like a cake with a <laughs> slice taken out. I like the Pac-Man. Yeah, <laughs> like a little Pac-Man, it'll go, oh. Yum. <laughs> um, over I the still crib. love that. And me, <laughs> and me. Um, how much do we have? 50 available already. <laughs> Um, already <laughs> flying on pre-order. Dan says I should be a children's presenter. I think you'd be great at that. Oh, no, he didn't say. What did you say? Another street to my mouth. Okay, assume me. I, hey, I would do that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I think you'd suit that. Well, if ever jewelry maker give me the push, then I'll, <laughs> perhaps that's the route I'll go. <laughs> Under 20 pounds, well done everybody. For three grams of solid sterling silver. Again, basically, the, very gently you cradle them over your crimps, yeah, don't you? that's right. And it gives you a bead. Yep, that's it. And it's slightly rondelle in shape. Yeah. It's lovely. Turn something that's functional into something that's decorative. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. These flew though, um, as you can see, you get 100 of them. We used to do these, like you used to get like three or four, didn't you, in, mm. a, in a findings pack. Now you're getting 100. Um, so you can well and truly stock up. Okay. 
Um, make sure you check it out. I'll bring you some smaller crimps. So this is the crimp. This is what technically you squash, but you don't have to. You can use them as decorative beads. Because mm -hmm. I don't always squash my crimps. No, I don't always squash my mm. crimps either. <laughs> it's a funny conversation, isn't it? <laughs> I know about you, but I don't always squash my crimps. <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends which... Normal people are like, eh? <laughs> what are you talking eh? about? Yeah. You know, sometimes I just like to leave them as they are. <laughs> you rebel. Um, $17.99 for a pack of 100. But again, they're spherical cr crimps. If I show you these, you can see the difference. Yeah, there you go. Now, they're quite big crimps. I'd use those as beads because mm -hmm. they're lovely. Beautiful. We'll do these next. So, in fact, this is the last item of the hour. And then it's time for your amazing hardware collection bracelet. Get yourselves ready, jewelry makers, because we only have 60. Only 60 available. And the earrings, they're coming your way also. I, I, For me, it seems a shame to squash those. Yeah, I know. You do feel a little bit, oh, do I have to? But you can. I mean, I've used them as spaces. Why not? Yeah, I would. Why not? Because they're like a little bugle then, yeah. aren't they? Like yes. a little bugle bead. You get a pack of 100. Big investment of sterling silver. How many do we have of these? 16, I, again, I knew they were limited quantities because they absolutely flew on the original launch. All that sterling silver, just a whisper under three grams, 14 pounds and 99 pence. They're big, they are. Yeah, that's a good price, is that? Yeah, big spaces. Amazing. Dorothy, Anita, Mariska, hello to you, Laura, Kerry, Beverly, Eileen, Sheila on the phone lines. I only have 18. And if anybody multi-bought, uh, multi bought if anybody multi buys, we, get you. we know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody multi buys, you know that quantity is going to disappear very quickly. Um, well done for 100, not 10, not 20, not 50, 100 of them. Coming up, jewelry makers, we've got the most amazing deal of the day. I'm absolutely in love with this deal of the day. But uh, do you know, and I think maybe we should sow on the back of this auction, I think we need to sow the seed to the powers that, that be for the necklace. And I'd also like to see it in gold. Kind of in like gold a, color. A please. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> These will sell out in a heartbeat, jewelry makers. There's no, I've got no doubt about this whatsoever. It's one of the newest trends, um, biggest collections on Tiffany's and Co. That's coming literally in a few moments time. I absolutely love it. And it's a long bracelet too. Have you noticed? It's like I think that's about eight inches, so it's a bit longer. Oh, so that's falls. nice. You like them loose, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. I like them when they sort of come over, yeah. the, over the top of the hand. Um, so this is coming up in a few moments time, jewelry makers. Do not go anywhere. Get yourselves ready. Pardon? Check the web for the rest of your crimps, your rest of your crimp covers. Make sure you check out uh, the, your baskets for Charlie's amazing projects. Beautiful as always, oh, Charlie. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank and you. And there's more coming up at midday with our lovely Charlie as well. Now, just before you go, these... There's only 17 of these crimp tubes, but they're under £10 for a pack of 100. So coming up, you've got the bracelet and you've also got these amazing earrings as well, which are gorgeously solid. So, you know, you've got that wonderful structure. So that they're like, uh, like you said, Charlie, so perfectly earlier on, they're going to elongate the neckline. Oh, definitely. Amazing. I am absolutely loving these. Jewelry makers, do not go anywhere. Join us for one of the most exciting deal of the days ever after this. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker.
Are you new to jewellery maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the jewellery maker handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, jewellery makers. I'm so excited for this deal of the day. And I, I also think it's kind of like the tip of the iceberg because this is, and again, just how things like this manifest. You know, I remember the first time I ever actually saw this design quite vividly. And you think about all the different designers there are out there, how many different links, how many bit different styles for it to literally, it registered. I remember it, they, were, they were in a pair of earrings. Um, in you know sometimes when you go to like an all-inclusive resort and they have like their own little boutique jewelers and they'll take inspiration from the big designers they were gold and I loved them I picked them up and they said oh Tiffany's Tiffany's and co and I was like oh, okay are they I'd not seen them at the time and then fast forward another two years and Ross and I see that same link here at Jewelry Maker but it's literally a connector almost like a carabiner style um, locking mechanism and they flew out and and we got a little bit hot under the collar didn't we We're like oh my goodness me Tiffany's and co hardware collection um, that's where this is and then and from there on Ross you sowed the seed to develop this collection even more didn't you now I'll be honest we are a little bit disappointed by the quantity because we would have preferred there to be much more like 200 Mm, okay. if not more than that 
I've got 60. So it's exclusive then, isn't it? Very exclusive. Mm. But I am hoping, perhaps that's an optimistic statement. I am hoping that this is the tip of the iceberg because I would love to see the chain. In fact, I think it's on the horizon, isn't it? Ooh. Hopefully. I would love to see it in gold as yeah. well. Gold plated sterling silver, not solid gold, Definitely. obviously, because I couldn't afford that. Um, and likewise with your earrings um, and your bracelets and your necklaces, I'd, I'd like to see more of it. Because let's go to Tiffany's and Co, where the idea originated. And Tiffany's actually say, the Tiffany hardware, um, drawing on a design from 1962. Hardware is an expression of love's transformative strength. Like New York, the city in which it was born, the collection embodies an enduring resilience and ability to be free. It is one of those looks, isn't it, where it's not the gemstones. Normally, you know, some of the big designs, uh, designs it's, it's a lot about the gemstone if you think about the Alhambra, for example. Um, this is literally about the precious metal and the, you know, the link itself that has the meaning. Very simple, actually, in its construction, but one of those that you can't help but notice. Um, intricately engineered to form a continuous free-flowing line, this necklace reflects the shapes um, of util I can't, utilitarian hardware. I love that. I love it too. That necklace, by the way, Tens of thousands of pounds. Mm. Gorgeous. Very beautiful. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Let's fast forward. We've got photographs of, yeah. To fast forward to some of their marketing campaigns. And I think that's, um, is that, is that the bridge? Brooklyn Bridge in the background of oh. that photograph. And you can see this, the, the actual buildings as well. That's their very clever. Yeah, very. Very, very, very clever. But again, you can see that link. This is in gold, obviously. They've actually commissioned it in uh, rings and bracelets as well. It's not just in uh, um, sort of one design. Another interpretation, you can see our new Tiffany hardware collection as seen in This Is Tiffany, um, is a nod to the strength and spirit of the modern women, uh, of modern it. women. I love that, the modern woman, sorry. Absolutely love that. And again, you can see the skyline of New York City where this design was actually originated. Um, you can see the bracelet there lay at the bottom. Um, that's obviously in the gold, but they do commission it in the silver as well. Mm. Um, which, as you can imagine, the sterling silver Tiffany's and Co. price is a little bit like the pendant that we've brought to you from this collection, or, or I should say, inspired by. Um, yeah, it's, it's, they're still Tiffany's prices. Again, another amazing piece here. Just fl the fluidity. Obviously, mm. there is a huge amount of precious metal in these, whether it's silver, whether it's gold, because, and likewise with yours here at Jewelry Maker, they are solid, solid 11, there's 11 grams. Yeah, it's not these hollow. aren't hollow. Yeah, yeah. They're not gonna dent. I've been wearing it all, mo all morning. I know, it's a tough job. <laughs> it's a really <laughs> tough job. Um, if you wanna buy this bracelet from Tiffany's & Co, by the way, nine hundred and eighty five pounds it's i mean i don't know about you no it that's a huge difference in the price that we're going to be launching this today i can't wait to see and i can i can guarantee jewelry makers it will sell out if you want to do if you want to mm -hmm. buy the double wrap bracelet with a couple of charms two thousand four hundred and twenty five oh. pounds oh yeah, with a couple of charms. If you want to get the necklace, which is what we're pushing to get, £3,925 with a couple of charms. It's silver, it's not white gold, it's not platinum, that's silver. If you want to get their large link earrings, £1,500. They are silver, not gold. If you want to see the price for the gold, yeah, 3,000, that's what I saw those years back. That's what I saw, that look. And it, I just literally remember it, so. It's printed in your memory. Yeah, like it? I was like, oh, I love those. Yeah. 
three thousand nine hundred pounds for those earrings if you want the chain come on just for kicks there's a slight graduation how much Seventeen thousand two hundred pounds. Do you want to make? Cause that's more than my car. I was just going to say that's a car on your neck, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Loads oh, of celebrities yeah. are wearing this, as you can imagine. It's one. Of, I think this is going to become one of those iconic looks. A bit like the gold Cartier Panther watch. You know, mm. one of the most yeah. celebrity-worn watches. Definitely. Oh, You've got no. Queen Bee, of course. She's wearing a super-sized version. Because she can. Of course she can. Because she can, yeah. <laughs> um, she, hasn't, she hasn't done bad. Um, so she's got the beautiful... Then you've got Lady Gaga. <clears throat> she looks amazing in it, doesn't she? She really suits that look, doesn't she? Yeah, there's, there's the bracelet. I think she was part of their marketing campaign yeah. as well. As seen on the uh, incomparable Lady Gaga, our new Tiffany uh, hardware collection pays tribute to the strength and spirit of the modern woman. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. And she's a strong woman, isn't she, as yeah. well? De oh, definitely. 100%. It is the year, isn't it? Scarlett Johansson. If I was to do my hair in a... <laughs> Can't quite do that, but I can show you our version of the earrings, by the way. So lovely, yeah. aren't they? Perfect length. So lovely. But the earrings are even more exclusive. I only got 50 of those. Oh, right. Okay. Now, uh, Margot Robbie, of course, wearing hers. Zoe Kravitz. And then you have yeah. Zoe Kravitz going to get her uh, iced latte. Casual. A bit like Reese Witherspoon doing a, a weekly shop, isn't she, wearing her Alhambra? Of course, There's like uh, Zoe Kravitz rocking out in her like Tiffany's & Co necklace and earrings just to grab a coffee. Like, yeah, I bet she doesn't look twice at the chap on the front door, does he? No, no. no. She's not intimidated. Get out of the way. Yeah, move. <laughs> yeah. Move. Whereas Can I'm you like hold that. this for me, please? Hello. <laughs> yeah. Can I come in, please? Yeah. Who's this? Sorry. Kate Mara from House of Cards, isn't she? I remember her, yes from House of Cards. Um, again, very much celebrity endorsed this beautiful yeah. design. Reese Witherspoon, of course she is. She's got the earrings in just there. Oh, they're, they're so gorgeous, there's, aren't they? Yeah. There's so, so many Yeah, Kendall wearing Jenner them. wearing hers. It's a big hit, isn't it? Anna from Frozen, because we can't remember her name. <laughs> Kirsten Bell, there you go, Kirsten Bell. Wearing hers, you've got Heidi Klum on the front cover of Bazaar. I uh, can't remember the name of this actress, but she is an actress. Dua Lipa. Beautiful lady. Who headlined yes. Glastonbury. And look what she's wearing. Oh, no way. <laughs> she headlined Glastonbury wearing her Tiffany's & Co necklace. In silver, by the way. One more. Olivia Wilde wearing hers. Harry Styles squeeze, isn't it? Or was? You guys know what you're on. I don't know who most of these people are. She's an actress. <laughs> I need to get out Very of Very beautiful her. actress. <laughs> oh, very. Now, we are, the only issue that I have here, jewellery makers, is that we have 60. 60 available. I would love to be able to say... Jewelry makers who are launching this 11 gram solid industrial collection, a nod towards the Tiffany's and Co hardware collection. I've got 200 and I still think they'd sell out. Oh yeah. I still think they would. But today, jewelry makers, unfortunately I have 60 available. Hopefully, yes, this is the tip of the iceberg. You've got Zendaya. Oh, I mean, she's like the oh. biggest. She's a big star, isn't she? She's having a moment? baby with Spider Man, isn't she? Or has she She's had it already? Is she having a baby? I'm pretty sure I saw a picture with. Are they. <laughs> I think maybe. Is she? Is she pregnant? I, I didn't know she that. Was. I could be I know she's with Spider Man, yeah, Tom Holland. Yeah. Yeah, I know they are together. June, June's a good movie. 
You were right, Dan. It's good, it is good. good. Yeah, it is good. Um, now, again, just to show you all the right way round, it's a long line neck bracelet, so I, I love it when it falls a little bit lower. Um, then you can also see with the heaviness of the actual gram weight here, you've got a large chain, um, a large lobster claw class here as well, jewelry makers. I have 60 available of these. I do think they are going to be the tip of the iceberg. 11 point, what, sorry? That's 11 point it's closer to 12 grams yeah, it is yeah in a solid bracelet good luck to each and every single one of you make sure yeah i'm i'm, I'm being blates obvious about this <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> tiffany's and co for the small link Let's match that price first first crash. About a thousand pounds. About a thousand pounds. Nine hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Yeah, that seems fair, doesn't it? Got the buffer of doom. <laughs> <coughs> you do have the advantage, jewelry makers, because I'm in a tin shed. Um basic a large tin shed, granted. <laughs> Again, I don't know what the gram weight, but I think it is actually heavier. I think this bracelet is heavier than their small link chain. I totally yeah. agree. Ross has just said, I yeah. think this is the best piece of silver we've ever done. I agree. I totally, totally agree. Now, <laughs> Tiffany's, and Co Tiffany's and Co, 985 pounds. <laughs> Would you like me to run outside, Elle? <laughs> <laughs> Next price crash. Ooh. Wiping the floor. Let's half it. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a signal. We're still no way near done. No way near done. I have 60 available. The earrings are coming up straight after that. I, do you know, Ross, this is one of those pieces, I, I, given the choice, I'd put on and never take off. Never, ever take off. See, I'd be a bit crafty, you know, because I'm opposite to you. I like my bracelets tight, so I'd take a couple of links Would out you? and have a pair of earrings. Oh, yeah. Oh. Matching so earrings. Like, yeah, so the long ones and in my second hole. You like yours quite tight around the wrist, yeah, do you? Yeah, I do you? like them tight. I'm, like, I'm too handy. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas I don't do that much, so I'm quite... <laughs> You're not drilling and <laughs> digging right. stuff, are you? No, I'm all right with a right. loose bracelet. We, um, I'm going to say half the stock. Just shy, just shy. £299, still not done, for 11.87 grams of sterling silver. Designer inspired. Could it be any more designer inspired? And it's massive, isn't it? Everybody uh, loves it. Everybody, everybody is loving it. Loves it. I love the meaning behind it as well. Oh, yeah. Showing the strength of the modern yeah. woman. I love that. Women are flexing all over the place. Well, that, we just love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, loving all that. But I didn't realise that it dates right the way back to the no. 1960s. No, not a clue. Didn't know that. You know, a lot of the modern designs, a lot of what we think is something all new, actually isn't. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. the paperclip chain, not not new. Yeah, well, I didn't know that until you said it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually something that, you know, um, Jackie O used to wear back in the 60s. Oh. Great hair. Great hair. Great hair. Great style. Yeah. Not your price, jewelry makers. We're going even lower. Love it. I look, it's solid. Solid, beautiful. 12 grams. Just a whisper under 12 grams in solid sterling silver. You try and get just a generic chain bracelet for anywhere near that uh, near 299 in, with this investment of your sterling silver. It's unlikely. Yeah, it's not going to happen. It is unlikely. Um, in 10 seconds, jewelry makers. Dropping that price once again to Swansea, who's got two, to Amy, to Janice, to Debbie, to Hazel, Angela, Northamptonshire, who's got three. I don't know who that person is in mm. Worcestershire. Um, Suzanne, I'll be me. Suzanne, <laughs> Anna, Anita, Nicolette, Claire, Jackie, and Eileen, you've all done it. It's a, an utterly, I agree with what well Ross done. has just said. This is the nicest sterling silver piece oh. we've ever launched here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. I, I personally I, believe it's I'll all down to that. taste, but I'll back that as well. It's just gorgeous, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's the perfect size. 
yeah. isn't it? And, and you're saving yourself what? 800 quid? <laughs> 800 quid? And, you, and, and what you notice with each of those pieces, there's no stamp, Tiffany's and Co stamp, unless of course you get the padlock on it, but there's no stamp. So how would you know the difference? Um, hardware began as a single bracelet um, rendered in bold, raw forms. A design from 1962 inspired by Manhattan, a city in, in what, sorry? In flux. Um, a place of, yeah, I can't read it from there, sorry. Um, thank you. Uh, inhibitions and where love took on new meanings. Like Manhattan, Tiffany Hardware embodies this enduring resilience and ability to be free. A signature gauge link serves as the Tiffany Hardware Collection's anchor, a bold motif that comes to life in both singular iterations seen in earrings and pendant styles, as well as continuous chain wrap bracelets, necklaces and rings. Innovative, artfully engineered class that creates seamless canvases for detachable ball and lock charms um, unexpected pearl accents which is like your early bird earlier on as well as uh, asymmetrically placed parve link uh, diamond links hand set by tiffany's artisans for maximum brilliance it's a, a thing of beauty it's an absolute thing of beauty and i love the fact that again emblematic of strong women yeah. Um, love the fact that you've got that real investment of solid sterling silver. Love the fact that actually it's not that new. It's something that dates back to the 1960s. Um, it's absolutely flying out the door. And again, you know, with that strength, it would have been, I'll be honest, as to say as it is, it'd have been rubbish if we'd have tried to, to uh, take inspiration from this design and then bring you a hollow one. Mm -hmm. Because if it had been hollow, it wouldn't have lasted, firstly. Yep. And it wouldn't really have that strength, which is really oh, the about the whole like collection. The as well, don't you? Yeah. yeah, it's a big gram weight. Mm. At £199, I can tell you over half the stock has gone. 60% has, has confirmed. There's the one on Tiffany's & Co. £985. And it's currently not available, oh. by the way. Oh, really? Is it sold out? I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not either. Celebrities have bought them all. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's wanting to buy yes. it. Yes. Yeah, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. No. Here we are at £199. Julie, Dagmar, Eileen, Jackie, Claire, Nicola, Anita, Anna, Jana, Suzanne. We are over allocated jewelry makers. You've also got your split pay. I've got the earrings to bring you two, which are equally stunning. We are not done at 199. There is only 60. I wish I had more. I do, I really wish we had more of these. The launch of our industrial collection, inspired by the hardware collection, just a whisper under 12 grams of solid sterling silver. Solid. And 199 is not your price. You go into Tiffany's & Co, you don't get a lot of change out of a thousand pounds. You don't. It's the same solid 925. I don't know the gram weight of that bracelet, but it does actually look finer. Um, best part of a thousand pounds, yeah. Absolutely for that. We are at 199, same 925 sterling silver that they used, by the way. Yep. And we're going even lower. I don't blame you for multi-buying, Nicolette. I'm so tempted to do the same. If they don't sell out, I will. Mm -hmm. And they will, they will sell out. Janice has multi-bought. Northamptonshire's bought three. Yeah. We, we believe this is the nicest piece of silver that we've ever actually brought to air. Are you ready for your deal of the day price? The earrings are coming up next. 11.8 grams of solid sterling silver. <laughs> oh my goodness me, that's amazing. That's less than a pound a gram. Mental. Uh, sorry, 10 pound a gram. Right. Yeah, I got you. Less than 10 pound a gram. We're essentially 10% of Tiffany's price. Cool. You have the earrings coming up as well, jewelry makers. You know, just in case you're fancy in the whole collection. 
Oh, that's it. They go so well with that necklace, don't they? It's just such a lovely... Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Absolutely amazing. It's mm. interesting that the men find them very appealing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm, the thing is, I've got it on the wrong hand, so I'm just <laughs> trying to do like some kind of celebrity look. See if I can do it there, like maybe like that. I mean, you've got, can you see it? Can you see it there? My, I shouldn't have been wearing my bracelet, but you get the idea. No, no. <laughs> Don't like this. Stay like that. There you go. Unbelievable jewelry makers. Eight inches, so it is one of the longer chains as well. Um, we had 60. Nicolette says, actually, at that price, I'm going to have three. Yeah. Northampton say, at that price, I'm going to have four. Yeah. I don't blame you. And right. 60 were commissioned. Oh, yes. Yeah. Justin Timberlake. Oh, look, there we go. He's been a naughty boy, isn't he? Um, but he looks amazing. Yeah. He's he got looks some very moves. stylish. He's got some moves. He has got he? some moves, absolutely. We're in his t his uh, his um, hardware collection necklace, amazing. It suits gents too, doesn't it? Beautiful, Judy, Mary, Linda, Neil and Linda, Heather, Catherine, Trisha. Um, you've done it well done, Julianne. You've got yours, Claire, Cheryl, Eileen, Dagmar, Julian, Oxfordshire, Trisha in County Atrium. I've got right. We're super over allocated. This is your price. We cannot go any lower. There's twelve grams of silver just under. 12 grams, that's the biggest, probably the heaviest bracelet we've ever done. What's that? The quantity we have left is 17. <laughs> and if come the top of this hour, there's any left, I'll get more. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the, the best the, prices yeah. I've ever seen. Amazing. And I don't think you get split pay at Tiffany's, do you? Definitely do not. You, <laughs> look at that thing. No, unless, <laughs> unless you whack it on your own credit card and then well, you're going to pay interest. Interest, yeah, exactly. Interest you free. Know? Interest free. Um... Ross, can I can I get if there's any left over? Can I get those? So that's again that What price. are the split payments? Pay, so what, thirty-three oh, pounds and thirty-three pence. That's amazing, isn't it? I know, unbelievable. Well done, everybody. The earrings are coming up as well. If you are Claire, Carmarthen, Anita, Jane, Maker, Cheshire, Alice, Sarah, Lynn, Susan, Heather, Maker, Annette, Maker, Jay, Surrey, Anne. We're over allocated. Some of you have got oh. twos and threes in your basket. Check out. You can always combine yeah, your order. Definitely. You only pay one post and packaging all day. This is brand new here at Jewelry Maker. We're all saying that's the nicest piece we've ever done. Without a doubt. In silver. And it's going, going, gone, isn't it? Yeah, I love it's it. It's hot stuff. Absolutely yeah. love it. You're going to do it, do it now. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I hope we do it in the chain. I'm sure we will. I think that's on the horizon. Um, I'd love to see this in the chain, which is obviously going to be again a big, uh, big investment of yeah, your sterling silver. Lots, um, yeah. I'd love to see it in the gold plated nine two five sterling mm -hmm. silver as well. I think that would be lovely that's too. Right up my street. Oh, amazing! The final eight, and that's the final eight in the world. Sixty were commissioned. And you can't go on Tiffany's and Co website, even if you did have the grand to splash out on it. You can't go on Tiffany's and Co website and buy that bracelet. It's currently out of yeah, stock. Gone. But we got some. We got some. We got some. Oh, well, um, and a fraction seven. of the cost. <laughs> well done, everyone. Patricia, London, and Julian Caffilly. You can do it, my lovely. London's there. Judith in West Midlands. Lin Lilla. Judith in West Midlands. Geraldine in Surrey. Ruth in, e in Sussex. Um, you've just got yours well done. I've got four left. Sorry, three. And 53 oh, people with it in their to baskets. Check those out. You're going to have to. Come on, you powerful women out there. Yeah. yeah. Representative of That's strong it. women. Our time is now. Are you ready for the earrings? These are even more limited. Now, again, you've got a really strong structure. So solid, if I show you. You can see that so it's always going to have that lovely shape. Yeah, you're not going to have to shift anything around. No. Or it's just going to be perfect for every photograph every moment i love them i love them brand new how many you're looking at seven grams of sterling silver 7.4 in actual fact sorry 7.64 and immediately 
there are collectors getting involved yeah. i love them if you got the bracelet i think you need the earrings you need you the need earrings. them absolutely oh and the ear posts as well beautiful nice yeah. and easy to put in yeah 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 gorgeous really comfortable i've been wearing yeah, them they, all morning yeah, they suit you really they... so, yeah i'm just hoping lauren's not going to want these back these are the studio samples you see so uh, uh, i can distract her yeah you distract <laughs> her i'll make a sharp exit um maker yeah. in conway mary in hampshire julie Ju uh, julie in kafili catherine in bristol hazel debbie janice amy and swansea you've all done it sit back and enjoy 7.64 well grams of solid sterling silver these are quite possibly yeah, it's yeah. like graduation to it a little bit. If you look at the Justin Timberlake necklace, his, that's a parve with diamond one. Yeah, that's um, if you see, it's got a, a slight graduation to it as well. So of yours. I really like that. I, I actually quite like it as a single earring. Yeah. I know that's a bit off the wall, isn't it? But that's a statement, Or just wear isn't one. It? Yeah, no, just I one. Like that. And then you could maybe... Because it's edgy. Yeah. Isn't it? You think about... I think New York and you think edginess. Oh, yeah yeah got into the city yeah yeah like i bet i bet if it was still running carrie bradshaw would be all over oh yeah wouldn't she good shout and i'm just trying to think is it um lady gaga a new yorker is she thought so thought so there are the earring there's the earrings so if you could see <gasps> the jewelry maker version Alongside the Tiffany's version, £2,400 in 925 sterling silver at Tiffany's & Co. Half the stock has gone already. Let's go straight down to the price of the bracelet and tell you we're still not done. Seriously, though. Oh, my goodness. How are we under £100? The earrings are more. Yep. Wait, the earrings are more expensive than the bracelet is on Tiffany's & Co. I wonder why. Why are the earrings more expensive? Well, that maybe tells you that the grand weight of the bracelet is maybe lighter. Bigger links, possibly. I don't know. £2,400 from Tiffany's & Co. Or, or you can get a version, our version, the industrial collection. A nod to jewelry, uh, to, to Tiffany's & Co. At £99.99. But actually, jewelry makers, we're not even going to stop there. I have 50 of these. That's 50 in the world. At the tip of the iceberg. I'm so excited for this collection. And it all began, what? How long ago was it, Roscoe? When did we have those links? within the last three months. But it just reminded me, I was like, I remember seeing that actually in, in, in Turkey where I was on holiday. I was like, oh, I love that look. And it's not the diamonds or the rubies no. or the tanzanites, which I'll be honest, I normally do gravitate no. towards. It was this lovely, like I said, this strong link. Yes. It's, it's, it's like a subliminal message, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. got strength behind the actual- the nail on the head there, yeah, definitely. No way. No way. You yeah, need you to be quick. Be quick. On, why have I not added these to my baskets? Goodness me. Oh, wow. That's There's less of these as well, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there is. Yeah. That's why I'm not even going to bother trying. Because <laughs> uh, if my signal was better, I would do it. Yeah, but you my signal's lose, terrible here definitely. in the studio. Oh, it is. Unbelievable. I can't believe we went anywhere near that price tag. Good luck, everybody. I love them. Again, that lovely solid strength yeah. that you see. The graduations, um, again, inspired by the Maison. That is Tiffany's & Co. Their biggest collection at the moment, I would say. Yeah. Um, and one that's literally on every, practically every single uh, celebrity oh, that we every. can think of. Yeah. Male and female. Yeah, you I know? love that. It's absolutely everywhere. And again, it's about strength. I love that. They spoke about strong relationships, didn't mm, they, as well? Yeah. In that, in that writer. Unbreakable bonds. Unbreakable yeah. bonds. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. D, Karen, Somerset, Cheshire, 
Trisha, Debbie's got four pairs of these. Well done, Debbie. Um, you've got Heather in Lancashire, Dagmar, Teresa, Eileen, Jackie. Well done. Northampton's got two pairs. Angela's got three pairs. Uh, Conway, Mary, Anita, Julie, Adri in Manchester. You can still do it, but we are getting super limited now, everybody. Um, there's an article written, what, in October 2023. What are Tiffany's & Co. hardware link earrings and why are celebs obsessed with them? I can see why. Yeah. I, I mean, you don't need, I don't think there needs, you just go, just look, 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 look how lovely they are. They don't, they, need, they don't need an introduction, do they? No. Look nice with an updo as well, won't they? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. We have six. <laughs> You're joking. Way over allocated. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Should we do it? Should we repay? Yeah. Should we repay? I the think bill? you should because that goes really well with the bracelet. Well, it's from the same collection. Yeah, exactly. Bring it back. Just, so, just, just now, these were your early bird this morning for those of you that weren't tuned in, and it is from the same said collection the hardware collection, where you have this absolutely beautiful 13 millimeter pearl, cultured pearl. Look at the luster on that pearl. And the, you know, let's not forget, yes, okay, we're talking a lot about Tiffany's and Co, but let's not also not forget about how difficult it is to get pearls at the moment. And then we took inspiration from this absolutely beautiful, very simplistic design. A little bit Hermes as well, in that mm. if I turn it that way, can you see you've got the H? We had 200 earlier on. We have 48 left. But Charlie was saying earlier on, educating me, saying, yeah, it's really difficult to actually create because you have to get the tension. Without scratching the pearl while you pop it in. Yeah, you've got to be, it's a, it's a delicate operation is setting that. It looks like it should be simple, but actually the most simplest designs are hardest to make because there's nowhere to hide. Yeah. If you make an error or it's slightly off, you'll know. Yeah. It's immaculate, isn't it, that? Love Gorgeous. It. Love it. A beautiful bl uh, blue luster, says Ross. Yeah, it's a, that's amazing, isn't it? Now, we have 50, did you say? 48. We're not meant to, but as we have just literally taken... As they were separated, does that make sense? So this was brought to you as an early bird, and then obviously two hours later we bring it to you, um, bring the room, you know, the the other sort of hardware collection yeah. inspired pieces. If you weren't able to tune in this morning, the first price crash that you are not paying from the same collection. So this is from the hardware collection as well. That's what you're not paying. I know, we've got 48 of these, 47, 46. We go even lower. If you want to buy this same necklace, by the way, or rather this pendant, the necklace at Tiffany's & Co, let's round it down, is £1,000. If you want to take, if you want to get the earrings, which you could easily do, get some hoop earrings, not, not hard. And loop them on, 1,150 pounds. We're gonna save you considerable amounts of money. We're at 19.99, but we are going even lower, jewelry makers. Even lower, but I have 48 of these, so maybe you weren't able, perhaps you're on the school run um, earlier this morning, so you missed out on the opportunity. Second chance. Oh, I can't remember. It was only this morning. Yeah, I can't remember what we took it to. No, I can't. I can't. Hang on, hang on. For less than, for quite significantly less than £200, I can get the pendant, the bracelet, and the earrings. Less than what? 160 pounds. I can get the bracelet. 155 pounds for the entire collection. That's incredible. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. You've got to times that by 10 to get the earrings. 
unbelievable. You know that little uh, gummy bear yeah. collection I was telling you about? It's more than that. More than that. The pieces I was looking at, yes, they were. Seriously, this is a genuine culture. Would you be paying that for the, for the pearls? Pearls individually are oh, super yeah. expensive. Yeah. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Teresa snapped up two. Maybe you're going for the earrings, Teresa. Um, you've got London getting three, Suzanne getting two, Amy getting two, Janice getting four, Catherine getting two. All of a sudden, that 48 quantity does not hang around, does it? All of a sudden. Wow. What amazing collection. And again, tip of the iceberg. Hopefully... Um, hopefully this means that we're going to be seeing the chains. Um, we're going to be seeing the chains. We're going to be seeing maybe um, different in additions inspired by this wonderful collection. Jackie, Teresa, well done. Leslie, you can still do it. £14.99. Do you know, if I think of every female I know, I think every single female I know would wear that. Would love it, yeah. yeah I don't I think agree. That there's anyone that wouldn't. It's so simple... It's so simple, what's not to love? Yeah, exactly. You can't not love you it, can You can have something which is overly embellished, can't yes, you? Yes, I, yes, yes. Whereas, this is so simple, there's what? You just can't not, No, can you? exactly. Yeah, and I, I would imagine it's all the way up, isn't it? Yeah. Small ones to the older generation, yeah. it's just going to run through us all. Absolutely. And the gents, I really like the fact that the gents are wearing pearls. Yeah. And necklaces and it's it's all everything's booming at the minute yeah so. i totally agree well done everybody again if you, um that, i think that's why i'm seeing lots so many threes is people are thinking about sweets threes. of jewelry maybe yeah. getting the matching earrings as definitely. well definitely um okay jewelry makers coming up also i don't know if you know um your 12 o'clock is a, is another deal of the day hour the piece of jewelry that our charlie has created is unbelievable, Charlie. I can't, I, again, I can't. It's just the gem step. The no, you can't. Yeah, I, honestly, I feel I feel rude because the that's why I set it the way I set it because it it sings on its own. It really doesn't need fuss and yeah. frills and spills. It just needs to draw the eye in to the centre and it wanders outwards. Yeah. And that moving uh, circular centre, yeah, very meditative. Circle of Heaven in the centre. Is that what that is? Yeah. I knew you would knew all about it. I mean, I I, I didn't but know. That's cut out of one boulder, Charlie. I, it, it's insane. I was looking at it and I got my little loop out as well and just you know, yeah. I had to look, look inside and try and figure out. The, it's genius. How do you actually cut yeah, exactly. and have something moving without yeah. not soldering? Without taking it out and putting yeah, it back yeah. in. Yeah, unbelievable. That's coming up at 12 o'clock, jewellery makers. Um, and again, we, we've all said one of the finest carvings um, that we've seen here at Jewelry Maker. Also, we have historically, you've got to remember rosebud pearls are one of the world's rarest pearls. Um, they're like a lottery ticket in the pearl world. Today, as part of your opulence weekend, we have the largest rosebud pearls in Jewelry Maker history. The ones I first saw, which we only got hold of because of one of Jem Poria's birthday events, um, were significantly smaller than these. These are absolutely colossal. I love these. So, really, Russ is just saying, he ordered what? Sorry, can I just grab that? He ordered the previous ones over. The Oh, really? The other previous rosebuds that we had, so you could actually show the difference. Okay, I'm intrigued. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, yeah. I like immediately. Sorry, with rosebud pearls, and this is something that you'll be able to do when you're, um, when you're knotting or when you're creating, is they definitely have a, a, a flat back. So that's where they're, so, so they've sat against the actual um, o oyster or mollusk's um, shell. So that's what I'm doing right now, just in case you're wondering. I'm actually arranging them so that you have the front effectively so we're not looking at a mixture of if you can you see how you've actually got a flat back with some of those but again the first ever and rosebud pearls are, are widely known as one of the rarest pearls in the world up there with Bahrain pearls 
Um, this was the first strand that we had, and this was as part of the gem pour. They're beautiful. Yes. You get a really amazing metallic luster. You get these kind of like, they're often sometimes referred to as popcorn pearls because they look like little pieces oh, of popcorn. Okay, yeah. Um, so, very extremely valuable and only brought to air because of our gem pour birthday. But if I do this, These are the ones we first launched. You see the price, uh, sorry, the size difference. They are almost double the size. These go to four, back from 14 by 10 up to 17 by 10 in a rosebud pearl. You know, if you're a pearl collector, a rosebud is right up there. Yeah, yeah. But I have a hundred coming up very 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 soon jewelry makers i'll keep that with me as well roscoe okay before we go anywhere shall we do oh, i've got those earrings um <laughs> shall we do um a massive close out deal on sakura agate in a bangle ah oh. so these are the smaller sizes am i meant to have two? Ah, oh, just to show you the difference so obviously these are um all hand carved so there is they're, they're, you're, just to show you they do they're not all exactly the same because they're hand carved Ooh. they're works of art they're not all exactly the same um but again look at the quality sakura agate is the um one of the a few agates that forms in a three-dimensional bloom so you don't just get the bands you actually get if you look at this one if you don't know how close you can get here you literally get like little blossoms that form naturally in the gemstone. Can you see that? That's incredible. It's not layers, not bands. Like a slice of That's bread. That's amazing, isn't it? And blossoms. Very, very, very cool. Uh, Sakura agate is oh. the darling of the agate world. It is totally natural. Please know, and I've said this before when talking about Nan Hong, um, not all agates are equal. You do have some of the world's rarest, and that is Nan Hong Sakura galaxy agate's very rare um i always i can never what's the one um Osh, is it Osham? i can i always pronounce it wrong alashan thank you alashan that's another ex incredibly rare variety we're going to do a close out deal though jewelry makers so um if you have always this is the smaller size just so you know but that being said i got it on so it's not that small no some of them are tiny are they some of them this wasn't that small um all depends on your wrist size basically we're going to do a close out deal jewelry makers i mean that's a bit of an arm stack isn't it isn't it oh. yeah very beautiful natural sakura and some lovely a uh, bit of uh, tiffany's inspiration how many do we have 35 exactly it says on our graphics that this is the large yeah the millimeters tells me that's small smaller size yeah ignore that really it's just on our graphics um hazel karen you're already there if you've always loved sakura agate but maybe it's been one of those gemstones that's be is um just outside your budget um it does come beautifully boxed as well we took this did we to a double figure price tag wow it's all natural so your own little work of art today don't worry i'm not shopping again i will do later on <laughs> today we are going to half the price. That's the magic of Sakura. Look at that. See what I mean? Ooh. Three dimensional little blossoms that occur. Launched at what? Sorry. 99.99. Today, though, jewelry makers. What on earth? 
for a bangle, any carved bangle, whatever the gemstone, even your dyed agates at that price would be absolutely amazing. We're clearing the vault of your Sakura agate. Why? I do not know. Um, for the rarity of this beautiful gemstone. Again, I don't have the time to go into the whole presentation of Sakura agates, but again, widely regarded as one of the darlings of the agate world. You can't Very pick that rare. up just anywhere. No. I can't say I've ever stumbled across that before. No. That's quite a beautiful It's like piece, cherry blossoms. It? Something else. Yeah. They liken it to the cherry blossom yeah. tree. I didn't even know a gemstone could do that. Yeah. Who knew? I don't get how. How do you yeah. form, form a bloom in a gemstone that's no taken idea. literally millions Nature's of years? Amazing. Nature is amazing. London, Karen, Hazel, Elaine, Sandra, you're there as well. New customers getting involved. Um, so you can see the, the diameters. They do all slightly different, obviously. Not in terms of the diameter, in terms of obviously the patterns. Because yes. it's a natural gemstone. You wouldn't want yes. them to literally look identical because then no. you know they're not natural. Yeah. Um, so every single one will be uh, unique to you. And again, when you get really close to these, you can see these gorgeous little florets, beautiful little blossoms that occur naturally in the gem. Oh, they're so beautiful. It is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Well done, everybody. Now, coming up, jewelry makers, I told you it was a weekend not to miss. I've got one more auction before the break, but I want to show you these, the largest rosebud pearls we have ever had here at Jewelry Maker. The first ever rosebud pearls we had only because um, Dave managed to actually negotiate uh, um, an amazing birthday deal to celebrate Jim Poirier's birthday. He's good, isn't he? He's pretty good. Um, and he's like, okay, I've got some for gems, I'll get some. Because I'll be honest, he is a big fan of jewelry makers. Right, okay. He loves jewelry maker, does Dave? So he managed to get some. Anyway, that was then. This is now. These are bigger. Rosebud pearls are one of the rarest. Think Bahrain pearls, think turtle back pearls. What's that? I'll show you a okay. diagram when we bring this to air. So they it it's how they form. Are we doing these straight after the break? Yes. Now, a um, couple of auctions before the break, though, but just if you are a pearl connoisseur, a pearl collector, I'll talk about rosebud pearls. They're often referred to as popcorn pearls because you have these lovely kind of irregular textures and shapes to them, which is not something you can go, right there, little oyster, I want you to produce me a, um, a rosebud pearl, please. I want lots of lovely undulations, which is obviously <laughs> going to bring me gorgeous luster and amazing uh, metallic sheen. That's not how it works. It is like a lottery ticket. That's the only way I can actually describe it. Um, so they're coming up and they're solid as well. Solid nacre. Mm. Um, I've got these earrings. Yeah. I bought the ring and then I bought the earrings. I'll take this out momentarily. Because, uh, do you know what? They do, for me, they just scream. I can imagine like... Princess Diana wearing Ooh, these. Yes. She would have worn something yeah. like this. Um, what you're looking at, they're Marbe, aren't they? Marbe pearls. You know, oh gosh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? I love them. Ooh. Absolutely love these. Surrounded by beautiful zircon set in solid 925 sterling silver and you're looking at the most exquisite marbe pearl a marbe pearl has a flat back oh. where it's where i don't like this term but they they're sometimes described as a blister pearl all oh, right okay yeah so you, they almost form this like sort of bubble yeah on the oyster shell itself these are amazing roscoe are we doing these now yeah. How many do we have? 20 available opportunities. They're so classy, aren't they? And you know, Very. if ever you wanted a piece of jewelry to scream like, yes, like, it looks like, have you never seen these? Scream high end prices, then it's this. I bought the ring, Ross, and then I bought the earrings afterwards because this is a Japanese Akoya Marbe pearl. Right, one second, Roscoe. No, they're not. We, that's our graphics. They're South Sea, aren't they? Yeah. South Sea Marbe Pearl. I can tell that, but that's me. I'm sorry, that's me. Um, you can tell that by the golden colour. 
Now, a South Sea pearl, so Akoya, South Sea, Tahitian, they are creme de la creme, the best pearls in the world, yeah? Right. Um, as in their, uh, the harvesting location. You can get other varieties that are rarer, for sure, I'm about to bring you some of those as well, um, but they're widely regarded as one of the most sought after. You've got to remember to actually harvest South Sea pearls, they are harvested um, just off the coast of Australia. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't personally go swimming off the coast of Australia. And there's some footage certainly on Dave's uh, social media where he's actually um, in around the South Sea Pearl, uh, um, Pearl Harvest. And he was like, yeah, okay, they've done their work. And he was like, I'm going to just take a quick dip. And they were like, no, don't do that. And he was like, why? He's like, come on, Dave. He's so naive in so many ways. And they literally went down to, because on this huge yacht, yeah. millions of pounds, this massive yacht. Um, one of the chefs went down, got a joint of meat. Okay. Literally on, tied it on a rope, threw it over the side saw all the sharks come in oh. so yeah exactly so it's yeah there are risks to it for sure oh. but a south sea pearl is one of the the finest pearls in the world i mean you can see dave literally at tucson earlier this year so this would be sort of january february time um, um we know the pearl world has gone completely crazy nuts for cultured pearls this south sea pearl strand at trade not re rrp not retail price eight hundred and eighty thousand dollars so you are looking at a mil millions of pounds that's probably what you reckon even if i'm conservative and say they sell that for double the price which is normally four times you know unbelievable so the same applies jewelry makers with your marbe pearls now marbe pearls um are basically where you get less marbe pearls than, than you do actually a culture, cultured pearl because an, a, you know, a South Sea golden lip oyster can produce many pearls. They will harvest it many, many times repeatedly. They form to almost dinner plate sizes, the actual golden lip oyster. It can be this oh, wow. size. So they'll pop the pearl out, then they'll start the whole process again, you know. So um, not like freshwater pearls. Whereas these will be when that oyster is coming to the end of its life this is actually part of the, shell, uh, the uh, golden lip oyster itself. So they produce, if any, marbe, maybe one or two marbe pearl, if any. Within the one giant yeah. clamp, right? Okay. Because it's actually part of the actual oyster. Oh, that's so, so part of the shell itself. Now, you can get loose pearls from the pearl source. They're fantastic. Um, but they're, they're normal pearls. They're more abundant than what we have. Marby pearls are far rarer. So we're still looking at four figures. Still looking. Yours are 19 millimeter for a 12 mil. Uh, these are 19 millimeters, the ones I've got in my ear. If you go to the pearl source, 1,159 pounds. But that's a normal pearl. I don't want to be sound derogatory, but as as i hopefully um i made that clear the actual oyster produces more pearls quite different, than it would yeah. do a marbe because on the back of the marbe you'll actually see the oyster shell mother of pearl i don't know if you can through the setting can you see it that's mother of pearl on the reverse that's the ah. shell itself yeah so that can I just point out that the setting is beautiful as well? It's gorgeous. very well made. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, with a halo of beautiful, dazzling, colourless white zircon. This is, I, I, I don't think I've got the time to do it now, but I know if you go on to First Dibs, look at Marbe Pearls, they are thousands of pounds. Thousands of pounds. Angela, Hazel, Andrum. If ever you wanted a piece of jewellery that literally screams regal beauty. Oh, without a doubt. It's, it's this for me. Yeah. Can you grab that, Roscoe? Marbe pearls at, at first dibs. I have got some, one somewhere for Marbe pearls. We're at £499. I know I'm only holding the one. I've got the other one in my ear. But look at the quality. We also launched a ring alongside it. I think that's pretty much yeah, sold uh, out. Yeah. Again, it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
first dibs definitely if you want to go and price compare you will find um, pieces and they are they're, they're thousands of pounds you don't find Marbe pearls for less than four figures I do mean high four figures as well um, with that halo of beautiful genuine zircon yeah, yeah here you go you can see it on. here so this is a photograph not perhaps not the most attractive photograph but it's actually the black lip oyster so a marbe pearl can form in whatever oyster because it is something that's not instigated especially so remember when an oyster um what they actually do is secreting nacre that rare precious mat material to protect themselves from this irritant right so they coat it and coat it <clears throat> and coat it so here it is <laughs> instead of it forming as a spherical shape a marbe pearl almost grows into the actual shell itself now this because again these are the black lip oysters but you can see they cut literally once the oyster is at the end of its life instead of wasting that rare and beautiful material remember this oyster is what's produced the nacre within your pearls they use that in jewelry as well high-end jewelry but they only that. produce you know, you, it, it's, it's a rarity to see a Marbe pearl. And they don't pearl. waste anything. Nothing's wasted. No, absolutely not. We're at £499, but jewellery makers, we are going even lower. Even lower. This, I just seem to remember there's a pair of Marbe pearl earrings on first dibs. There's loads, but they were like £5,000. Uh, almost identical in terms of the actual design themselves. Oh, really? Yeah. See, they lend themselves really well to uh, settings, don't they? With that flat back, that yeah. is amazing. How do they get it out? Hey? How do they even get it out? They have to cut the shell. Ah, Because like, right, so it's okay. when the actual oysters at the end of their life. So oh, they cut right, okay. The shell. So it's like the final stage. Same as like use the mother of pearl. There we go. There we go. There we are. So you can see oh. Marbe pearls of gold, one thousand three hundred, two thousand eight hundred pounds, nice. and they're not not even diamond encrusted. But again, you see this the prices that they do absolutely command. The next one along shows you, I think one which is even more like. There we go. Top corner. There you go. Four. Th uh, sorry, five thousand two hundred eight pounds. Almost exactly the same. Almost exact. I mean, there might be gold, there might be diamonds, but you see the actual inspiration. Um, good luck, everybody. At £179, you're not getting one, you're getting two Marbe pearls. Incredible jewellery makers. Now, if you love high-end pearls and you've got rosebud pearls coming up in a few moments' time, um, hello, Hartford just saying, never heard of rosebud pearls, so took a chance. Got a strand and wow. The character and uniqueness of rosebud pearls Put them into another league. I totally agree, yeah. Hart, um, Hertfordshire. Now, but we have got jumped up a fairly, a couple of leagues here. Because these are easily the largest rosebud pearls that we have done by some distance. They are totally natural. Jewelry makers, there's a hundred. That's insane. <laughs> there's a hundred of these available unbelievable please do not go anywhere because they're happening after the break you know this is the kind of like deal of the day on our birthday strand yeah that's the yeah. rarity you know do, do we agree ross if it was our if we were celebrating our 15th birthday which is when we originally launched rosebud pearls part of the birthday celebrations oh. this would be fourth of may our actual birthday fourth of may that's deal of the day. That's what this strand would be. That's what it should be. It's not. It's part of your opulence weekend, and we promise the most amazing price tag. It's a deal of the day again after this. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Now, jewellery makers, we've still got, what, an hour and 40 minutes. We've got the most amazing Olmec carving, one of the finest Olmec pieces that we've ever launched. Placed it in the hands of Charlie and she's created this beautiful sculpture and we have the wonderful Dave Troth who's going to be launching today. Oh, we it love today. Dave. What a work of art, honestly. What a beautiful collaboration. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's great. Love that. But... Yeah. Look at that colour, that beautiful translucency. And what you're not seeing on this recording is the fact that it literally oscillates, literally rotates, and that's carved out of one amazing boulder. I just wanted to quickly show you because I knew we had these somewhere, but there, there's that golden lip oyster. We've brought these before. There's the Marbe pearl. Can you see how they form? And they're literally cut around. So that's part from those earrings that you've just seen. Love that. It's fascinating. Very cool. Um, okay. But right now, jewellery makers, this is one for the collectors, one for the connoisseurs. Because, I, I mean, I don't want it to sound arrogant here, but I've always 
and it's not me personally, I've always been probably one of, uh, um, I, I, I'd like to think that I have always credited jewelry maker for their pearl buying. Um, I think it's one of their greatest strengths or yeah. certainly was. Yeah. Um, however, saying that, okay, we can't do pearl weekends anymore. Nowhere can. We can't do pearl hours anymore. Nowhere can. Yoko of London, places like that, pearl source, um, have never seen a price increase in this industry ever. I was about to say of our generation, but actually ever. Pearls have never been more expensive than no. they are right now. You just saw Dave photograph there in Tucson at the beginning of this year holding an $880,000 South Sea Pearl necklace. That's trade. So retail, that'll be multiple millions of pounds. So, and you know, lots of things can affect the value and price of gemstones. Firstly, supply. That obviously makes a huge difference. If a gemstone is rare, then obviously it's expensive. Now, pearls are still being cultured. They are still being cultured in South Sea. They are still being cultured in, T uh, in Tahiti. They are still being cultured in Akoya and all the freshwater locations. So you might be thinking, okay, so, and that's kind of like an ongoing thing. Yes, COVID did affect it. So it, it sort of um, hit the pause button, if you like, on the culturing process. And they do believe it's going to take about a decade to recover from that. Because if you can imagine, if you can't get out to a, you can walk away from a diamond mine, yeah. but you can't walk away from a pearl harvest because the oysters will literally Organic, return to the sea. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They need rotating, they need yeah. looking after. Yeah. Um, little divas but the biggest thing that's happened in the pearl industry is desirability this is a gemstone that everybody loves and Charlie you just mentioned it you love the fact that everybody's wearing pearls now. yeah you know celebrities gents ladies we've got um, and over in China in well China makes up a third of the population of the world they have one global superstar, Nini, who blogged about her love of pearls or wearing pearls. Instantaneously, a decade of Tahitian pearls bought out. So we can no longer get Tahitian like pearls. Overnight. Thought, overnight. Wow. Don't know who, but we can't get them anymore. Guess what happens then? Masousi. Done. Can't get hold of them anymore. Oh. Why haven't you seen Charlie Barron on our screens? Charlie Barron, sixth generational pearl, pearl harvester, six generations, is not trading in pearls anymore. He's trading in diamonds, rubies, emeralds. If you go on his Instagram page, you'll see. So the fact that we are even bringing you any variety, whether we are bringing you freshwater, South Sea, Tahitian, Akoya, whatever the variety, that's a miracle to be truthful. And that doesn't just apply to cultured pearls, that applies to mother of pearl, that applies to shell pearl, that applies to marbe pearl, and it 100% applies to rosebud pearls. So it's a huge ripple effect. Yeah, isn't massive it? knock on yeah. effect. Now, a year or so ago, was it, Ross? Jim Poria had a birthday, just under. Now, Dave managed to acquire, he actually went to, we've got multiple different, or had multiple different pearl suppliers all around the world. Dave's got an amazing, he's, he's hugely respected in the gemstone world, he is. And he went to, I don't know which one it was, but look, I want something extra special from you. And, and, and I'll say it, Gemporia spent millions on pearls. Yeah. Millions and millions on pearls. But they went to one of our um, pearl suppliers and said, I want something special for the birthday. This is birthday just gone. They're like, okay, well, you can have something, but you know, there's only a limited quantity. And Dave, being Dave, shared that quantity with you guys. That was this strand. This is the studio sample. The studio sample, they absolutely sold out, flew out the door. And this was the first ever rosebud pearl that had ever been on our screens. Fast forward to today, I'm about to bring you something that is ten, like hugely bigger. Let's read about what these pearls are though. What is it about rosebud pearls or popcorn pearls as they're sometimes referred to that makes them as rare and valuable as they are? Um, so list of the rarest culture pearls in the world. There is a misconception in the world of pearl cultivation 
that all of the world's cultured pearls are mass produced and affordable. But there are some that are just as rare as a true natural pearl. Now, what you might be thinking, what do you mean true natural pearl? It's not just about the color. What they basically mean is hasn't been cultivated, literally has been free dived for and found. Oh. Oh, found right? okay. yeah not cultured Amazing. a natural pearl um here we have compiled a list of the rarest such varieties popcorn pearls which is what you're talking about right now pearls are pearls of any shape on which the surface nacre has a granulated appearance so that they look like fresh popcorn we call them granulated pearls also called rosebud pearls or strawberry pearls, um, and in China, hairy pearls. <laughs> hairy pearls. I'm not a fan of hairy pearls, but I do like rosebud. Yes. Um, and if you see this, you know this is not our chart. Again, we're kind of using this information to educate us ourselves. Um, and if you look on the right hand side under the title "Rarest Natural Pearls," you see the turtlebacks there, just at the top. You see the exotic snails there, um, and you can see a little bit lower down. I think it's the next row down. The rosebuds, the exotic rosebud pearls, those beautiful kind of misshapen, sort of granulated textured Organic rosebud looking, pearls. Aren't they? Yeah. The rosebud is always considered natural. It, what that means, jewelry makers, is if even if a rosebud is is found during the culture, culturing process, yeah. Even if it's nucleated, because there is no way to intentionally produce pearls of this quality. So you can go, right, okay, I'm going to put a little nucleus bead in this oyster, and I'm going to hope, fingers crossed because it's never a guarantee, that I'm going to come uh, out the other end, I might get around. That's, that's, that's the intention. There is no way of intentionally producing a rosebud pearl. Um, these pearls always command the largest premium because of the luster and the nacre. They are the rarest pearls we have ever sourced. This is our supplier. Uh, they are considered the most premium pearls on the planet and we can provide only one close out for your birthday. We're talking about this strand that I have draped across the back of my hand right now. These are only sold usually as one of a kind, i.e. that pearl, that pearl, that pearl. Not as strands. Oh, They're not okay. normally sold as strands. Um, these, uh, um, these are the only strands available in the marketplace. Mm. So jewelry makers, we launched this, I think it was back in about almost a year, over a year ago. One more thing, just shy of a year. Yeah, because it's just coming up to their next birthday. One more other thing. Fast forward almost another year, and Jen Poria are about to celebrate another birthday, big birthday. They allocate 30% of their birthday budget to pearls. Wow. They haven't bought a single pearl this year. Have they not? Can't. Even with your connections, that's quite... Can't, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. These rosebud pearls are very special. This is a harvest from before COVID, and we produced uh, this collection for a Japanese luxury pearl jewelry house. It took our team 15 months to collate these pearls, and this is all that remains. Um, with these pearls, they have the luster of an okoya because of the rich amount of nacre. In some mollusks, they overproduce nacre, and this is when it folds over and produces these organic shapes. They have a, the brightest orient of any pearl in the world. Only about 1% of mollusks can do, the, uh, do this, and no one knows why, but they can command prices in line with Bahrain pearls. That's fascinating. It, isn't is, it? it is fascinating. But look how beautiful they are. I love one percent. One percent of of mollusks do it. They don't know why. So this this presentation was for this strand. This is our studio sample. Most likely makes its way to a museum or in a vault somewhere. And um, because we knew, we said then, look, we're not going to be able to replace these. Our our own sister channel is not bringing rosebud pearls on their birthday celebration. I want to put something into perspective, jewelry makers, because 10 months since Jempora's birthday, I'm bringing you rosebud pearls again. But again, to put this into perspective, this is a lovely strand, don't get me wrong, but look at the size difference. 
Oh, it's noticeable. Yeah, these it? are huge rosebud pearls. Not just a couple of mil. No. How many do we have, Ross? That's actually crazy. Yeah. Because do you know what I was about to say? You might be thinking, all oh, right, well, jewelry makers, surely your sister channel should have had these. Yeah, probably. They probably should, yeah. And they probably would have been, oh, not, no, probably. They'd have been knotted with silk. Yeah. And they'd have been put on 18 karat gold. And they probably would have come out, no, in fact, not probably. They definitely would have been four figures. Yeah. 100%. And rightly so. Yeah. And by the way, no 100, it, which is the quantity that we have, is awesome. That would justify a big birthday deal, wouldn't it, on our, on our sister channel? And it would probably, most likely, be four figures. Yeah. Because they're rosebud pearls. I've got 100 today. They haven't gone to our sister channel. They're going to you, our amazing, loyal pearl collectors. But again, it's my job to hopefully inform just and really elevate and, uh, and make everyone aware how rare opportunities like this are. All pearls are difficult to get hold of at the moment. Yes, but they're still being farmed. They're still being cultured. Even to the extent Tahitian pearls are still being cultured. However, we just can't get them for the next 10 years. We can't get them, but they're still there. We still know it's happening. These are like a lottery ticket. They're here. They now. are a lottery ticket in the pearl world. And we're bringing them to little old jewelry maker, the largest that we have ever seen. The largest that we have ever seen in jewelry maker history. Yeah. Natural colors. Absolutely amazing. Rupal, Geraldine, Karen, Jacqueline, Gloucester, Hazer and Heather. Well done. He can I just say thank you for your trust. You know that Jewelry Maker will deliver the finest, uh, the finest deal. Hertfordshire's messaged in and she said, he, she, never heard of Rosebud Pearl, so I took a chance got a strand and wow the character and uniqueness of yeah. rosebud pearls put them into another league they really do yeah. and that's the thing you look at you look at that that you know that loose pearl chart you've got different varieties there half a chart i'd never heard to heard of turtle back pearls before never heard of them before i was like oh, okay all right okay what's that um but you can really see i don't know about you but i home in on the rosebud pearls yeah because you've got those shapes which you don't see do you you don't see they're quite Yes, it's an abundance of nacre, but they're quite structural, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Almost like spiky, ah, I suppose. But yeah. they're not spiky, but you've got those kind of ridges. Textured and, yeah. and they, they scream natural, authentic, genuine pearls, don't they? They're so There's gorgeous, There's no argument aren't they? about it. No. And they've got the flat surface. But yeah. That's what, that's what uh, um, rosebud pearls do. They have a flat surface, so you can position them well as well. Now, jewellery makers... When we first launched, just under a year ago, Rosebud Pearls to our audience, and on our sister channel, we, we had lavender and we had white. A few months later, we got hold of the papaya colour. Yeah, that's right. But they were tiny, tiny. They were like five millimetre. Hello, Gloria. Um, L, beautiful girls. Hello, beautiful girls. Um, I've waited so long for multicolored rosebuds. Um, I have the white, but really want the he's so I'm buying stunning. They really are, Gloria. Yeah. And they're huge as well. Absolutely huge. Um, it's not only the mixed colors, natural colors, they're absolutely huge. Um, hello, Hazel saying, um, I have not heard of these before. I missed the show last time, so I had to get them now. They're gorgeous. Um, Hazel, these are massive. Yeah. They're absolutely <laughs> massive. So, again, I mean, this is like... Look, how do I make the comparison? And it's, I apologize, this is probably a terrible comparison, but look, your first rosebud pearl is like winning the lottery. These rosebud pearls are like winning the Euro millions. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a great way of looking because at Because of the it. size, yeah, the sheer sense. size yeah. of them. They're normally sold individually and you're looking at a full <laughs> 38 centimeter strand. If you regard yourself as a pearl collector and a connoisseur, and that chart, by the way, is not ours. We've not done that. That's literally off. I can't remember the name of this. It's like a pearl menu, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it? like, it's like GIA so, or yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that literally puts it in a grid. I can, I digest that. I can see, I, can, I get yeah. it. 
visual. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Agree. I'm a very visual person. Yeah. You can see on the left hand side talks about your sort of Keshi culture pearls. You've got your sort of sometimes referred to stick pearls. We've had them before as well, haven't we? Mm. Um, stick pearls. Uh, I can't read the other ones. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. So you've got natural characteristics. You've got Keshis. We know Keshis are natural little stowaways. Up until 20 years ago, they used to throw Keshi pearls back into Never. the sea. I know. You're I know. Joking. Up until 20 years ago, <laughs> lob them back into the sea. Um, you've got your exotic snails, your exotic rosebuds, your exotic turtle backs. They, um, they are the rarest pearls on the world up there with your Bahrain pearls. You are not paying £1,999. Look at the size, Ross. 17 by 10 mil. They are huge. Even without them being rosebuds, yeah. that's huge. Your next price is also not what you're paying. The quality of these. Not. Okay, and I had in my head at least four nine nine. Yeah, lost. yeah. And that that's me being hopeful. The largest. This is the third ever strand. Again, jewelry makers, you might be thinking, really? You've had three strands? Please know that pearl suppliers want to sell to us because we will buy big quantities when possible. Yeah. They want to. And they'll do little sweeteners like these so that they continue, you know, they, they, they sustain our business, if you like. That being said, it's, inc it's a bit different now because the pearl world is different. Yeah. Very, very, very different. We're at £299 for 17 by 10 millimetre size. Genuine certified natural rosebud pearls. The biggest I've ever seen and most likely ever will see. And we're going even lower. Natural colour. I pay £299 for one of those rosebud pearls. I was just going to say that. Well, they're normally sold. What on earth, Ross? What are we doing? What are we doing? Our sister, I almost feel like we're rubbing their noses in it now. Our sister <laughs> channel are about to celebrate a birthday. I say about, it's in October. At the 20 years of Gemporia. So it's a huge birthday. Our TV screen is in. Hello. Well done, Gloria. You're very welcome, my lovely. Our, all, like, all the channels across the partnership are dotted around this building. So right now, our lovely colleagues are looking at this auction going, hang on a minute. <laughs> We know we haven't got any pearls coming up on our birthday. Here's Jewelry Maker with amazing rosebud pearls. They know these are one of the rarest pearls in the world. And they've got 100. And they're doing them at 199. What's going on? Well, we're not doing them at 199, actually. Just literally rubbing the nose in it now, aren't we? Should we just, <laughs> can we all just give a really awkward wave to our <laughs> yeah, colleagues? <that> <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way the smaller ones we sourced 22 oh, what, that's you were, all you could we only could buy. get hold of 22 strands yeah that's insane and by the way we were like mind blown because they're normally sold individually yeah. so 22 yeah. strands is amazing today there's 100 100 natural rosebud pearls Legacy jewellery, if ever I saw it. Yeah. So if you want to ask me what our sister channel will do with this, they would knot it and they would put it on 18 karat gold class and it would be for four figures. And that would be an amazing deal. Yeah. Because normally rosebud pills are sold individually. So I know, yeah, I know that this is ridiculous. The smaller ones where we had 22, they sold out entirely. But I thought the smaller <laughs> ones were more than this though, to be honest. <laughs> Apparently not. We're gonna crash and match the price. Even though we had, they are smaller in size. These, these are much larger, significantly larger. Yeah, that's insane. Again, I need to read this out. Rosebuds are always considered natural, even if it's nucleated, because there is no way to intentionally produce pearls of this quality. 
These pearls always command the largest premiums because of the luster and the nacre. They are the rarest pearls we have sourced. They are considered the most premium pearls on the planet in red, big bold writing. The most premium pearls on the planet and we can provide only one closeout deal for your birthday. This was the birthday just gone. These are only sold usually as one of a kind. That's single pearls. You've got a full 38 centimeter strand and in 30 seconds, the largest rosebud pearls, not we ever have had, we ever will have. Purely because of the quantity, we're taking it lower, matching the price yeah. of the smaller sized. Guarantee your place. You know, genuinely, Ross, if, if it was our birthday right now, this is a May the 4th deed of the day birthday. Mm. On our actual birthday, the biggest auction of the year. Of the year. 149. Ridiculous. Absolutely amazing. Here we are. Bringing you the... Uh, did you know? And again, can I just credit our team who behind the scenes, there are unsung heroes. But they, what they do, they're buying exceptional buying. Yeah. You've got to remember the whole world has gone nuts for pearls. I mean, we, we are all avid watchers. I mean, we all understand how jewellery maker works and their pearls and for you to be saying that and then being to offer that I would be snapping up a few and I'd just be creaming the profit off it to be honest 100% I do a little writer I would just shift it off and yeah watch this show back on YouTube yeah. take a little bit of that information pop it on your website yeah, just so educate your customers yeah. or recipients you might not be a retailer I get that so no. educate it's lovely like because people we want to know, don't we? We're curious about gemstones like this. I was talking to my husband about a lavender jadeite piece the other day, and he was like, okay, so explain to me. I know it's one of the rarest colours. You know, if I went to him now and say, and he'd be like, right, okay, yeah, pearls. Well, no, 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 no. These aren't just any pearls. These are rosebud pearls. Pearls <laughs> are like that premium pearls, best on the planet, yeah. rarest on the planet. You need to know You this need stuff. to know these things, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you, you know, customers. And here we are, one four nine. Yeah, laughable pricing. So I, I, I like profit, so I would just buy and sell that on straight away. Absolutely. I just You'd be silly not to actually, you know. You could do it individually. I'd keep one for myself, obviously. Yes. I'd, and I would, I would set some. You know, I'd have one as a ring, yeah. one as a stud. But yeah, if, if I was going to be honestly greedy, I would buy more than one That's to not shift greedy. it. That's greedy. Well, he's savvy, isn't he? It? That's good, business, business savvy. Business practice. Business yeah. savvy, absolutely. So, who doesn't like profit, right? One hundred percent. Especially, you know, your knowledge and your skills. You got to remember, if I wanted, to, I, I couldn't buy these at Tucson. No. I couldn't buy these at Hong Kong. Um, you got to remember, they would cost me a lot more than what you're probably going to charge. Oh, thousands yeah. Thousands upon thousands yeah. of pounds. Out of this world. Uh, especially yeah. as they're sold individually. So it's ridiculous that we're on 49. Yeah. It actually is ridiculous, but fantastic at the same time. Here it is. When I compare, I had 22 of these. They completely sold out and they sold out at 149. Look at the difference of the size. I managed to get a hundred of the larger rosebud pearls and bring them to you at the same price. 37 pounds and 25 pence on split pay again you walk into any high-end pearl supplier even yoko of london probably won't have pearl, uh, rosebud pearls probably not and you try and buy rosebud pearls even singly for 149 eye watering right yeah. eye watering prices yeah not one 149 50 have gone yeah well it doesn't surprise me it's it's, it's good business that means I've got 50 left, Charlie. Oh, we've halved, yeah. And Charlie, would you like to say what you've just heard Ross here? That's not your price. It never was, was never your price. Am I still going? Go on. <laughs> I'm not very good at presenting. Yeah, you are. <laughs> what did you say again? The only reason we are able to do this is because we've got a hundred. There you go. Every single one of you will pay the final low price tag, jewellery makers. It is an absolute guaranteed sellout. You're right. If you are a business, this is good business. Even if you're not. Even, even if, if you're, you're not, not, you can pick that up. Yeah. I'm not a business. 
I'm not a business, but I but I am indulging in pearls at the moment. We can be savvy, yeah. We know what we've got. Because we know got. the rarity yeah. of them. At some point, I might want to sell them. I doubt it. But at some point, You'd I might. You'd sit on it for a bit. But yeah. yeah. Hi, Gloria. Just love how organic yeah. these are. I've, um, I'll feel a million dollars in mine. You certainly will, Gloria. They are insanely beautiful. I love that she's keeping them for herself. Yeah. There isn't a, a thought in her mind no. that these are going and anywhere else. And I wouldn't either, Gloria. Gloria's bang on, yeah. These are, going, these are legacy pieces of jewellery. We had 100. Look at that clock ticking. Look at the luster. Seriously, look yeah, at that luster. Insane. The size, luster, and abundance of nacre. Remember, they are the rarest pearls. And we're going even lower than 149. It's crazy. If you have it in your basket, I will wish you the best of luck. There's multi-buyers. Padam? I agree. One of the biggest auctions of the entire weekend. One of the biggest auctions of the entire year, to be honest. Yeah. And again, I do feel like we're rubbing our, the nose, our colleagues' noses in it right yeah, now. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, no. I've got to go in there and look at them, Ross, after this. You know what oh, I mean? I'll hug him. <laughs> I've got to go in. $24.99 on split pay. No, but seriously, we've got like the 20 year at birthday on our sister what did channel you say right the now. Split pay was? $24.99. Oh. Interest, Interest free. Interest free. free. I know, I love that. Do you want me to count them, yeah? Definitely. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, they're normally sold individually. So, okay, so bear with me. This is quite going to be like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. This is crazy. Um, 30. 32, 34, 36, 38, 41. 41 popcorn pearls. Don't, I, can't, I refuse point blank to tell you what that is per pearls. You do the maths. £2.50. Oh. £2.50 for one of the rarest varieties of pearls in the world. You can't buy a punnet of strawberries for £2.50. You actually can't. It's twice the price of that. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. Hi, Gloria. The smaller ones were 149. Yes. Um, OMG, I remember. Yes. And if you've got this... Gloria, that's purely because of the quantity. And 149 is awesome. If we got 22, they probably would have been. Yeah. Yeah, 299, 499 maybe. But we were able to buy them all, which is absolutely incredible. Not many jewellers around the world, no matter, you know... No. You've got you've could got some say that they power. actually supply they can actually offer yeah. rosebud pearls. Um, yeah, and the reason why we don't know. Remember, I said earlier on in the show, gemstones can be the victim of their own rarity. You know, actually, yeah, no, you're right. This you're is another right. one. And people that aren't really interested, once you start talking about, you reeling them in, aren't you? And, you, and you're sharing it's that exciting, knowledge. I love it? that. I exciting. Love that. Yeah. Even if there's the nucleated bead in there, you can't get. You think about what they do to an, oy uh, an oyster to culture a pearl. Yeah. You can't get it to produce one of these, a rosebud pearl. How? How do you do it? Um, ultimately. So they are always considered natural pearls, um, even if they are cultured. Again, Turtlebacks and exotic snails are rosebud. They're the three rarest. Yeah, the most well known Akoya, Tahitian, South Sea. The three rare. What was the other one that you said that I have not heard of before? Pearl. You said a name. Ma I... Marbe? No, before that. No. Never mind. We'll come back. What a variety of pearl. Yeah, or a yeah, location. yeah. Tahitian? No, you said a pearl and I've never heard of it. But I've never heard of the turtleback one. Oh, Bahrain. Just... Oh, Bahrain there we go. pearls, yeah. What's that then? But it's just a location. Basically. Oh, right, okay. The location. Educating, you um, see? We're, um, <laughs> we're closing the graphics, jewelry makers. We had 100. I've got 10 left. Let, final. Oh, we're super over allocated. Please know that if you miss out now, and I'm not scaring you into this, they are. It, we should just assume they're replaceable. You know, the fact that we've got rosebud pearls on our screens is absolutely amazing. Please almost assume that these are irreplaceable. If you miss out, wish list them. If you've got it in your basket, check them out because you're going to miss out. Um, I've got a full screen of names. For example, Kerry's just got two. Uh, Amelia's got two. Sarah's got two. Gloria's got two. Jeannie's got two. Uh, Patricia's got two. I've got Buckinghamshire, Rachel, Jacqueline, Judith, Maker, Maker, Michelle, uh, Janet, Lynn, Jay, Elizabeth, Surrey, Maker, Rebecca, Paula, um, Alison, Anna. And those are some of the names that I can see that haven't yet checked out. So we're super over allocated. Jewelry makers do not go anywhere. Oh. <sighs> 
because coming up we've still got more we haven't we haven't peaked i want to show you this this amazing olmec type a jadeite the mining has stopped it's not deplete but they have just discovered an ancient mayan mask a civilization we know very very little about so archaeologists have said right all you miners out off you go off for the foreseeable future we don't know when or even if it is going to you know start up again I'm sure Dave will talk about that during the presentation. This is the finest, most, uh, the artistry on this pendant, pendant, which is completely moving. So that central circle of heaven actually sort of oscillates. Um, beautifully double-sided carving. And then, of course, placed into the hands of the highly skillful, lovely uh, Charlie, who's created this amazing piece of jewellery. Now, coming up. I will tell you, we've got, oh my goodness, there's quantity of this. Did you know that? There's a hundred of this carving. Oh, really? No, I don't, you don't get told anything. It's all a surprise. <laughs> yeah. That's coming your way, jewelry makers. Can you imagine that with your rosebud pearls? Oh. Yeah. That's, that's a layering up that needs to be done, isn't Seriously. it? Seriously. Can you imagine? Um, so we have wonderful Dave stepping um, into the studio. Of the rosebuds, by the way, jewellery makers, there's two. two. There's two available. Mm. But if you've just tuned in, we brought you. The, we launched the industrial collection. There's five left of the bracelet. Uh, okay, I didn't know there was any left. I'll be adding to, adding to my order there. Yeah, I know. I want one. <laughs> I'll be adding to my order, jewellery makers. That's... A, a whisper under 12 grams of solid sterling silver in those. Well, that's another two gone, isn't it? So technically, there'll only be three left if we can yeah, get if we get one it. each. Yeah, absolutely. One. I don't know about the earrings, if there's any of the earrings left. Literally a couple. So I would, I would definitely be checking out, guaranteeing your success on those. Amazing. 11.8 grams of solid sterling silver every person bar one has checked out on the bracelet doesn't that speak volumes amazing 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 kathy in west yorkshire you can do it but again you've got two ladies here in the studio of the earrings there's six left i can't believe this price of the earrings i literally i'm getting my phone out can't believe that price 30, I was not expecting that, Ross, no, at all. I wasn't. Unbelievable jewellery makers. Make sure you are checking out, because again, Tip of the Iceberg, one of the newest, most exciting collections, I think, that jewellery maker have actually put together, all inspired by the hardware collection um, by... Uh, Tiffany's and co absolutely loving that big investment again and you want that investment of precious metal because otherwise if it was hollow a it wouldn't last but also that's not really emulating the strength behind no. the inspiration of the design itself and you want the um, weight don't yeah oh love yeah. it love it love it now just before we dive into the wall of fame we have three chains to bring you so if you wanted to wear it with your early bird that, that, that hardware collection from mm. the pearl we do have three amazing chains now these are all 20 inches pardon Lawrence bring them out so you've got the texture oh, I love these yes I love these too absolutely love these that one in the center is amazing yeah very hot right now yeah and it really isn't going anywhere well. any mm. really heavy we love it. silver we'll do this in two two price crashes uh, so you've got 150 centimetres, is that right? Of sterling silver. 150 centimetres. So from your paperclip chain. Metre and a half. To your long link chain. Very Monica Veneda. Yeah, that's my mm. favourite, Ross. To this one. Quite Tiffany's. 18 grams of solid sterling silver they're all 20 inches you do need to add a class to these but that's quite easy peasy yeah. should we do a mad deal shall we let's do it £49.99 
That's for all three, not one, all three. I would be putting this on my hardware collection. Yeah, of course. You know, look at that. Yeah, that looks lovely together, doesn't it? Gorgeous. Because yeah. that is quite hardware vibes, isn't yeah. it? Their chain was, it wasn't this, their, you know, the, the one chain, the double over one, wasn't all like this, was it? It was more like this. So you could recreate it. How many do we have of these, Roscoe? 20 available opportunities, jewelry makers. We're at 49.99. That's for all three. Effectively, 150 centimeters. Um, we've got your wall of fame coming up next. Um, and then, uh, so uh, yeah, a very, very, very speedy break. And then just after that as well, we'll also have um, um, Dave with your old mech. So do not go anywhere. Your pieces after this. Welcome back, jewelry makers. I've just realised, like, uh, Lauren is kind of like hovering in the background. I think she's hovering for like the jewelry. <laughs> she's got a beady eye on you. <laughs> Sorry, I'll distract her. It's okay. Do you want to start us off? Yes, with all of please. Them? Take it away. I really like these. These are really clever. No idea how you make them. Here we oh. go. Yeah, sorry, oh. <laughs> I don't know why our printer's having a funny five ah, minutes. Okay, so we have 953, nine, we'll get it out, Vera Burney. Um, Hello all at JM, I created the attached a few years ago. All elements were from JM. Seed bees also di are so diverse and I love this spiky bracelet, so punk. Good luck to all entrants. Loving that. Clever. Well done, Vera. I've got a beautiful pair of earrings from Kerry Longshore. Hello, Kerry, you're number 954. And Kerry says, hi all, here is my entry today's wall of fame. I've made a pair of 925 sterling silver earrings using Tiffany Opal, ooh, and Swarovski four millimeter bicones, all purchased from yourselves. I've made quite a few pairs of these um, using different colored bicones, but these are my favorite. Um, good luck to everyone who enters. They're gorgeous. Well done, Kerry. I love Tiffany Opal as well. Mind out too. Yeah, Mind I out. love those. Um, so I've got 955, that's Joe Hall. Morning all, blue sky today, heating on yesterday, snow tomorrow. I know. Oh, it's bizarre, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, Amethyst nuggets, your bicones, memory wire and findings. I don't particularly like it, but a friend saw it and loved it. So I shall give her the necklace, but the earrings are too big. Wonder if I can turn them into a bracelet. Lovely that. Yeah, but you could actually. Yeah, but yeah, I like that. Love I love a bit of fluoride. Yeah. It's very, very summery. Um, I have a beautiful collection here from Jude Ryan. Hello, Jude. Uh, you're number 956. And Jude says, good morning all. Here is my latest make. It's a mystic coated agate set. I graduated the colours to match my latest shirt, uh, latest t-shirt uh, purchases ready for my holiday. Sorry, I missed off the tea then. Um, I love my jewelry. I, I love that jewelry maker enables us to match and coordinate my jewelry mm. to my clothing, and that I can personalise my outfits. Yes, it's amazing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I normally know. We're you very do, privileged. Normally you do it the other way around, so, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> normally it's you buy your clothes around your jewelry. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you're right there, Jude. Well, good luck to you. You're number nine hundred and fifty-six. I love that blue. Okay, so I've got nine five seven. 
Barbara Hewitt. Uh, hi, my my make this week is a Mark inspired necklace with pearls and CVs, all bought from JM. Best to all. Love it. Very cute. Amazing. Keep I those entries coming in, jewelry makers. The draw happens on a Wednesday. Um, oh, is oh. it your birthday, Dan? Ah, oh, do you know what he said earlier on? Am I old at 27? Nice one, Dan. <laughs> Old enough. Somebody asked you yesterday if you're old enough to vote. Yes, I'm old Barely. <laughs> um, amazing. Now, coming up, jewellery makers, the most beautiful translucency. And it's it literally, I wonder if this is the first time today. Sorry, um, sorry, Dan, I'm just going to move this for one minute because I want to show you how that centre part, can you see, literally moves. You've got the circle of heaven in the centre. Ah, oh, Charlie, that's absolutely beautiful. I, 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 I really didn't do much. You did. You set it in gorgeous precious metal. And that's, you, you know, you framed it. And, you know, you go into, a, into a, an art gallery and you say, you say what well, you were saying that Natalie did the other mm. day, didn't you? You go and look at a Vincent van Gogh. Or you go and look at a, uh, the Mona Lisa, whatever it might be. They're in a frame, aren't they? And so it's as important as the actual Aww, artistry itself. Thank you very much. Um, well. That's absolutely incredible. And jewelry makers, you will get. Can I just mm, show sorry, that? Yes. Um, with this project, you will get Charlie's instructions. Which so do I have to be sort of a, um, a skillful jewelry maker? Do I have to have? No. Or is it something that I can progress towards? No, maybe? you can definitely. I mean, if you're even just uh, dipping your toe in it, you can definitely because of the way I've done it. I've You'll, you'll see when you see in the instructions, sometimes people will prepare their prongs before they solder them on when it's a double prong setting. So there's a prong on the front and the back. So actually this uh, bezel around the outside, like Elle says, is like a frame. It's not actually mm. supporting it. The prongs on, are on the front and the back. And because I've done the prong work after I've soldered the yeah. claws, you will find it really easy. Wow. Yeah, you, you can do this. And of course, um, everything that you need, um, so for it, saws, pliers, solder setup, burnishes, all those things. Estimated time, that surprised me, an hour. Well, do you know what? It looks really complicated. It's not, and once you, if you, if you get this um, project, read through it first. Yeah. Then do it. Mm -hmm. you'll, it you'll, you'll have it done in an hour. Wow. Yeah, no problem. Okay, jewelry makers, it's happening just after the break. We've got wonderful Dave stepping into the studio as well. Um, I told you it was a weekend not to miss. Friday has been absolutely amazing and it's still not done because you've got one of the most exciting Olmec, Guatemalan Olmec Jadeite carvings, one of the most beautiful we've ever commissioned. 100 available. Um, it genuinely is like our birthday. Happening after this, don't go anywhere. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker.
Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. know that we simply could not have an opulence weekend without this gentleman to launch the beautiful Guatemala jade height. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's Dave. Thank you. Um, good morning or good afternoon. Um, this is super exciting for, for us to have one, the sheer size mm. of this Guatemala material, but two, the fact that this is, you know, your certified IC type jadeite. So we are I'm just going to level with every single collector that's tuned in. Um, it is distinctly different from the other grades that we've had to do. Now, whereas before, of course, we've been able to get a light passing through the jade, because jade in, in you know, gem quality jade is a semi-opaque material. But to get icy grade, you have to have a level of translucency that we don't usually get. Or if we do, it's by chance. Every single one of these is ice grade. Mm. Now, we don't buy ice grade Guatemala material. We're not offered it. Um, we sometimes get a couple of pieces. If we buy a hundred of something, there might be a couple in there that would that would certify mm. as as um, ice grade. Yeah. But to have the whole quantity today as ice grade Guatemalan is exciting. Um, I'm over the moon to be here. Um, the reason we don't get offered this, even as one of the, the the biggest jadeite buyers in the Western world, is because the Chinese market love this material. So the the Guatemalan material we get uh, get is rare. Is beautiful, is type A, is natural, but it is obviously the material that China don't want. Yeah. Right? China have a, an extraordinarily high benchmark for jadeite. It is a gemstone that has been valued for millennia yeah. in the Far East, and, and they have a far better understanding of it than we do. And with that understanding, there is a level of value that is assigned to it. That in the West, although you and I might love it, 
the reality is we don't love it as much as the Chinese do, yeah. right? Um, and, and the prices that they're willing to pay for the ice grade material is, is by far and away a million miles away from what we would. Mm -hmm. um, and that's simply why we don't even get to see it. It's not even like we turn it down. Um, and there's a lot of jade out that I get offered that is just too expensive to make work for us. You know, I just have to say, unfortunately, and it's not even like with other gemstones where we can barter. I know that in China, they're just going to pay it. So They'll it's not like, can you just reasons. make it a little bit more affordable? Can we hit this price point? So, no, because we can actually increase the price here yeah. without the, the having to ship it and, and you know all the trouble that goes into doing that, yeah. with paying duty, with customs. It's a headache for them. And they, sometimes they, they allow us certain opportunities because of the volume that we're able to buy. But that primary market is on the doorstep. Mm -hmm. We just don't forget we are just extraordinarily lucky with anything that we get yeah. that comes from the Far East. Now, you might be saying, well, this is, this is Guatemalan. It is, it is Guatemalan. This doesn't border China in any way. But the reality is all the material is mined by the Chinese now. Yeah. And all the material goes to China. You know, newsflash, that level of carving can't be done in Guatemala. That level of carving can't be done in Idar Obstein. And literally going to Idar Obstein in the next few weeks, they don't work with Jadeite. It is a very different skill set. You know, if we look at it and we're really naive, we go, well, carving is carving, cutting is cutting. No, it's not. It's completely different. Mm. There are diamond cutters that never cut amethyst. Uh, and uh, a gentleman that will cut, um, Glenn Lehrer, for instance, has never cut a diamond in his life. In his life. Really? An award-winning award artist uh, working for some of the biggest jewelry houses in the world. You know, works with sapphires, works with agates, all manner of wonderful parade tourmalines, exquisite gemstones. He's never cut a diamond, oh. right? Because you are dealing with a completely different skill set. Yeah. And, and that's why you know, many of the, the colored gemstones that we bring you will be cut in Jaipur. There's a huge cutting industry. All diamonds are cut in Mumbai, Surat, or Antwerp, right? Mm. Because that's where that industry exists. Now, it, they can carve uh, jade in Guatemala, but they carve it in a very rudimentary way. It's what we would consider tourism grade. Yeah. If you was to go to Central America, if you go to Guatemala, and if you're very fortunate enough to have been there, you will see in their local stores, you know, cabochons or, or carved jade. And again, it will be low grade. It will be, it will be low grade because even in Guatemala, the good material is exported to China where they pay the highest price points. That's what Guatemala want. If you're mining your material, you want to get the most money for it, but the most money is in China. So the reality is this may as well just be mined in China because that's where all the good material goes. Now, this was rediscovered in the, the, the late 70s, early 80s. It was lost for hundreds of years. And for a long time, China saw it as like a subpar material. It wasn't good enough for their market. Um, it wasn't like an inverted snobbery. It wasn't because it wasn't Burmese. It was literally because it wasn't the grade they wanted. Okay. It's like if, if they uncovered a, a new tanzanite mine tomorrow, the reality is, if it only produced single A grade included material, we're not just going to buy it because it's Tanzanite. No, we true. want quad A, we want triple A. Yeah. And so that's what we demand, that's what we want, that's what we've been exposed that's to. That's a great analogy. Yeah, but it's true, true. Like, yeah. there's a very clear grading scale there. Yeah. Now, they still took this material and they carved it and they cut it and you know, it was primarily an export jade. Right? They exported it to the rest of the world. Like, if you want jade, there you go, but you're not getting our Burmese material, our ultra fine grade material. And that was until the mines in Burma closed. Now they didn't just automatically lower their standards and go, well, we can't get Burmese, so we'll just take what they considered the crap from Guatemala. The reality is they, they still just raised the price of Burmese material. They're like, we still want that material, we can't replace it. So the price has gone up, we'll buy dyed material, we'll buy polymer impregnated material. The only reason that they are embracing Guatemalan jade now is because a lot of those um, enterprises, a lot of those mining uh, conglomerates identified a gap in the market. Mm. And they said, well, all we know what to do is to mine jadeite. Let's um, carve it and process it. Where's the jadeite now? Well, the only jadeite mines, the only possibility, the only chance is in Guatemala. So they went over there. And for like six months, they did exploratory, exploratory kind of uh, analysis of the area. They went all down the Montagu Valley and they were searching for, you know, gem bearing veins and, and you know, is, is there quality jadeite here? And they started finding, you know, top material or what they perceived to be a better grade. And that's when they started plowing millions or billions, some people have estimated, into that economy really? in buying swathes of mining land and mining it. It took years, a couple of years, 
for the good material to make it into China. Okay. And now this has been embraced by the Chinese. It's still not the material that we usually bring you. That's the material they're happy to export. But this material is the material they want. And this is an article from this year, okay, from this spring. Yeah. And they talk about this ice jade, this blue Guatemalan jade. Wow. This is the GIA talking about it. And they say, you know, from the 13th century to the early 21st century, the jadeite jade sold in China came exclusively from Myanmar, from yeah. Burma. Um, the use of jadeite jade in Central America can be tracked back to 1500 BC, um, but the specific source was not identified until more recently. In 1952, Robert Leslie, a researcher, a researcher at the Smithsonian Institution, first found detrial uh, nodules of jadeite in Guatemala. Then you had Foshag, who, who kind yeah. of did the map that was the, the writing is found yeah. in the Smithsonian Library. Over the next 50 years, geologists and locals discovered more jadeite mines there. And after 2000, small amounts of Guatemala material began to enter the Chinese market. Okay. So the mineral composition of the different varieties of Guatemala, Guatemalan jadeite varies greatly. So not all jade is jade, not all jade is good jade. You know, mm. you, as we, we know, you can get lots of different grades of jadeite. And they said, according to its main composition, it can be divided into three categories. Jadeite jade, omphacite jade, and then there's like a jade, omphacite jade mix. The major mineral of these three categories is jadeite, omphacite, and mixed phase jadeite, omphacite. Now, respectively, is what they're saying. The color range of Guatemalan jadeite includes light to medium green, white, purple, and blue. Um, a lot of that material is opaque. And then at the bottom, they say the Guatemalan jadeite jade that was initially sold in the Chinese market was very coarse, coarse yeah. which, let's be honest, is the material we bring you usually. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you can get a light through it, but it is coarse in comparison to the material that looks like resin, that's so pure yeah, like, and clean. Yeah, um, like glass. Yeah, like glass, like glass. And they say, you know, it wasn't transparent enough to be considered gem quality. Consequently, Guatemala was thought to produce low quality material. Okay. Okay. But this has changed recently. These vivid green, uh, semi-transparent, as well as pale green, translucent jadeite jade from Guatemala has entered the Chinese market. And this wow. started to occur around 2022. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And this is the grade we have for you today. Yeah. So the new material came in just before the ban came into effect. This is where they banned the mining of the Guatemala material. Yeah. Uh, because of that, that monumental mask. discovery um, of, of uh, an ancient Mayan tomb. Um, but they say it's the best crystal jade that we've seen. Originally, it was traded too low, but now with the lack of mining means huge premiums are paid for this uh, mm. ice jade. Mm. This is the first time intaglio style carving has been attempted in jadeite because it's transparent enough to appear like a holograph floating in the water. And then they go on to say, I'm not going to say this, but they say it's investment material for the price that you paid. Yeah. Right. We have one opportunity. Now, I've done in total, I will have done two of this new material. So I did one on Gemporia, yeah. which is an intaglio carving, which is where they carved the figure into the back of it and it appears to float, Wow. done by hand. And then we've gone one step further for you here at Jewelry Maker, but the, the payoff, or well, the problem with that is, over on uh, Gemporia with the intaglio, and we told the same story, we talked about this new material, this ice grade, this transparency, this holographic material, we had 250 okay, yeah, quantity. quantity. Okay, so we, this is how we divide it up. It was smaller, it was uh, a lot of money, obviously, because intaglio carving just isn't done in jade. Mm. Um, like the Italians used to do it in different gemstones like Chalcedony. We have got right now the moving component in this piece with the two dragons converging at the top. You can, you, you can see them, you see the two oh, dragons yes. at the top? So they're coming together. Then you've got this ancient kind of Chinese uh, money coin that is in the center, and that's free moving. Okay, yes. so that's never been removed from the jade, right? It's been carved in such a way that it can be moving within the body of the jade. That's incredible, isn't yeah, it? So you are, you are getting the biggest piece of this ice Guatemalan jade, right? Yeah. That the Chinese market have fallen in love with. You are getting the, the most detailed level of artistry. The, the highest premium that one can put onto jade is this level of carving. And you're getting the biggest carat weight. Mm. But the caveat is... The catch-22, if you will, is the fact that this, unfortunately, is a tiny quantity. Double figures. Okay, it's all we have okay. for our collectors. But, you know, as with everyone else, we can't currently mine this material. Now, I, I know for a fact, I can assure you, this material is still in China, in Greater China. Because it's not like they just mine two pieces. So there is rough there. We've seen shards examined by the GIA. But the reality is we cannot 
pay the price that they put they, on this well, material now. Well, yeah, like think they said, they said you paid too low for it. This is when they were talking about the intaglio. They said for, for what you paid for it, you can consider this investment material. What they're saying is the price has gone up so much already that it is an investment. You know, that, that's the reality. Now, that was in uh, conjunction with the, that is, they were talking about the intaglio there. This is the biggest piece. Yeah, so L, by the way, as you know, usually I have my big jade torch, that really powerful yeah. jade torch, which is designed to go through a jade boulder, that, that ionized skin, that oxidized skin on the outer layer, which is opaque. Um, that's, you know, we talk about people buying jade out blind. This is with a phone light. Yeah. That's which... with a phone light. That's how icy this is. And you've seen how thick it is. In that wonderful recording that we've sh shared with you, you can see how thick this material is. This is going to be a very special, beautiful carving. Now, you've seen the two materials that the Chinese people love from Guatemala that have made their way into the market very recently. Because before, like they said, they saw it as low grade inferior. Yeah. And they were right, by the way. But the ice grade and then this blackish green kind of onphasite jade from Guatemala, this is from fall 2023. So, you know, September, October. So the GIA are writing about it in, in both last autumn and this spring about these new varieties of ice grade jade. And they, they write about it here. They say, well, in recent years, this new kind of jade has entered the Chinese jewelry market. Um, where it's a type of fuishe jade uh, and they say prior to the availability of this uh, Chinese consumers had a negative impression of Guatemalan mm. material it was solely an export enterprise they would import it in carbon and then export it yeah yeah and they say however the recent emergence of this new high quality blackish green jade has attracted the attention of Chinese buyers that hasn't happened since the 1980s since the rediscovery of this material yeah it is only because the Chinese are over there and they know how to find good grade jade that this is making its way into the market. And we, I've, I'll be straight up with you. I've got two pieces. It's hard enough to get the Guatemalan jade out that you're used to because of the ban on mining. And the price is creeping up for that. But I've had two pieces. One was 250 quantity on Gemporia earlier this year. It was the first time we've ever seen an intaglio in jade. It was much smaller, maybe half the size, maybe a third of the size, if I'm honest, extraordinarily thin not as thick as that, it's, it's known as the eggshell carving technique. Mm. And it had the intaglio placed in, in the back of it. Wow. So that when you looked at it from the front, it appeared to, to float within it. This is, goes even further. It's like triple the size, at least double the size. It is at least double the thickness. So the carrot weight is huge. And then you have the two dragons carved into it, which is enough anyway. But then to have the, the level of transparency that constitutes as icy jade eye. And it's not just the two in the studio that will do that. All of this is of that course, certified yeah. icy grade, which of we've course. never been able to say before. And then that central portion is free moving. This is an exciting, a truly exciting opportunity for the collectors that are joining us today. And I'm going to just, again, caveat that with, we don't have enough. I'll be honest, when I did this on Gemporia, we didn't have enough and we had 250. Um, they talk about the slice from this new boulder. That's you know the, the material that yours would have come from. Oh man. Right, and in the rough, it doesn't look like much, but believe me, they know because yeah. of the level of crystallization, how exciting this is. Um, we will not and have not seen Guatemala material of this grade. No, immediately, that you know, we recognize that yeah, immediately. I'm glad that we do. It means yeah. that we're doing our job right. You know, our level of understanding has increased you know, yeah. tenfold. Yeah. And we can ease, not just the carving or the color, but, you know, we're looking at this going, yeah, there's something very, very different about it. So this and is going to be a very short auction. Well. Very short auction for you, but a very important auction for you. I'm gonna ask if we can give you a 30 second clock to make this fair for everyone. Uh, that means in 30 seconds, and we've, we've started it already, in 30 seconds, we're going to open this auction up and the floodgates are truly going to It's gonna going go to crazy, open. yeah. Because we've been talking about this piece, Dave, all morning. Yeah, I mean. You know, just, just look at it, we've never seen, yeah. you know. We haven't, I mean, to do that with the phone line, in yeah. the studio environment. Yeah, And for you to be able to see that lighting. through our, yeah, and, and through you'd be able to see that through our cameras, yeah. which are extraordinary. They're archaic, they're old, aren't they? They are, cameras? especially ours, yeah. yeah. So you are witnessing <laughs> the most exciting jade opportunity. It is available right now, well over 100 carats, type A, Olmec, icy blue, 
jadeite, rotating coin. Yeah, it's amazing. This is not uh, uh, components that have been put together. This is one piece of rough jade, where that central portion has been painstakingly carved by Just hand onto this smooth rail on the internal of this jadeite that allows that coin to move as freely as it is doing right now sorry i've just realized i took that that, that one away from you but That's oh right. my goodness and it literally to get that yeah, fluidity I mean, you, can, you can see the sheer size of it just here as, yeah. as i hold this you know you can see how large this is how impressive this is it's it's an important moment for our collectors and you can see the light passing through it and you can see the depth of that color and we're going to make this an affordable opportunity which is absolutely crazy with all that meaning as well yeah wow. you've got the, the the two dragons you know the, this is important it's a symbol of protection it's yeah. a symbol of power of of rank of authority um it, uh. it is the, the the story of china in one incredible piece rupal in middlesex has messaged in saying hi dave i i actually have the carving from jempori it truly is a masterpiece the the carving is floating in the jade mind-blowing and now i've managed to get this piece so rupal has the full collection there was only two he got the intaglio carving and now he's got this masterpiece and the problem is for our jewelry maker collectors one we have as much smaller opportunity but it is evident right now that our gem warrior collectors are tuned into of this course well, yeah right you know you're looking for the jade yeah and this is where the most exciting jade opportunity is right now california is on the phone lines multi buyers in hampshire rupal was the first person on the phone lines i've well got done, cumbria rupal. and east sussex uh susan you're there in essex this is one time in four years or two times including the piece that rupal mentioned there the intaglio and i wanted to be really honest i didn't want i didn't want to just cater to the jewelry maker audience i see us as one big jade absolutely yeah. and so i wasn't going to pretend that this is the only piece you've ever seen but rupal will tell you this is over twice the carrot weight. yeah, it's big yeah it, it is extraordinarily important to acquire this and those two exciting legacy pieces are available once this is over that's the end for our ice grade guatemala material oh, gosh and any and, and the current situation in the yeah. mine dave mm -hmm. you know obviously i know that you know we're looking at the finest grade mm -hmm. but is it looking likely like it's going to set up, it's going to start up again look, we don't I really know not, do we uh, no I, well, i'm not an archaeologist i'm not a historian yeah um, i don't know how long these processes take all i know is that there has been no um no developments in terms of news or information with the, that have been shared with the miners right. from the, the Guatemalan government. So we don't know. I mean, could it be next month? That's highly unlikely that they resume mining there. Yeah. Could it be next year? I, I have everything crossed that it is. Yeah. But it seems strange to me that there, that there has been no further kind of... Update. Yeah, a press release or whatever saying, right, you mm. know, this is incredible. Okay, we're, now we're going to allow you guys to move in in maybe three months or four months once the team have finished so we don't know if there's any end in sight I, I guess it also depends very much on the fact that you know what what if further um you know historic pieces well, are discovered in and around well, which that's, means uh, like, that's more likely yeah because as we said and i knew it when the news came out in february when you find an uh, what they describe as an ancient king's tomb an ancient mayan king's tomb well a king has to have a kingdom yeah. Right. So I knew that there would be further discoveries, and it's turned out that that, that is right. Yeah. You know, they are uncovering this kind of ancient sort of civilization, wow. this small kingdom, um, as they widen out the 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 archaeological dig, and I don't know how much further that goes on. Yeah. yeah we, exactly. We, we, it's a very very poorly uh, understood part of history. You know, yeah. whereas I, I always say, you know, when we talk about the Egyptians, when we talk about Rome, when we talk about the Etruscans, when we talk about Europe in, in, in some respects, people have continued to live there. Mm. So this history has never been lost, right? It's just developed. Mm. You know, the Roman Empire really is still around today. Mm. You know, the, the Egyptians is still around today. Mm. You know, when we talk about the, 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 the civilization, the Mayans, the Aztecs, they kind of disappeared. And so there's, there's this gap in our history. This was the, the kind of um, the Smithsonian coming out in February of this year, saying these archeologists have discovered a 1,700 year old jade mask inside the tomb of a Mayan king. And they found rare mollusk shells, carvings, and other funeral offerings. It was a ceremony that took place. And you know, this is very, very exciting to, to learn more about this history. Of course, yeah. 
but it's not great really troubling get... for the jade industry. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. I'm going to start at a, a price um, that we're going to be nowhere near, by the way. And I'm just encouraging any of you, if you want to have, let's just say it, the, the, the best piece of Guatemalan jade in your yeah. collection, uh, certainly if you've exclusively bought your collections from us here, then this is, I'm saying it, it's the best Guatemalan we've had. And yeah. so I am excited to be able to offer it to you, but I'm worried as well because there is only 100 people or less than that that can own this. There's about it's 90. absolutely gorgeous, isn't mm. it? That's why I'm kind of rotating it. Ross, wonderful. this sounds ridiculously high, so I understand that. Even for us here at Gem uh, Jewelry Maker and Gemporia where we do go off the market price or whatever, but I have to illustrate just how much the market has changed. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we talk about China, this is low. Like the price I'm gonna call for us, we're like, oh my God, that sounds crazy. But there's a reason we never get offered this material because we don't pay these prices. Okay. But for something like this, 115 carats, taking into account the level of artistry, taking into account the transparency, I'm gonna start you off at 10,000 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Remember, I've, seen, I've been offered like 55 points of jade eye yes. for 4,000 pounds. Yes. This is 115 carats. Now, you are gonna be nowhere near that today. This, in fact, I'm gonna say this, even though it's the best Guatemalan jade that we have offered our collectors, and we are so excited and proud and privileged to be able to bring it to you, it's not even gonna be the highest price that we've ever sold Guatemalan material for. Really? Yeah, and, and that is because when we, when we get a deal, we pass it on. We don't go, well, actually, if it's the best, we should probably charge the highest price. We have this arbitrary uh, system where we go, if we paid that, well, this is it, tiny little profit margin, and that's what we offer it to you at. I agree it makes no sense, but it is going to, it's the reason we're so successful, that you always know you're gonna get the best deal with us. We're always gonna look after you. And right now, as we stare at this incomparable, unparalleled Guatemalan jade eye, and let's say it, masterpiece. It is a masterpiece, yeah. I'm telling you, it's not even gonna be the most expensive jade eye wow. we have sold here at the channel. Well done to everyone on the finance. You have got five interest-free split payments. It's, it's wonderful to me to see so many of our regular kind of Jade members, our Jade club uh, collectors that have managed to get involved. You know, yeah, I want it to go to you guys. To want, and this, that's the trust I'm talking about from yeah. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, even though right now on, on our screen it reads 10,000 um, pounds, you've said, oh, well, I trust you, Dave, or I just trust you, jewelry maker. We have to start somewhere fine. I know we only pay the final low deal. And do you know what? I'm gonna buy three of them. And that's the level of trust. That's why we have that arbitrary system where we go, well, you know what, so what if it's the best? If we got the best deal, we're just gonna pass it on. Mm. We're not gonna appraise this, in, appraise this internally and go, well, guys, I think everyone will understand that this is gonna be a premium. We're not, we're saying we got this crazy deal and we are going to pass it on. So again, I'm gonna give you a 30 second clock. I'm gonna, I really feel like this is gonna shock even our, our, our longest, uh, serving kind of jade eye clientele, the ones mm. that have been with us the longest, yeah. that, that are used to the incredible deals that we do. I think this is going to shock you guys. So I've got, I, I've got no clue mm -hmm. what where this is heading because you are the audience right now. Yeah, you you are the collectors um, in the studio. That's sometimes why I like to you know keep a few people in the blind. You know, not not to know I'm what's going on. completely in the blind because I want to I want to understand you know how you guys feel. So we're at ten thousand pounds. We are also giving you five interest-free split payments, which means, okay, we appreciate this has got to be considered. Even by jewelry maker standards, we don't often get five interest-free split payments. So this is opulence weekend, so we save yeah. this for this moment. Um, a third of the stock has gone, Dave. Yeah, well, I'm going to take nine thousand pounds off the price out. What? We're going to nine nine nine. Casual. Yeah, casual, absolutely. But like you said, a third of the stock is gone. I see, I see, I see Guatemalan jade blue jade wow. type A, 100% natural, massive carat weight, and that level of artistry. By the way, we are nowhere near done, and that is something that our multi buyers, our collectors know. And I don't mean, okay, well, it's, we're going to take hundreds off. I mean, I, I think you're going to be questioning if this is even real with the deal that we go to. Um, and it is. Oh, and the end result, Dave, oh, as well. I love this. I love it's it. It's absolutely insane, yeah. isn't it? Framed to perfection. Yeah. As like every masterpiece should be. Look at that. And you get the instructions, Charlie's instructions oh, with this amazing. purchase. Did you create this? Oh, love it. I had no idea what I'd have said earlier. Uh, yeah. I, oh, my God. So we Charlie's are. Charlie's amazing creation. Well, Charlie's done an, in, an incredible job. Um, absolutely love 
the aesthetic of this piece. Um, it's all I, about the jade, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. But also as well, I love the fact that it's not just some, you know, CAD designed, you know, uh, characterless, character, yeah. characterless uh, setting. Mm. I love the fact that it has that warmth to it. It has that, you know, the, the jadeite is handmade. I love yeah. the frame being handmade. I love yeah. everything about it. And uh, it's clear that you guys too as well. So you are going to get the instructions on how, how to unfathomably do this. you get to create this masterpiece, which is sensational. Um, we're at 999. You've got five interest free split payments. We're not stopping there. I'm going to give you another 30 second clock. But remember, there is a lot of collectors that know what we do here, that trust us, that, that get on the phone lines early, that multi-buy. And I hope to God that you are one of them. Wow. Literally double card. So special. It's such a tactile piece of jewellery, yeah. this as well. Yeah. Oh, amazing, Dave. Oh, it is amazing now, but it's going to get ridiculous. Uh, it's it's going to... Like, I'm glad that some of our collectors have, have trusted us as early as they have. Like Elizabeth, who said, you know, I'll take three of these. Hazel, who said, I'll take two of these. Because all of you are actually going to try and do that. But it's the ones that did it early enough that you Yeah, get to that do. are going to be successful So, in Ross, We've... I'm going to take this straight down. Well, forget it. I'm going to half the price. I'm going to go to 4 What? For the best Guatemalan jade we've had in the studio. For the one that the phone light passes through. With that moving central component. And again, even though we've just halved the price again, I'm telling you at this moment, this pivotal moment, I'm nowhere near done on this price. We are so far away from the final deal on this. Um, that, I, I, as I said, I think many of you are going to want to do what Elizabeth and Hazel and Moira have done. But you may just leave it too late. We have double figure quantity. We have a lot of collectors joining us right now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Don't you want to be way. part, you want to be part of our opulence event. And this is one of the most significant to start pieces. The, start yeah. this weekend. Absolutely. And it's going to get better and better and better. Yeah. And for those of you that are questioning that, thinking, well, it can't get better than this. Join us tomorrow. Join us Sunday. Because what we're going to be bringing you it's insane. is shocking. Yeah, insane. I said at the beginning of the show, Dave, if you've got any plans this weekend, scrap them. Yeah, absolutely. Draw a line through it. Well, isn't it amazing that you, you can, you, we can be part of your plans? Yeah. You know, we have the app. True. We're, we're on the web. You know, you can take us with you on the go. I think that is the game changer. Um, just don't want to miss. Like, just keep an eye on it. Um, and, and good luck to every single one of you. Alison's got it. Elizabeth has got it. Hazel's got it. Alan's got it. Elaine's got it. Moira's got it. Gigi all the way from California's got it. Rupal, you were the first one. Maker in Cumbria's got it. Marcia's got it. Maker, you're there. Maker, Maker. Trina, you're there. Susan, you're there. Yeah. It's going to sell out, isn't it, Dave, for well, sure? Yeah, it's going to sell out. And... That. You you are expecting something special, and I promise you, I'm not going to let you down. I think I'm going to surpass your Alison. expectations, if I'm honest. Alison getting two as well. Yeah, a lot of people multi buying. It's that blue translucency mm -hmm. though as yeah. well. As good as it gets, for me, that is as good as it gets. Just stunning. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, force anyone into this, but I'm gonna give you a 60 second clock, not 30 seconds. I'm gonna give you, it's a big decision. You got five interest free split payments. We are going to do a, a crazy deal. It's going to set the tone for the whole event, for the whole weekend. The, you, these are the kind of deals that you can expect. Not only is it the best uh, collections we have bought to you, we're going to make them affordable. How, how can we take yep. the finest quality yes. Guatemalan and Jade that we've mm -hmm. seen? Yep to an affordable price tag. Because if, it, like I always say, we always stand by, I've been saying it for years and years, over a decade now, when we are exposed to a great deal, when we get a great deal, we don't just go, great, we've got that, we've got that so cheap, uh, but you guys don't have to know, we can raise the prices. We don't, we go, oh, yeah. we're, we're thinking of you guys, when we get a great deal, we we'll go, they are gonna love this. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get watch excited. The fan line. So that's what we get excited about. I, we're all thrilled right now of what we're about to make happen. Like, make no mistake about that. Could we end it at 499? Absolutely. All day long, like, yeah. Right now, there is so many people in the queue. But we're not. And this is why we have uh, attained this level of trust. Where collectors are coming in and getting involved. We're going from 499. I said we're still nowhere near done here. I'm going from 499 right now. And no one knows how low no we're about to go. Near. Right? No one knows. And I'm excited about saying this. Your deal today, 115 carats, type A, natural, certified ice grade, phone light passes through this, 
And then you've got that moving component with the two dragon heads at the top, the ancient traditional coin of prosperity from Greater China in the center. Well, I'm going to do it for 199. What? And I said, look, I don't Stop. want to force anyone. I don't want to rush anyone. My I didn't say 30 seconds. Then. I said, look, let me give you 60 no. seconds. Let me take this to 199. Five interest free split oh, payments also. This is your moment. You need to, to be on the phone lines or the app or the website or whatever way you wish to do it. My advice would be to use one of those online methods because you don't have to physically yeah. queue. You can get this over the line immediately. Alison, you're there. Another Alison's got two. Alan's there. Elizabeth has got three. Elaine's there. Moira's there. Gigi's there. Hampshire's got two. Cumbria's there. Middlesex is there. Hampshire, Hertfordshire, Greater London, Merseyside. We've got East Sussex, Essex, mm. Greater Manchester, New Jersey. Collectors all over. Belgium, you're there. Essex, Neil, you're there. A lot of collectors join us right now we are truly at 199 which makes this under 40 pounds 80. under 40 pounds on your <laughs> it's crazy uh, it but this crazy. is what you can expect from us look at the level of yes. intricacy that we're experiencing in this jadeite and the and the articles you were just showing there yeah. from the gia yes you know all, I see all in the recent all in, recent yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's from this spring sourcing. where they talk about this ice jade from guatemala it's exciting. I mean, those are That's not the colour they're huge referencing, lights. is it? It's no, the they're translucency. talking about that transparency, that translucency. Mm -hmm. Then they talk about that blackish green material yeah. last autumn that yeah. has made its way into the market that the Chinese can't get enough of. I'm at £39.80 for this if you want it. I told you it wasn't even going to be the most expensive piece of Guatemalan jade it you've should ever be. seen. But it is the best. Yeah. Make no bones about it. Make no mistake. Debbie, yeah. you've got it. Neil's got it. Uh, Maker in Hertfordshire's got it. And there's a Una, you're in the queue. Anne's in the queue. Florence is there. Amy's there. Uh, Marcia, you're in the queue. Trina, you're there. Susan, you're there. Amazing. You're in a queue, but you can be successful. You can still do it. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed or that you've missed out or you've left it too late. You haven't, but you have to be taking advantage of the deal when it's presented like this. And do you know what, do you know what I'm thinking, Dave? You don't yeah. even have to be a jewellery maker to work with something no, no, like no, this. No, no, no. Because with jade, whatever the location, it's literally very simple, isn't it? Yeah, you could lark course. said not All it. about the jade. Yeah. It's all about um, the jade. But if you are an established jewellery maker like our lovely Charlie, you could go for some beautiful craftsmanship like this. Right, because this is my final deal with you today. Can oh, I have a minute clock, goodness. please, guys? Not to close it out, even though it might well do that. I'm going to take it lower. I'm just going to do something a little bit unprecedented right now. A little bit crazy. I know this weekend's a, a huge weekend. I know yeah. we have England playing tomorrow. I know we've got the Euros. We? I know we've got the election results today. I appreciate you guys spending your time with us. And I want to highlight the fact of how good these deals are going to get. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to set the tone today. 40 seconds is on the screen. And I'm telling you, yes, we should be done. That, that clock in most instances would be red, right? It would be a race to ending yeah, the auction, absolutely. to it selling out. And still may be the case that in 26 seconds, we may only have a handful remaining, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna take this lower. I'm telling you, we're about to give you an even better deal. Didn't I say uh, moments ago, a lot of you are gonna wanna multi-buy, but a lot of you are unfortunately gonna leave it too late. Debbie, you're more than welcome. You said, thanks again, Dave, another amazing deal. Well, that was at 199. I'm going even better, Debbie. And all of you guys that are in the queue, make sure you are you know, checking out immediately. Ross, take this from 199 to 149. And, and look, we, we made an, an allowance. We said, look, let's make it five interest-free split payments. We know how pivotal this moment is. We don't want to price anyone out. We would love nothing more than all of our collectors to be able to get this. Now, we made it as affordable as we can. Yeah. We're making it as attainable as we can yeah, with those interest-free split payments that are £39 or whatever. We're going lower. We're going to 149 Wherever you are in the world, this is available and open to all of you. We're not discriminating. If you're in the trade and you want to buy 10 Go for it. I don't care. I just love the idea of being able to bring this to you and all of us being in awe of the fact that we've just made it that affordable. The, be well, the best quality that we've yeah. ever seen. And we've been, what, how long has it been since we've actually had your Guatemalan Jada? It's been a here? long time since we've had a new uh, moment of Guatemalan Jada. I think we've been working with it for about four years, yeah. three years. Okay. But this, this is the best we've had. This is Five interest-free split four payments years. as well. Yeah. And that 0% interest, you don't pay interest on any of those payments, which is unlike many other uh, uh, retailers out there. And right now it's under thirty pounds on those five. That's ridiculous. Pieces. Twenty pounds yeah. eighty. Twenty nine pounds eighty pence. Exactly. And remember, we Crazy. are we don't have an endless amount of these. I wish I had two hundred and fifty, especially going to this price. I wish I did. So I, then I could guarantee all of you one, but I can't do that. 
I guess I should point out, I know it's a very minor detail, yeah. but you know, um, it is with something as, as uh, um, exceptional as this, mm -hmm. it comes box like so. Yeah, no, um, we haven't even talked about that. No. Yes, it comes in that jade green box, yeah. which is beautiful, especially if you're looking to gift this for a special occasion. Maybe mm. that occasion isn't even until next year. Well, I can tell you right now, between now and then, you're not going to see anything like this. No. So it's about time you get it today. You put it away in a special place and you know you've got it. You can rest assured, you can go, yeah, yeah. I've got that exceptional piece. Maybe you're going to create the piece of jewellery. Uh, maybe you're going to leave it as oh, is. Gosh, how amazing is that? Well, Alison, who you mentioned multi-buying, she had two. She's now going, oh, you know what, I'll take three. Debbie, yeah, who, I had, don't blame Debbie you. who had one and messaging saying the price was amazing, has now got two. Yeah. Jeannie's got two. Hazel's got two. There's another collector with three. This is why I said to every single one of you, guys, I know you're going to want to multiply the final deal I have lined up. It's only those of you that are in early enough that have the 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 opportunity to do so can i just say as well looking at that photograph on the two yeah. pieces it, it's not the color that i'm talking about no, here. no um but of those two ice jade like guatemalan mm -hmm. pieces that yeah. are photographed right yeah. now this is a far more detailed and i can carving. tell you right now when they're taking that and you obviously there's a lot of light being shined on yeah, those pieces yeah, yeah. to expose and, and showcase that translucency they're not doing it with an iphone line no, no, like but they're, the they're not. They're, they're as well. doing it. Yeah, the, the carving. But you, we know the level of artistry here goes far beyond that. Yeah. Far beyond that. But it's not an easy task, and it's not widely available. That's why even at the GIA, probably the most notable, certainly the most well-known mm. lab uh, in the world, Gemstone Lab in the world, could only get pieces like that. Yeah, exactly. Which are pieces we bring to you on a routine basis. This is exceptional, though. Yeah. This is another amazing. level, indeed. Well, you look at you look at uh, Charlie's amazing piece here as well, yeah, setting that it. precious metal, and, and then I look at Guan Ying, and, and I'm thinking, why is that bail wonky? Yeah, the bail's wonky, but you've got oh, mm -hmm. unbelievable! It's about the jade. It's, it's all about, about the, jade. the jade. Even in the piece there yeah. on the left with the Guan Yin, you can see there's four prongs, one on the shoulders, one oh, just yeah, underneath. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just but, see yeah, that now. Again, it's just allowing it's about, the jade to speak. It's, yeah. it's just showcasing the jade. It is there primarily just to affix it to the neckline. Of course but it doesn't have to do anything special. It doesn't have to do anything different. It just has to allow that. that jade to speak for itself. Um, if you are on the phone lines, you can still be successful. I don't want you to think for a second you've missed out. No. Nope. You've left it too late. It's in a lot of baskets, a lot of baskets, but the baskets don't guarantee you get it. No. It doesn't actually mean anything. So if you were to call up right now and say, I want one of these, I can guarantee you one. Yeah. If you're gonna check it out, it's yours. It's the first to check out, not the first to put it in their basket. Twenty nine pounds. I can't 80. believe we're under thirty pounds on yeah. split pay, Dave. Yes. You know, like it, it, when we, first, I just remember the the first time ever seeing mm -hmm. Guatemalan jade, and we were yeah. all like, "Oh my goodness!" We were man, just it's so gorgeous. excited to have that gemstone with that phenomenal story. Yeah. You know, the the, the rediscovered lost it is, treasure it's, it's of cool the Mayans, story. of the Aztecs, of the Olmecs. Yeah. It was just exciting to have any piece, whatever grade it was. To know that that was in your collection was exceptional. Look how far we've come. Yeah. Like this is not, this is one of the best jades we've ever seen from any locale. Yeah. In true. terms of the carving, the artistry, the color, the translucency. Then to factor in yeah. that sensational uh, story. And, and, and the is, price has is, come down. Like I said, yeah. when we first introduced Guatemalan mm -hmm. jade, you were talking about individual stones, yeah, weren't we? And look, beyond, believe parcels. me, in the industry, the price has gone up. Yeah, like yeah. That's why we bring you less Guatemala material, but if an amazing deal presents itself, we leap on it, we take advantage. Yep. This is not available anywhere else. Please do your research, have a look. You know, what you can pay for the small beads, what you can pay for just rounds, what you can pay for maybe a bangle, or, or one of those carvings that the GIA is showcasing, like just a Guan Yin, a Buddha, whatever it may be. Right now, this level of detail and artistry isn't re really even known by the GIA. No, no. It Wow, yeah. I've never seen anything like this before, no, Dave. Exactly, I don't it's think many of us have. Um, Paul in Bristol, you've just managed to snag two of these. <laughs> so again, although London to us- London wants five. Yeah, well, we look at the, the phone lines and it looks so busy. We're being told a lot of those are just in baskets. So like as Paul just proved, who you didn't call, can, you you know, he didn't it. call until recently. He managed to get in and take two of these and that opportunity is available to you as well. Now I am gonna have to give you the minute clock to close this out. Yeah, of course. Because you know we don't have an endless supply of these. It was limited. Um, in this minute, you can take advantage of the deal on your screen, but I don't wanna oversell it. Victoria says, thank you, Dave. 
I didn't think I'd actually be able to afford this beautiful pendant. Thank you for bringing us such beautiful, unusual pieces. You're more than welcome, Victoria. This is why I said we get excited. Because I know if I saw this anywhere, I wouldn't think I could afford it. Um, Helen in East Riding of Yorkshire says, Hi guys, I've, I've just bought this as a ruby wedding, no. wedding anniversary present for my husband. Our anniversary is in April. Oh, how well, congratulations, early congratulations yes. for your wonderful ruby wedding anniversary and many, many more to come, I'm sure. Oh. Um, but what an incredible gift for your husband. Uh, Debbie says, Thanks again, Dave, another amazing deal. And it Debbie truly was the is collector. amazing. Debbie was the collector that said that seven minutes ago and was at 199. Yeah. And then Debbie said, Do You know what? I'll take another one if you're going to go that low. And we went to 149, Why you not? came back in, Debbie, and you doubled your order in, in, a, in a way doubling your saving. So well done to you. There oh, is look, still a queue. Tammy's got two as well. Well done to you. Congratulations. Oh, absolutely incredible. Um, all that detailing. Mm. Just phenomenal. Yeah, it is phenomenal. Now, can I just say, if you are, because Dave mentioned the amount of people that still have any baskets, but that being said, there's a hundred in baskets. How yeah. many have gone? Okay, less than 20. Yeah, so you still have an opportunity, a healthy opportunity. 20% left. Um, but good luck. Just yeah. to give you a heads up about tomorrow. <gasps> I have to. I pointed them out. The moment we came live, I was like, have you seen them? Bells? These are the craziest yeah. pearls. This is all natural color, huge sizes. Like you got your 10 mil in oh. the strand. You got your 14 mil uh, uh, rounds down here, near rounds in. And you get all of this tomorrow. Again, very small opportunity, 100% natural color. And um, I can't wait to talk to you about what's happening in the market and how we managed to get this so deal beautiful. for you. But this is what I'm saying. It's the opulence weekend. Mm. And this is the kind of level that you can expect. Uh, we're going to be here at 10 a.m. tomorrow to bring you this fantastic Aww. opportunity. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Absolutely. Al. Thank you for having like, me. Jewel Charlie, dropping. amazing work on the, the, the design and the execution. Yeah. And you guys will get that and understand exactly how to do it. So you're not going to want to miss out on that but yes. thank you for having me. well you get that with this purchase in incredible wow. uh, with wow. the purchase yeah, for that's free. crazy get it for that free insane. you know if you want to get a tutorial from anywhere else you usually have to pay quite a lot oh, God, of money yeah. for especially it especially with having to do that yeah charlie gives it for free wow there you go so we appreciate that charlie. all that knowledge thank you dave thank as you always so amazing uh, he's back with this lovely jewelry makers Can't tomorrow wait. yes and sunday as well and it get, just keeps building to this crescendo oh. like you think today's amazing i agree tomorrow you've seen what's coming sunday you're not going to believe it. Very limited. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Not saying it. No, we will. We will tell you about it tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow for these, and we'll tell you what's coming up Sunday as well. Incredible. Oh, Dave, once again, thank you. Thank you. Um, make sure you are checking out your baskets on this. So, um, Gloucestershire, Swansea, Bernadette, Jennifer, Surrey, Jay, Lisa, Lynn, London and Hertfordshire, Marchia, Hertfordshire Maker, and those are the names that I can see. And there's also a lot of collectors who are looking at twos, threes, um, and ones. Make sure you're checking out everybody, because we only have, well, we're in the teens now in terms of actual quantity. Charlie, again, beautiful silversmithing. Thank you. I mean, carving's amazing, isn't it? You just don't want to distract from it. But that's actually quite a traditional setting for you, Jade, actually, is where, you know, it's not overly ornate. We in the West like to go, throw a load of Pave <laughs> diamonds and bling it up. But with Jade, it's much more humble, isn't yes, it? Yes, very so. Much, very much, much more much humble so. and all about the gemstone itself. Thank you. Well, I was hoping that um, I could also shadow the carving around the top, I love which that is bit. why I wanted to, yeah. I love so that bit. Mold. That's why I was kind of tilting it forward like this. Can you see how it literally follows the carving itself? Can you see that? How do you do that, Charlie? Skills. <laughs> she got no, skills. Um, it burnishes. Honestly, it's that straightforward. It's just burnishes. Just go slow and you'll, you'll enjoy working with Jane because it's, excuse me, because it's so hard. Yeah. You, you're not going to make a mistake. You're not going to scratch it. You're not, honestly, it's so robust. You'll, you'll be able to do it. I promise you'll a be able to do it. Absolutely amazing. Well, you get those <laughs> instructions for free as well, jewelry makers, upon dispatch of your order. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, if you, do, if you read it first and prep your materials, it'll take you an hour, Ross. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Ross is saying he thought it would take a few weeks. Yeah, agreed. It, just ignore that bit. You know, go as you know as fast as It takes as, as long as it takes. Look yeah, at the end result. Really, yeah, yeah, amazing. Absolutely incredible. Again, I've just put those two casual, casually they, they put those two up. pieces alongside <laughs> one another. That go. 
just beautifully look at that just some of the finest pearls i've ever seen uh, yeah they are amazing <coughs> and certainly one of the, the well not one of the finest guatemalan jade i've ever seen very privileged to work with it oh unbelievable jewelry makers now uh details are still on your screens the split pay is less than 30 pounds i've got teens now so michael you can do it on the phone line speaking to our call center uh patricia in yorkshire you can do it for checkout gloucestershire bernadette jennifer you can do it sorry you can do it jay you can do it lisa in county durham you can do it lynn who wants to you can do it maker in london if you want those five i strongly would advise checking out um and in manchester hertfordshire wants four marchia and hertfordshire and remember what sorry you get your instructions as well to create how to complete the finished piece of jewellery as well. Unbelievable. You know, when he said 299, I was like, okay, right, mm. that, I'm shocked. I thought that too. Yeah. Because that, that was already way lower than I was expecting yep. it to be. You know, way, way lower. The fact I you've agree. actually got... Um, Wayne said what? Should have been 249. Was he there, was he? He popped in. Popped into the gallery whilst that was all going on. Yeah. Well, I, like I said, I was happy at, at 299. Definitely. Unbelievable jewellery makers. Well done to all of our collectors. Laura's getting involved as well now. Pauline in Cambridge is getting involved now as well. Amazing, 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 amazing. So, coming up on tomorrow's show. Mm, tell me more. Um, so, yeah, we, we've, we have we had Charlie today. We've got Jan tomorrow. Oh, I haven't seen Jan in ages forever yes. i've been watching her progression she's amazing oh amazing she's wonderful artist, yeah. wonderful 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 lady um and sells her jewelry very successfully in a lovely mm. um hotel in west wales um or is it powers might be powers anyway so yeah lovely jan she's a wonderfully as you just heard there a wonderfully talented lady and let's just say one of her did jan get these pearls um one of her greatest passions is pearls yes definitely oh okay okay jan got some other amazing pearls <laughs> um so um she's going to be absolutely dumbfounded when she sees these <laughs> so jan got these amazing pearls beautifully spherical those pearls yeah. perfectly spherical um so i'm so excited to see jan tomorrow and then on sunday another lady who i have to make an apology to susie you know susie if you're watching right now because the other day she came in just before she was going on our sister channel and i was with a different producer and it was in the break so i had to quickly run into the gallery and have a conversation it's all very quick and frantic and everything so i was like ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, susie so i didn't really get a chance to say hello so i will apologize to her tomorrow but it's been ages since we've had a susie show as well um, and Susie, of course, has got some wonderful jade, some wonderful nanhong, and amazing pearls. Charlie, when are you back? Next week, next Wednesday. Is it us again? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. What have we oh. got coming up? New tool. A new tool? Yeah, massive. Absolutely massive. You that sounded is Welsh the then, Charlie. We did it. <laughs> massive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? what like in wheels. size or in terms the of selling, the selling point? It's it's um it's the sheer size of it, the size and weight of it. You are gonna love it. What does it, it do? It's for engraving, <gasps> as well as settings. But yeah, it's for engraving. Yeah. You can engrave? Yeah. We've never done engraving before. Well, I'm still learning it. You guys keep taking over my time, so I Sorry. haven't been able to dive into it. But yes, they've they've sent... I mean, I even allowed to say... It's, yeah, do, I've got to do it. It's an extra large ball vice. A okay? ball vice. That sounds vice. horrible, doesn't it? But no, it's for engraving. It's wrap. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what actually it's what it's called it is actually that's, what it's called i'll bring my small one you've seen me demo on so my small, small one vice. before yeah you've got the large one. Oh, you've got the biggest of them all bull vices <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of inlay in the morning <laughs> loving that very very excited now and um, coming up on tomorrow like i said it is building to a crescendo. Those pearls are absolutely amazing. So at eight o'clock, you've got the graduated 925 sterling silver floral connector. Um, at nine o'clock, beauty in a multi-strand. That's that amazing Jan Dwyer um, pearl necklace that we just showed you. Then at 10 o'clock, this one, yeah, beautifully spherical. 10 o'clock, you have 
your limited edition giant purple pearls consider my, like that it doesn't get any better than that it literally doesn't get any better than those pills they're insane um 11 o'clock is the amber b which i can also show you i love this i've got my eye on this that is uh is it chamolet inspired what a beautiful beautiful detail in your amber and gem encrusted and then at 12 o'clock you've got your natural pink pearl glam necklace with shambhala beads that's the one we've just been looking at actually so we've got that mixed up anyway so tune in tomorrow it's going to be absolutely amazing charlie we love you <laughs> and we we'll see you on wednesday then yes you will with see your you ball then. vice <laughs> yeah fabulous <laughs> um take care driving home my lovely enjoy the rest of your day as well wonderful jewelry makers and i'll see you bright and early in the morning <laughs>